have money. They have short arms. I, I tell you, their arms are these short. So yeah, obviously, uh, it's me, uh, Harry Kane, and I uh, just want to say uh, welcome back to uh, West Ham Random, and obviously, yeah, so welcome back to Football Unfocused with two legends. We're at Swansea, yeah. and we're just chatting away, back, and all of a sudden, all the fucking windows came through in the train. <laughs> there was oh, about no. 50, brick, 50 bricks come out the train and took out every fucking window in that carriage. <laughs> Oh God! Fucking you! There was glass just flying everywhere. Oh man! These bricks. So oh, yeah, obviously uh, it's me, uh, Harry Kane, and I uh, just want to say uh, welcome back to uh, West Ham Random, and obviously yeah, so welcome back to Football Unfocused with two legends. Yeah. What's up, my brother? Listen, just giving you a shout real quick. Uh, doing all my messages, send one intention, everybody. This the last one, you know what I'm saying? The best for last. Young Pichavelli, what's going on, brother? Hey. We are fucking massive. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, hey. You already know. I work it on the beat like I work it on the street. My feet get tired of money. I'm hungry like I don't eat. My tummy is always drumming my money. How do you leave my honey? Out of my dreams. I'm hungry just to be free. I guess I'm a visionary. I'm living it honestly. And what an honor to be in church and at work. Discussing positive things with two or more of my kids. We call it sacred wisdom. We got to shake the system. To break and shake the system. We breaking all traditions. If Rob is our religion, then who are we praying to? I pray to the God body. You probably just playing cool. My suggestion is saying school. The school of the hard rock. It's meant to be shaping you In tight and devil's plot It's just to embrace you So they can be tracing you And then erase you Cause that's what the fake do If our religion is rhyming Then who are we praying to? Wake up, wake up, who knows? Right now, yo, my religion is rhyming 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 Right now, yo I'm working on the beat like I work it on the street. My feet get tired, money. I'm hungry like I don't eat. Where you trying, fam? The kind of guy I am, you never meet. Be glad you're in my presence. I'm a god, don't you see? Gotta get my Nipsey on. The hustle like no tomorrow. My time is borrowed. And the reaper collects I got a young buck coming up And ain't nobody showing up The way to be the man today And earn his respect It's on me I speak easy And get mine on the stage Let's get a high level But the flow to keep it engaged I'm Hello, buddy Hi, mate And well, you alright? I'm okay I'm okay I, I, I had some I had some nipping about to do And I didn't think I'd make it back in time And I did I surprised myself uh -huh. Surprise myself, man. Um, absolutely, absolutely. Has it has it sunk in yet that we're like fit spot on New Year's Day? Um, no, it hasn't. Not tonight. Actually, like, I thought we, I thought we were still in six. No, apparently we're tied with Arsenal on on, on we're tied with Arsenal if, if on the same amount of points, but on, at fifth. I'll double check it. Double check it. I might be wrong, but I think that's what I heard. I, I, think that, I, that's thought, what I, heard. I thought we were a, a point behind them. I thought we I were one point behind them. 
double check it, double check it, because that'll be some inter interesting statistics. I think we're drawn with, from what I remember hearing right. from the pundits. I think we're drawn, right. and we're in fifth tied with them. I might be wrong, but check it out. Okay, right. Well, I'll be back in a minute then. I okay. Go, I See, go Budgie's out on the case. Video. Budgie is on I'm the on case. case. I, on and course, I'm on the case. And I'm just about to watch the highlights on Match of the Day right now. They're on. So, but with ours? Ours are? Yeah, ours is about to start now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. i got to get uh, that on. By anyway, the way, right. So, yeah. yeah, go on. You put that on, and I'm going to quickly go and check on that. The stat, yep. uh, which yep. was um, just remind me what it was because I've just forgot again. Fifth, uh, fifth spot, yeah, I'm five and go Arsenal on points, thirty-one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, 30, yeah, 34, yeah. 34 points, thirty-four points yeah. tied with Arsenal. Right. Check, check in two seconds. I'll be back. Yep, one hundred percent, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Oh, what's the day on? It's on BBC, isn't it? Hold on, hold on, I gotta get this. I gotta get this. Yo, this is confusing. I know people. Because like you got like a live stream and then you got me checking them out to the day things. Like what the flip is going on? Hold up. <laughs> What's going on this? Oh, <laughs> oh no, come on. Yeah. No, Let up. me just um undo that for one second. We go like that. I wanna see if they give us our praise on match of the day today. You are correct. We are uh, in fifth place. It is in fifth time. Place. Yeah. yeah. Let me just quickly get a screen, a yep. screenshot of the top. There we go. It's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it just? Yes. On, on this, um, right. I think everybody's watching Match of the Day because, like, nobody's here. I think they're all watching Match of the no. Day, dog. So, like, they might I turn up after Match right. of the Day done. Yeah, mate, you're probably right. Well, we could oh, just do a little commentary on it. Oh, a goal from Antonio. What a what lovely a goal. goal. Oh, what a goal. Oh, man. Ben Rum. <laughs> he do a ball, little man. dive onto the grass. What I know, that's yeah, scary, I mean, come you know. on. Ben Rama, jinx to the right, hooks it in. Oh, Yo, man, that is pure class. That, no, I that, know. Honestly, no, right, dare I say it, dare I say it, that that ball was almost as good as anything I'd seen from Dimitri Payet in the way of open play ball. Yep, yep, yep. Put on uh, a plate. For the except, yeah, except for the Rabona. Oh, go on, Lanzini. Left footed beautifully. Yeah. Beautiful. Lovely, Mandy G's in the house. Hello, Mandy. How are you? See, I yes, had to turn my cat uh, to the back. We Whenever got Mandy that. G comes in. Like. Hold on, what is, is it? it? Oh. Uh, you got it? It's on BBC, yeah? Yeah. What? Yeah. B -B BBC uh, One? Yeah. I, yeah, BBC I, One or on, on the iPlayer, yeah. And, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yes. Yes, yes, yes. Right, right so now it's uh, 31 minutes. Yep. You need to oh, just shit. sign in and tell them that you've got a license on the iPlayer. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was close on the bar. Wow. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, yes. Edward, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that was close. That was yeah. close. But, you know, what I found with, um, with um, Palace was that uh, yeah. Edward and um, uh, ben Tyson, um, I, 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 you, I, you. yeah, yeah, ben, uh, I, and uh, Edward, they seem to yeah. have a kind of a a definite like um, they got a click going on between them. You know what I mean by yeah. that? They yeah, they found they found each other kind of really easily during the whole yeah. game. Yeah. Good save from Fabianski, who I felt was fantastic today. Fabianski, he was, he was budgie. And John John Johnson, budgie. Johnson was on absolutely, point as absolutely. well. I mean, he's crossed him were brilliant. Oh, and more, you know go on, give a penalty, Rev. Yes, Come on, Rev, give a penalty. As he does, as he does, as he does. I think the VAR have told him to blow it up, and they. 
They did, yeah, they did. And it was nuts because my father was saying that, like he was saying, like he was talking about the VAR situation when penalties going to VAR before a referee and thing. And then that happened. It was like in a matter of seconds. It was nuts. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was nuts. I'm, I'm just going just gonna to bung a quick overlay, which I'll delete in yeah, there yeah, for yeah, you yeah, in yeah. one second. So Come on. there it is. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Oh, I love that. It takes about three seconds to upload a screenshot. I love that right. too, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like two seconds too late. Beautiful. In fifth place. Beautiful. I love that. Fifth place. There we are in fifth place. There we are in fifth place. Da da da. Tick 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 about. Lanzini stepping up for a penalty. Oh, Takes the run like up. It. Slots it in so the keeper's right. The keeper couldn't get to it. Beautifully done. Lanzini, yeah. you are a mega star today. He is star man today. Star he man, is not match. star man. Oh, man. See, mine's behind yours. My, 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 my match of the day is behind yours because it's just showing the check for penalty right now. And All I don't right, believe okay. that went our way. With, I don't believe that the, the referee is at the screen right now. I don't believe that went our way because the way VAR has been shooting us has been like very, very not good. Not good at all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Referee calls for it, does the whole television signal, points at his arm. Done now. You know what? I think Vieira would have been the most dangerous ma uh, man on the pitch today if he was playing. Look yeah. at him. He steps up yeah. to take it. Oh, look at him. You know what's going in. You know what's yeah. going in. Oh, beautiful. Top, bottom left. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lovely. Lovely. Has it, has Lovely it gone to, it, now, now we go to Crystal Palace's goals, don't we? Well, we will do in a minute. Well, I haven't even seen them yet. That yeah, was the yeah. cross against the box with the header that went wide. I think the mm -hmm. first goal's about to come up. Yeah. Now, uh, all down the right hand side again. Bosch yeah. straight in. Mm -hmm. Edward gets his touch in. See, yeah. like, like we su suggested earlier, I said it was the yeah. second goal, but it wasn't. It was all down the right on the first goal. Yeah, first palace yeah. goal. Yeah, you're so right. I, it was I got mistaken, but yeah. Hang on, it's all good. Open myself back up off there. Yeah, yeah, it's all Mandy G's in the building. Yes, yes, Mandy G. Yeah. Oh, they had some chances though, man. Like mm, even mm. that happened that 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 Eduardo could have had, but he was just off like position. Like I thought that was a sitter. And he just didn't get it. What did you think of Issa Diop today, um, Paige? Uh, um, true. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, there's the first goal where he puts it in, tap in, yeah, and he praises the gods. Yeah. Um, Issa Diop, you know what? When everybody says that he's still learning, he is. And I get that. Yeah. Um, but it's either... Yeah. You're either getting like the the you're, how can I say it? You're either getting like the inform it's the up, or you're getting the I'm not even at the match. It's the up. You're not getting anywhere in between. It's black and white. You know, part in the pun, but it is. It's black and white, and it's like we either get the it's the up this inform yeah. or the it's the up this creating free kicks like this that led to their second goal. Yeah. 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 And that wasn't even really uh, we, we were we were very fortunate with that Craig Dawson back pass as well. Oh, big time. He knew what he was doing. He knew it. I knew what I yeah. knew he knew what he was doing. So did Vieira. <laughs> That's why Vieira was all mad. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. no, they can't give a penalty because the the ruling is that that's an indirect free kick. So they would have oh. had to have given an indirect free kick inside the box. Oh, so now, that's almost that's like a very rare. Yeah. yeah, almost. But um, yeah. but you can have uh, eleven players, including the goalkeeper, on the on the line. Oh, I didn't know that. You know? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can. But but I don't. I haven't seen an indirect free kick in the box in some time. 
The last time either. I saw it, I think I think it was probably sort of like mid eighties, late eighties was the last time yeah. I can recall seeing it. Um, yeah, yeah. because of the back path role changing. Yeah. You know, and, and nobody's implemented it really since. And I think that's probably why we got away with it today. Because it wasn't seen as a deliberate back pass by the officials. No, um, right. They just saw it as an interception of the ball, which happened to go back to the keeper, which he then picked up. You know, they didn't they see know. that as a deliberate back pass. Oh, one second. Yeah, yeah, please. Teams today don't come here and check two goals in, 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 in the last couple of minutes. Today's 3 0 and it's, it's a great victory. Um, they're the things that need to change. Long before as well, we can be better. Um, we can yeah, yeah. You have to turn that down, though. Copyright will get us for that. You have to turn that down. Yeah, did you get any of that? <laughs> Was you hearing yeah, yeah, yeah. Declan Rice chatting? Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, it's chatting right now. Yeah, that's how I'm going. Uh, Cracking into the game, yeah. bro. Cracking into the really yeah. yeah. You got to turn that down, guys. Don't 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 take down this this yeah, stream. I've done. I've done. I've done. I've done it. I've done it. Yeah, it's weird though, isn't it? I don't know why that is the case. This is stupid. This is a stupid yeah. rule on YouTube. Yeah. Spark. Sorry, YouTube. That's a stupid rule. Like yeah. you get to you get to see That's all these uh, channels that show this at the third. Then you can't do this. Like, uh, plus Declan Rice, pick up yourself. Yeah, mate. I'm now watching the highlight at uh, the, the you know the points that the pundits are picking out, and so yeah, far it's well, all us. You tell know, tell, tell um, us about them, buddy. And, tell us about Antonio's them. cross was incredible. Oh, yeah, and the header was just wide. But Antonio, when he picked up, oh, we're going to see the Ben Rama cross now from uh, the Beautiful. for the goal. Beautiful. Yeah, we're going to see the ball come out to him. There it goes. It goes out to Johnson, then out to Ben Rama. He takes yeah. it to the right. And you got yeah. four runners into the box. He puts it Get right onto... Oh, he puts it right into the six-yard box. And Antonio yeah. just literally puts his boot onto it. And, and it goes in and past under the keeper. And then he runs yeah. over and dives like... Dives like a bloody... An Olympic Superman. swimmer or something. Yeah, He's that scared me. Way. I thought he was going to get injured uh, from And there that, goes yeah. that crossfield. Oh, mate, incredible. Now, remember when uh, Lingard was with us last season? Of and course. he did that run towards the box. I can't remember what game it was now. Um, and Antonio did a cross run in front of him to draw yeah. the defenders away. And then yeah. Lingard ran he into the, the box, thing. took it onto his left foot. Yeah. He just did yeah. the same thing with Lanzini tonight. And, whoa, know. you know, listen, I, Antonio has had one or two really, really poor games and he's had a few not-so-good games, you know. But today's performance from Antonio, in my opinion, was a really good performance. He got his goal. Absolutely. He also, He also, you know, just about... Um, got himself an assist almost, you know. He was, he was just incredible. Like and you know, the, the way, the way, oh, the way he assisted Lanzini, he didn't touch the ball, Beautiful. I know, but no, that was as good as an assist that I've ever seen. Yes, you know, he did it yes. with Lanzini, uh, with Lingard yes. last season, and he did it again tonight. And that's as good an assist that I've ever seen from a centre forward, which you I know, really he clearly is now. You know, I agree. And you know, um, you the know only other funny. player, go on, go, yeah. go on, keep going, keep going. Yeah, I was going to say the only other player that I can say that I used to enjoy watching doing stuff like that was Peter yeah. Crouch. He was fantastic yes. at this kind of thing. Yeah. Yes. You know. Yes. Like, I, I'll tell yeah. you, I was watching the match. You know, he, I, he he was very good. He he was magic at that, and and I was watching the match, buddy. And it's like I'm on my phone. And I went to go check on um, uh, Charlie from uh, Hammerset. I went to go to his live streaming thing. And whilst I'm in the middle of trying to go to his live streaming thing, my dad's like, did you see that? And I was like, and then Lanzini scored. And my dad's like, did you see that? And I'm like, what? He's like, look at what Antonio just did. And I was like, what? 
I was like, Lanzini scored. He's like, yeah, but look at what Antonio just did. And then I watched it, and he took, and I know the match you're talking about, when he took all the players to the to, to the right of him or left of him. To the and right. Then and then, yeah, to Lingard took it onto his left foot and popped about. it in. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. turn no, this exactly, TV off now. Exactly the match you're talking about, man. Yeah. And it's like, um, Antonio was it, was did it, it again Villa? today. Was it against it Villa? Might have been, it might have been dark. It might have been. I was thinking Southampton mm. or Villa. So I think it might be Villa, dog. It may have been, yeah. But, I don't know why hey, Southampton. Hey, listen. But, listen, what? Lanzini was outstanding today. You know, we know, we know that we've got ourselves a proper little gem in Lanzini. Yeah. We haven't yeah. really been using him in the best position possible for him. Today, he was yeah. played as a pure out-and-out out number 10, which is his yeah. role, it's his shirt yeah. number, yeah. and it's his best job yeah. on the pitch. Yeah. And he That's had right. a cracking game. Cracking Didn't game. And having just, having, just seen, having just seen the touches he did to create yeah. the space to get his own goal today. Yeah. I mean, yeah. lovely assist, a beautiful assist to him. And then mm -hmm. and that, that was from Antonio. Uh, I mm -hmm. believe, um, and and you know, and then he he keys it up for himself. He tees it up. Sorry, um, well, uh, incredibly good. Um, that's a goal that really, that really, really, really will. Trust me, right now, that will win West Ham's January goal of the month. Trust me. I agree. And it was, I agree. You know, and it was, and it's right on, at the beginning of the month. But what a yeah. goal! You know, yeah. it reminds me again, you know, of you know, the game, the goal against Man City a few weeks back. Um, yeah. The goal good, against good Tottenham time. last season. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, Lanzini has been, uh, he's, yeah, he's been a magician for us when we've really needed it. And, you know, and, and as soon as I knew we were getting a penalty, I called it. I said to my brother and my nephew and my son. Yeah. Uh, no, sorry, my son wasn't there. My nephew and my and my brother. I said to him, I said that'll be Lanzini. And my brother said, Treacle said to me, "What? Are you mad? Declan Rice is on Declan the pitch." Declan on the pitch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I said, "Mate, that's a Lanzini penalty all day long. It's got Lanzini written yeah. all over it." Yeah. And then as he put the ball down, I went, "Lanzini, there you go." My nephew yep. looked at me. Now, my nephew is a Chelsea fan as well, right? And yeah. and and they kind of, they're kind of not really sure of what to make of me doing what we do now. Mm -hmm. uh, present presentation stuff on YouTube. They're not quite mm -hmm. sure of what to make of it. My bro my brother supports me wholeheartedly. Um, yeah. But my nephew and uh, yeah, some other members of my family, you know, they're, they're kind of a little bit dubious, you know. You know, when I've talked to, you know, Asa before, he hasn't really taken my uh, my word as, as so seriously, you know. But then, mm -hmm. you know, now, now he hears me talking about the games while we're playing and he's sitting yeah. there watching it with me and he realises that I'm looking at stuff that, that even the cameras aren't focusing on. It's just in-camera yeah. shot. You know, and that's yes. where my eyes are always, always around the rest of the pitch. And mm -hmm. for me today, Thomas Suchek was better than better than good. He he was really good today, Thomas Suchek. Yeah. Although he, he didn't get himself, you know, noticed too much. But that's when you know he's good. And the yeah. same with Deck. You know, Declan yeah. Rice. He put himself about. He didn't allow too much nonsense to go on around him. Yeah, he had right. a good game, a really, yeah. really good game, and he was reasonably quiet throughout most of the match because he was breaking up play and all this, that, and the other. Yeah, I actually yeah. cracked. I actually cracked a little joke on on the Discord. I said, mm -hmm. "Rice is Muller in every move they make, right?" And yeah. you remember we did that show a little while back. We called it Rice Muller's the defense, mm -hmm. was that, wasn't it? Or, mm -hmm. No, Rice Muller's the ratings. It was, wasn't it? Uh, um, yeah, so, but you know, I, I, and I just thought Rice was really, really good again, really solid again today. But the outstanding player on the pitch today was Lanzini for me. Yeah, 
Lindsay was phenomenal. Without, without a doubt. He I was. He was incredible. Uh, yeah. And, you know, I, I I kind of always have liked him. I've always been a fan of his. I've never really ever wanted to call for his dismissal or his sale or anything like that, you know, yeah. because I always look at him as that player that you need to have off the yes. ball. Yeah. You know? Um, you know, Declan Rice and, and Thomas Suchek were shutting down the centre of the midfield. Well, mm -hmm. Lanzini was basically going back, touching base with them, and and then driving the whole team forward. I mean, right. he, he was absolutely instrumental in every single one of our goals. You're right. right. Yes, he scored two of them. But, you know, during the build-up play towards the penalty, Lanzini yeah. was on fire. Well, not many. Yeah. Not many, and, 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 and like Lanzini was on fire, and he's not shagging Danny Dyer. I know. Have you seen Lanzini's wife, though? You don't need to be shagging Danny Dyer. Have you seen Lanzini's wife? She is a smoke. I shot. have. Oh my yes, days! She is a yes. very attractive young lady. Yes, yes. she is. Yes, far like, too you young for me to. Far too young for me to be um, commenting on. No, but you want exotic. Yo, but a very so attractive bad, young bro. lady, nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah. He, Landini's, and you know, Landini's you know, she has that in the locker. Yeah, and and you know also, uh, Michael Antonio has a beautiful family. All yeah. of his kids and his wife. Yeah. What a beautiful, yeah. what a beautiful family. You know. He's a beautiful um, family. Oh, mate, yeah, but I see this picture of him. I think it must be in his home. Um, mm -hmm. A lovely open stairwell, you know, with mm -hmm. a really beautiful house. Looked like a really lovely place. And there's a picture mm -hmm. of him and his missus. And, you know, I think they've got three or four children. Yeah, I think it's yeah, three. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, you know, like they're all sitting. And they're just, what a very attractive family. You know, like, mm -hmm. you know, what you would call a typical model family, you know. They've got yeah, them pick, yeah, yeah. you know, children out of different agencies and they put them together with yeah. two attractive people. Yeah, that's what it looks yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, know, yeah, it looks yeah, like yeah. they've gone and picked a really attractive, you know, group of models. That, but it's not. It's Antonio and his family. You know, yeah. and oh, they're re really, and these kids are really cute looking. He's just a nice bloke, man. Like, his energy is, yeah. is, is yeah. infectious. Like it's infectious, and, and, and I love I love the fact that he, you know, he, he will have a new, um, you know, uh, celebration for goals, and it's always something that. a little bit tricky or a little bit risky, or you know, I mean, like uh, it's still today, like the one that makes me giggle the most, other than picking up his cardboard cutout, because that has got to be the one in it. It's the whole yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. When he, yes, yeah. I thought that was yeah. hilarious. Yeah. And when he did the um the worm, the backward worm one as well. That oh, was... see, there's so yeah. many, and then he did the Gangnam style one when he was doing the. Yeah. Dance. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my dad were watching, yeah. and my dad's like, "What is he doing?" And I'm like, "That's Gangnam style." <laughs> <laughs> Robert Singleton. Good evening it. to you, sir. How yeah, are you, so mate? Robbie, oh, oh, okay. So, so I, no, I noticed you blocked a spammer, yes? Yeah, I did. I had to. Yeah, there was a spammer that came up, blocked it. Yeah, simple as. Yeah. Cool, lovely. Yeah. So, They're um, weird, man. They're weird. Okay, so, right, listen, as, as everybody that watches us knows, we don't actually do ratings. But what we I do, do but, and I said do do. Yeah. But what we what we happen to do is when we're talking about certain players throughout games, we kind of give them a rating. Now yeah. we haven't actually done that with Antonio yet today, Pete. So hold mm -hmm. off on it for one second. Mm -hmm. Let me ask those of you that are in the chat right now. Yes, please. Okay. Yes, please. So please give us first of all a rating. We're gonna we're not gonna do the whole team. We're just going to pick on certain players. Mikel Antonio, yeah. please give us your ratings for Mikel Antonio's game today. Yeah. Bear in mind how he has played in the last few games 
and how he played today, which is a very different game. So, give us your ratings, those of you in the chat, what you think of Mikel Antonio's game. Yeah. Right. So, you know what? I, I, oh. I'd be interested. I'd be oh, interested. Listen, my phone. Oh, hang on, my phone's ringing. No, no, I'm going okay, no, to. Right. Uh, right, do listen, I'll be back in two minutes, okay? Yeah, really. No worries. No worries. No worries. All right. Okay. So, like, yeah, Mikel Antonio. That that's going to be a good shout because he hasn't been the Mikel Antonio of of recent. You know what I mean? He kind of went on as 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 Charlie Boy said, like a, a purple patch. You know what I mean? Like the whole team has gone through like a purple patch, really, if you look at it. And it makes you think, like you got Mikel Antonio, and then you got somebody like Artemis Waku. I'd be interesting to I'd be interested, sorry, to see. People's ratings of Artematsuaku, as well as Mikel Antonio. Like, two different players, two different jobs to do. But did Matsuaku do enough today? Or didn't he do as much as he could have? You know what I mean? Like, like yeah, there, there, there's other players to look into. But I'd like to start off with, like, Antonio, like Budgie said. But then, like, give your thoughts on Artematsuaku. Because apparently his stats were brilliant. And people kind of look past that. They don't see the stats. They just see Arthur Masuasco, uh, 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 you know, a man that can't really defend because that's, that's too much of an ask. But, like, you know, I like to see that. I like to see. I love the match of the, match of the day music. I love that shit straight up, man. Like, yo, that's what I grew up to. Even in Canada, like, like that's what I grew up to, man. Like, yo. Trust me, man. You don't know. You don't know. Oh, football is football podcast. I think that's Antonio and the boys there from... Bournemouth, is it? Who is it? Josh King or the other boy? What's his name? But they got they got a Which podcast, Mikel Antonio. Who's the podcast that Mikel Antonio has? It's with it's with uh Josh King or who who is it? Oh, I can't um, remember. No, Wilson, isn't it? Wilson oh, with Cal- Callum Wilson. Yeah, Callum Wilson. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah, That's it. Sure. It's advertising. I've, I've, just, I've, I've just had a rather interesting phone call. Which is obviously well, well, my nephew that I was just telling you about, yeah. he just he tried to ring me and I sort of like declined the call. And then yeah. he sent me a voicemail saying, ring me, it's really important. So okay. I had to call him back. And I said to him, what's up, mate? And he said, it's your birthday in a few a few days, isn't it? I said, well, a couple of weeks, yeah. yeah. He said, what do you want for your birthday? I said, come on, it's not that important. He said, no, what do you want for your birthday? I said, I don't know. Oh, God, no. Get me a pouch of tobacco or something. He went, how about a stadium oh. tour? A what? Stadium tour. What? That's about what? 140 quid, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Something like that, isn't it? Yo, if you oh, can, said, like, like, like... Yeah, I said, yeah, but don't be putting there, me on no bloody CD, stamp. CD video things, dog. Straight yeah. up. Yeah. I said, yeah. I said to him, don't be putting me on no Stamford Bridge tour, though. It's got to be London Stadium. He went, yeah, of course you No, it has to be. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be. Has to be. Has to be. I, think has to be. Ta- I think, like well, I said, he's just taking me a little bit more seriously because he, he's seen how, I, how, I, how I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, mm. so Robert Singleton is, is, is they, answering what, your San Antonio me? rating with an 8.5. 8.5 from Michael Antonio from Robert Singleton, Doc. Uh, okay. I like that. Uh, Rob- Lucas is in the uh, building. Uh, I see. Oh, no, hold on. Yes. Masuaku just, 3.5. Because uh, after you said after you uh, said Antonio when you were gone, I said, let's rate Masuaku because uh, of the stats. Okay. You get me? Oh, good. Yeah, because I've got I've got my own rating, friend. For, I, uh, know, our man, I, know, I know. I know, Doc. I know, I actually mentioned it earlier, didn't I? Sorry, I just yeah. wanted to say, Good yeah. evening, Lucas. Thank you for joining us, sir. I think Big you'll find the link know. in the chat somewhere, mate, if you're interested. Yeah, oh, it's there. Um, scroll up and stare, Doug. It's going to jump yeah, off. Yeah, it's there, man. Oh, hang on. Look. Hold up. We've got another. 
Uh, one of those. Oh, another draw. Let it go. Gone. Gone. Gone, gone man. Gone, gone, gone. Please, man. Come Drop on, me a link. Down, I've got down, something down, to down, say. Down. Well, look. Yeah. Um, Lucas, it's right there, mate. Look. So there it is go. in the chat. Uh, in fact, I've got to remove that person there as well. But just below that comment. But there you go, Lucas. Come in, mate, as soon as you like. Yes, and um, we look forward to seeing you in here. Uh, um, right. Block that fucking user. Hmm. Why won't it let Yo, me Luke, block? Lucas is a baller too because he just done finished doing like a, a American Hammer thing like just a minute ago. Done. Right, yeah, so, yeah, but, don't worry, right. don't worry, don't worry. Okay. No, 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 I'm Lucas just saying, saying, you know that. Yeah, what's up? Uh, there's there's a, a comment. I may maybe it's already been done, but there was a comment in there by a Moise Brittany. I'm not going to highlight it, but it's uh, just below your uh, where where you. No, oh, look, he's gone. All right then. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so you got to go as well. Sorry, man. I was trying to block this. Right. Oh, Storm Kelly. Yeah, I got him. I got him blocked. Yeah, Black I, I, and there's a there's another one up there further as well. I oh, think. man, I got to refresh uh, anyway. the page. I'll be right back. Oh, right. Yeah, okay, good. I think we'll, we're both disappear, will we? Lucas saying the link chat is dead. It's from another show. Oh, shit. My yeah, bad. all right. Okay. I got right. you. I got okay. you. I got oh, you. I got you. Do you want me to pop it in there? I got No, right. no, I'll okay. do it. I got you. Hold on. All right. Hold on. Wish, I need to check yeah, all right, yeah, cool, cool. I got uh, it. Hammerhead says, oi, oi, Savaloid. Love it. Love it. Hammerhead, thank you for joining us, sir. Um, oh, it was a pleasure. Right, so, so far, um, uh -huh. so far, Hammerhead, we've asked for a, just, you know, we're, we're not doing a rating show, but so far we've kind of highlighted Antonio and uh -huh. Masuaku. So could you give us both That's it? Ratings, if you want to join in there, Hammerhead. Um, there you go. There's the new one, Lucas. Yes, sir. Appreciate you too, fella. We appreciate you too, mate. One hundred percent. Especially your your uh, view on on you know West Ham because it's always to the point, mate. Um, there he is. All right, I'm going to bring yeah. him in. Right now. Go on, bring him in. Bring the boy bring in. Bring the boy right, in. Right, there he is. There he is, mate. Lads, there he is. Lads, how are we? Yeah, we're good how now, Dad. All right, mate. How yeah. All, all the better now. for seeing you, sir. <laughs> Trust me. You too as well. I wanted to come in here real yeah. quick. Or I'm going to I'm gonna chill until I have to go eat. But I just wanted, right, to, say, right. I wanted okay. to say one thing. Go on. Yep. Ain't nobody like Lanzini. He yeah. makes me happy. He plays with West Ham way. Ain't nobody. Nobody. Like Lanzini. Yeah. He makes me happy. He happy. plays with West Ham way. Come on, the boy. Come on. Come on, G. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. What a day. Everything right. was so great until the last Love 15 it. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Love but, Love you know, I, I think. I think what you know, what we've got to take, you know, from from that last fifteen minutes is that, you know, the boys have now learned that they can't afford to take their foot off the gas. Yeah. It's got to be ninety miles an hour all all the way. You can't be, you know, you can't be taking your foot this off the gas. This has to be the last example of three nil is not safe. Please. Yes. Please. Yes. We need four. <laughs> we need yeah. four. We need four, uh, and you know, if you could, could we have a Lanzini hat trick next time, please? Yes, yes, please. You, uh, what an absolute oh, screaming ball. for it, man! Screaming for it. I, 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 you know, I, like I, because like Lanzini has come under a little bit of scrutiny from me personally over the last mm -hmm. few weeks because you know he's he's put in some okay performances, but I haven't really felt that he's been exceptional which i know he yep. can be yeah today i thought he was 
I think I think, most, I think most think most of the criticism has has been fair. Okay. I yeah. mean, yeah. Per- personally, like, there's not one player on this on this team that I hate, but like, I'm not afraid to tell it like it is. Like, Why not? I yeah. mean, yeah. Lanzini for that that like two that two match stretch was bloody awful. Yeah. And so was Ben Ramon yeah. in that little stretch that he had when, when Lanzini yeah, was starting, up. he was coming off the bench, and then vice versa. Yeah. Like they were yeah. both. Yeah. Like every every player has a rough, their rough patch, a rough patch of form, and, mm. and there's nothing wrong with saying that someone's been playing shit, and then praising yeah. them when they have an absolute blinder. Like yeah. Lanzini was had an absolute masterclass today. Did yeah, he though? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean even without the claret and blue glasses on, he was clearly the class player of the day. That the day. his first goal, I mean, Jesus Lord, that was just wasn't the tee up beautiful. What? And what? so we were ta- we were talking about this on um on American Hammers that I just got yeah. off of, and um, in case you forgot, with uh with Charlie Costia and Alan Alan Rebka, yeah. and um. Yeah. We were talking about Antonio, or one of our topics was: Do we think Antonio has finally like re regained his his start of the season form? Which, yeah, I mean, the sample size right now is still a little small. Maybe next game we can like maybe stamp that like he might be back. And I was yeah. saying like I think he might be back because not only has he scored twice and assisted once in the last two games, but mm-hmm. that for the. La- the second goal, the Lanzini goal, that pressing from Antonio was absolutely beautiful. Yep. And then the interception yeah. from Rice was world class. Wasn't it? And, then, and then the fact that he intercepted it and carried it down the pitch yeah. and laid it off. And oh my goodness, that one that one two touch from his right to his left mm-hmm. foot, and then he he ne- he just did a nice little half volley to himself and absolutely ripped it with his left foot. That was yeah. world class. World class. It was, world wasn't it? Beautiful. It was. And, you know, I actually said at the time when he did that to my brother, I said, oh, my God, that's the sort of thing you'd expect, like, Messi or Ronaldo. And, and exactly. And that went, was, I that agree. was Messi or Ronaldo. I that absolutely that. agree. He said, if, that is yeah, the kind of, of thing you would that, expect a player would, of that we, stature. We'd be hearing about it for weeks if Ronaldo or Messi 100. scored that same goal. Yep. And Lanzini only scores worthy. Oh, God, yeah. 100%. 100%. Even when they don't matter, like Man City, he only scores worthy. Well, that's what he seems to yeah. do. Yeah. And that's another yeah. thing we were talking about. Yeah. That was another And you know what? He's getting better and better with that left peg of his and all. And that, that was another yeah. topic. Getting better and better with that. We, were, we, we, we asked if we think he's like back to his best. So which, recovered. Yeah. which yeah. to be fair, I don't think he'll ever be back to that because of his his leg injury. Clearly, he's yeah. not going to ever be as fast as he once was. No, but, but it, it, it was, it was yeah. ankle Luke, when, it, yeah. and it, when you rupture your Achilles, and not ankle, sorry, yeah. Achilles. When you rupture your Achilles, you second guess every time you want to like push on, and he'll always have that. But it looks like he's kind of like come yeah. to terms with that, and he yeah. feels confident about his Achilles now. So hopefully, we'll see the and my we'll, God, we'll see like, the best out of him again. And clear, obviously, but, like we said, the last fifteen minutes was absolute hell. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah. The boys going forward today, and Ben Rama, what an absolute peach of a cross! Yeah, yeah, My yeah, yeah. On, on, on his on on the plate. That, that was also well class. Yeah, that was also well class. That was that yeah. Cross. I mean, that was Antonio. And uh-huh. how how West Ham is it that Ben Rama goes on a terrible run of form, and then his last two games before he has to leave, he's put in an abs- absolute world class performance. <laughs> It's so West Ham. It's so typical, Ham. but it's <laughs> typical, isn't it? Typical yeah. West Ham, that is. So it's the so West Ham way. Yes, it <laughs> no, it is. It is. We make it harder than hard for ourselves. But I saw you, like Lucas. You watched the. Uh, you watched was it the the first goal when like Lanzini got when he did the flicky the flicky trick and then like yo know, volleyed it in the goal, brilliant. But you look at what Antonio did. 
Like what Antonio did off the ball, he took all the players to the left of them. But like some of them were like, some of them were like, they didn't know whether to go left, Mark Antonio, stay right, Mark Lanzini. They were in like two mind frames. That's what I said. I said, for me, that's that's when I know Antonio is in form or back to his best. When he does, when he, when he, when he presses like that and he causes havoc. Yes. And mind you, it wasn't like the most incredible press. Like he wasn't hounding them, but he was closing them out. He was and he tracking him down. down, and yeah, look what happened. Yeah, yeah. when, when Antonio was and in four run of form, he wasn't that, doing that. You're right. You're yeah. right. You're right. And for right. that Lanzini goal, for that Le- yeah. Lanzini goal, as Pete said, you know, when he ran across the, you know, diagonally across the box to draw the defenders with him, like, it opened up off the Lanzini's yeah. left foot, and wow, wow. Yo, All I can yo, say Lucas, is wow. Yo. You know. so, sorry, Lucas. What 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 NFL NFL team do you support again? I'm a Steeler fan. Cause I'm just watching. Are they up there? Cause I don't think they put that on yet. I'm trying to see the uh, Pittsburgh, 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 Green Bay, and like between like Cincinnati are up there, dog. That's mad. Yeah, that is mad. It's I'm gonna be a... on... what? It's gonna be a a stressful last two weeks of the season, but it's whatever. I'm just so oh, I'm just so. Yeah. I'm so delighted with West Ham right now. I really am. Even though oh, I've, cal- I've calmed down, I was really pissed off about the last 15 minutes, but it just, it just feels so good to get three vital points. And, oh, my. It yeah. feels so good to get the three points, especially after. Um, oh, Buggy. Buggy's on fire. Buggy's on fire. Buggy's on fire. This is terrified. And they, yo, no, I'm just looking at the NFL thing because it came up after match of the day on BBC. And it's like Pittsburgh, they say, is still in the hunt, man. 7-7-1 seven, seven, or some shit, man. So y'all yeah, still in there. We've like, got to win out. We've got to win out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just watching this right now. But yeah, West Ham, like, come on. Like, yo, we, we, we get two de- defensive so, side reinforcements. It feels we're, so we're much right better here. getting that victory after Arsenal got absolutely shit house this morning. And they played good. They played good, Lucas. They played good. I still, like, but Arsenal, Arsenal to me, they're so yeah. Spursy. They're so Spursy. They're I know so they, 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 they hate like, to hear that. They would hate to hear that. Right, we're going. They, <laughs> they are like, no, it's like it's Tottenham and Arsenal. No matter yeah. how well they do, I yeah. we all know how the story is going to end. We all know they're yeah. going to end up bottling it. Yeah. Done and like, and don't yeah. get me wrong. Like, I totally agree. Arsenal are on some really good form, but like, they're so they're so Spursy. They're going to end up bottling it. They, those two clubs are literally the same. Yeah, they're going to the up, they're gonna end up bottling it, no matter how yeah. much a good form they're in. They're going to bottle it. They, do I know. It I just, I just honestly, I thought they played well today. Um, Martinelli going off that was a bit like yeah, that Martinelli's kind of class. Movement. He's a he's a ball. Martinelli's- Oh, I'd love him at West Ham, Doc. I would love – forget about Saka. Forget about Obama Yang. I know Saka's class. But, like, forget about Lacazette. Yo, I take that boy Martinelli any day of the week, man. He is a baller. Yeah, I mean – Absolutely. I think Gabriel – I think that Gabriel yeah. that got sent off, I think he's quite – Quite a decent centre back. That's what we're yeah. talking about, Gabriel Martini, M- M- Martinelli. That's what we're talking about, Doc. Oh, no, we're talking about the the centre half. No, 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 it's off. two different players. Oh, Gabriel, the, yeah. the, the okay Mar- at the back. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, I got you. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he, no, he's no, also I, a very I good centre back. Get relegated. I am so pissed off about that match. I hope they get relegated. Oh, imagine! I'd love to see Arsenal get relegated. It's so no bad. Watford. So... Who Watford? Watford? Watford. Yeah, I, couldn't like, two, I couldn't give two shits about Watford. Like, I want to see the big clubs get relegated. I'm just sick, I want to see your Manchester I'm United, of, your Arsenal get relegated. I'm sick of Spurs. I'm, I'm sick like, of Spurs getting so lucky. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. No, but like Watford is so shit. How do you how do you hold him nil nil all the way till the 96th minute? Like, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, hope yeah, they get yeah, relegated yeah. because of that. <laughs> That yeah. pissed me off. They probably will. Like Norwich and Watford and like teams like that in and around them, they probably will get relegated. I still think I somehow to Watford are going to survive. Really I there. just have a feeling they're going to survive. Then, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It'll make it interesting but, straight up. Man, I'm excited. What a good day. What a good day. So it, happy it, it was, away right? three points. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, and I was really looking forward <laughs> – 
that's I was really looking forward to the goal differential that we were going to have because yeah, uh, as you guys know, like our goal differential is never like that great. Right, and and the fact that we could yeah. have had a plus fifteen if we kept a clean sheet, that is like right. got to be one of the biggest we've had in some right. right. We're, yeah. u- we're usually always around like yeah. plus three, yeah, plus yeah. four to like negative, or like minus two, minus three. Yeah, give me give me one second. Now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. But man, yeah. I wish I wish we could have added added three goals to the goal differential. That would have been nice. Yeah, that really would have been nice. And we're still you know, in good posi- we're still in good show. we're still in a good spot though with it. We're yeah, we're well we're well above yeah. Spurs and United and goal differential. We're Man, like six, United, yeah. We're like six we're like six or yeah. seven goals ahead. I think. Yeah. I'm gonna double check. Yeah, that I'm not quick. sure of the goal difference, actually. Yeah. I'll tell I've you got right, the, I'll tell you right uh, now. Table. I've got the table here somewhere as well. We are we're seven we're seven above Tottenham and six above United. We're plus ten right now. That's decent. And we're two above yeah, Arsenal. Yeah. <laughs> we're scoring them goals. We're yeah, and fifth goals. in the league. And fifth in the league. Love that. We just that's, again that's that yeah. That's, I think that's a comfortable position for us right at this moment in time. I mean, like yeah. I said, we are so I used quite, to I, like I, having like at most like plus three, plus ten. Mm, plus ten will help mm. us out in the long run for sure. Yeah, Cause, yeah. Because before, I mean, we've before, had a few like three two wins now, haven't we? Yeah, and you we know? still we still have only we still haven't lost a game by more than a goal. No. No, we haven't. Which has helped a lot. Yeah, indeed, indeed. I love when this. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we've put, we've put in some great performances against the, you know, the or the Arsenal. The, people, the Arsenal game more. was the first, the first match in like, fifth, like fifty-eight matches we lost by more than a goal or something like that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I mean, yeah. We're flying right now, goal differential wise. We just need to, we just need to tighten up a little bit. And I don't think that's, I think that's just a, a depth, a depth, a squad, a squad thing. Just because obviously, like we, yeah, I, we, we want. Yeah, well, we're, we're we're grossly missing Oggy and Zuma. Yeah, yeah, you know, we're grossly. We're that's un, that's underplaying. Guys. Although, you know, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like you know, Dawson and Diop, they've done the best. Good morning, Paul. How are you, Hammerhead? You are right. We're gonna wait for Budgie to come back in. I think there's just a little connection issue. I don't know what happened there. My You're screen good. just went completely blank. You're good now. Okay. I can hear you. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Because I, I just had like a whirly thing going around on the screen for both of us. Um, well, yeah. Now, I, what I was going to say was that I, I felt that, um, you know, with, with um, Dawson and Diop, they've kind of done the best they can. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You know, because they... like for for who they are, like in in the like in the group stages of Europa League, they played brilliant. They were really good, but like, yeah, again, it. And don't get me wrong, like I, I've, I, I wouldn't say that I'm slating Issa Diop because it's it's quite prevalent. He's been shit for some time now, and I want him to be. Yeah. yeah. I, like if you put on the Claret and Blue, I want you to be the best player of all time. Like I want nothing but success for you. But like, yeah, yeah. we just need, we just we need reinforcements so bad. And this is a question I'll ask you, Budgie, because um, yeah, I feel like a lot of people are on different sides of this. Like, so clearly right now we have Dawson and Diop. Would you rather, would you rather pair a signing like Coletta Carr? For example, Colette, like mm-hmm. Coletta Carr or Tarkowski with Dawson or Diop, 
and then eventually it's going to be like Zuma and Coletta Carr or Tarkowski? Or would you rather sign someone like Nat Phillips who's around the same level as Diop and Dawson? And then like that, mm-hmm. that second center half spot will be up for grabs between those three with Zuma. Yeah. Would you, basically, would you rather spend but, the extra 10, 15 million pounds on a brilliant center half that's going to eventually pair with Zuma? Or would you buy basically yes. like a, a better squad option? For cheaper no i think i would definitely want to get i would want to invest in a decent center half of equal or slightly younger uh age group you know that than um than zuma i still think that you know there's a decent player inside of visa diop which you know with the well. right kind of competition for the place yeah I believe we will see more coming out of the op. Um, but I do believe that, you know, somebody like Coletta Carr, from what I know of him, would be a really decent option. Because this is the really way I look at option. it. Like, and don't get me wrong, I don't, I wouldn't say I'm opposed to signing Nat Phillips. I just don't think his, I just don't ag- agree with his his market value. Like Liverpool are going to want 15 yeah. million for him, and I just don't see 15 million in mm-hmm. in Nat Phillips, who yeah. he might be slightly see, better brought... than he he might be slightly better than Craig Dawson, but like yeah. I just don't agree. I'd rather pay the extra like 10 million pounds for Coletta Carr and have an absolute mm-hmm. standout signing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, for for, for an extra. 15 million, you know, so for doubling that, you may even be able to go and, and get a, somebody like, um, who, and this is somebody I rate very highly, is that Rico Henry at um, yeah, I, Brentford. I, love I Rico would Henry. I think he's a love baller. us to go and stretch. Yeah, I, I would love us to stretch to 30 for him. And I think, you know, I don't think Brentford would stand in his way for 30 million quid either. You know what I mean? Yeah, especially with the way they do business. Yeah, they, I think they he stands them in at about seven or eight million pounds. You know, I think that was his signing fee. I'm not one hundred percent certain, but you know. Yeah, but, um, that's, that's I, why I, I like keep, Rico Henry. Good player. That's why I keep holding on hope that we might be able to get Ivan Tony for the right price, just because like. Hmm. We all know how Brentford work. We know what they like to do. Like, if we threw 40 million pounds, 35 million pounds at Ivan Tony, would they say no? Like, who knows? I, I don't think they would, you know. But would we risk 40 million quid on a player that isn't really doing it in the Premiership, in the in Championship? Undoubtedly, he was probably yeah, and, one of the standout strikers. And I think he's a prisoner of his own system. You know what I mean? Like the way Brentford yeah. played, they're very, they're very drop back counter attack. As we're, I feel like we're yeah. a little bit more innovative. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, like, I mean, and I we, think... we have a, a, a lot more build up play than they do. They, and, t- they tend to favor long field balls and stuff. You know. And I think. And, and obviously, I think we can all agree that Moyes probably still has some sort of like PTSD from spending that money on Allaire. Or not, yeah. not Moyes, but the board. Yeah. Like they probably still have a little PTSD from spending that money on that big money on a striker. But I think if I had to give you a list or even just a couple players that I think we would be willing to spend that money on again. I would say it's probably Ivan Tony and maybe like Jonathan David. Anyone else, I don't think we would. At this current time. Yeah. At this current time, you mean, yeah. I mean, I I personally, I don't think that we are going to whole shoe or shoehorn uh, Ivan Tony out of Brentford all the time they're still in the Premiership. I don't think we will. That's that's Um, fair to say. Especially in January, that's not going to happen. Maybe the summer. Yeah, uh, Jonathan David, on the other hand, is a completely different prospect. Um, I think that regardless of the time of the year, there are a lot of players out there that would jump at the chance to come into the Premiership yeah. at any time of the year. 
And I do believe that Jonathan David's one of them. Do you know what I mean? He's I like uh, he's I like a him a lot. He, the, my only worry is that he's, he's another one of those players who, like you know how we'll we'll use the the phrase master ma, or jack of all trades, master of none. Yep, yep. Like that's Jonathan David, but yeah. like he's a step above that. Like he's not a jack of all trades. Yeah. He's kind of like a. I don't want to say a master of all trades, but like he's like a step above jack of all trades. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I mean what? I think he can he can play on the the in the building trade. You would consider him a multi trader. Yes, 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 yes. Like he he's like a he's (laughs) he's like that one that one contractor you know that can do everything. Well, yeah, he's more than adequate at every job that you want to because he can play on the wing, he can yeah. play in the hole, he can play up top. Yeah, and he's he's a big boy. Yeah, he's a big boy as yeah, well. Yeah, he's a great finisher. Yeah. And, I, and I, you I know think... the fact that he's um, what is he Canadian national? Is yeah. he? He's a Canadian guy. Yeah, I mean the fact that he is like um, yeah, a Canadian. Uh, that there has been um, quite a lot of. Um, focus been put on this uh, pursuit of him because you know there hasn't been of note too many Canadian players in in the Premier League. I couldn't you know? name. So I think, you know, I think I could only name one. I think uh, um, this this dude Hutchinson. I can't remember his first name. I think he might he might have played in the Premier. Oh, Junior Junior Hallett. He played for um, QPR. Mm. That's another one. Mm. He plays in the MLS, Junior, now, I think. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. But you know, I mean, like the, the, there isn't a long list of them, and you know, we're beginning to see he's not the only Canadian out there that we've been North, looking. North at. American soccer well, the, has come a long way. Yeah, yeah. Like, and yeah. I'm I'm I'll, a proud. I'll, US... allow, I'll, I'll, I'll allow you to use that word just this once. Yeah, <laughs> and um, because I actually said to my brother the other day, I said, you know, I've been watching a bit of American football, and he went, "Have you? Why?" I said, "Well, you know, the MLS is, it, you know, it, it's produced one or two decent players." He went, "That's not American football club. That's American soccer." I was like, <laughs> "Oh, really?" As a uh, as a U.S. You know, men's national team supporter, like it's been it's been phenomenal to see because. Mm. I mean, clearly, what about we've never. Your national ladies team, though. Oh yeah, they're phenomenal. World Cup champions or something, wasn't it? Wasn't they the World Cup champions? Oh yeah. You know, come on. I mean, that's uh, for a nation in the, that in the men's you know, team. The of, men's team of, is of, top in ten their now. Infancy, if you like. Yeah, and the men's team is top yeah. ten right now. Yeah. Which is yeah. phenomenal. I mean, Christian because... Pulisic. I mean, what kind of a player is he? Hey, hey Andy's Croatian. You know? like me. You love to see it. Yeah, but I mean, the fact that he he's playing at the highest level uh, for one of the clubs at the highest level. And with you know, Winston McKenney uh, too, uh, playing in Italy. Yeah, for Juventus. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. it's it's crazy. It's crazy to think yeah. about these players now. They're, I mean, Ryan Ryan Adams or Tyler Adams playing for for Lyspeg. Like yeah. it's it's crazy yeah. to think about. I will be hold that thought. Mm. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get my food. I'll okay. be back in no two problem. seconds. No problem. Okay, so I'll just go through a few of the comments then. Uh Tyler and Paul, good afternoon, good evening, good morning to you. Is it? Yes. Uh did you shit the bed, Darren? <laughs> but gee, I was frozen because I was doing something online. Uh, I think we're missing Chris. Well, more says Robert. Good evening, Robert. Oh, morning now it is. Uh, with this defence, it's the attacking player that would eventually drag us over the line. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, you're about right there, Hammerhead. We we've got um, we've got a few decent options available, you know, for us to have a look at, especially. Now that you know we've got Zuma and um, Ogbonna injured, um, excuse me, one moment. 
there's a few options open to us now. Uh, as Lucas suggested, you know, we've got the, the option of going for Kalea Carr, Tarkowski. Now, I'm not a big fan of Tarkowski, I've got to be honest with you. And I am probably also one of the voices that says, well, before we got European places and before we started playing like a top six team plays, he wasn't interested in us. We weren't big enough for him. He wanted to stick with Burnley. You stick with Burnley, son. If we're not good enough for you then, what makes you good enough for us now? Works both ways, pal. That's how I see it. Um, so, Tarkowski, for me, I wouldn't sign him. I know David Moyes has been looking at him, and he's mentioned him once or twice. So, chances are he probably will sign him, or at least try to. Um, do we think Lingard is coming? We know that uh, Newcastle have put an offering for him. I don't know the state of play as far as any negotiations are concerned. But, do we think Lingard is still interested in coming back to the London Stadium? My belief is yes. So, there you go. Uh, also, Jonathan David, as we were just mentioning, I think that with the right kind of approach from our, um, our, our recruitment staff, with the right kind of approach, I think Jonathan David would find us a very attractive proposition. You know, we've got we've got European football. We're in the knockout stages. You know, there's a very good chance that we might draw a team like Barcelona. You know, one of the teams that have come down from the Champions League. And I feel right at this moment in time, Barcelona really wouldn't put up too much of an obstacle for us right now. I think we stand today? a very, Guitars. very good chance. Mm. They were, they were, uh, they were singing. Barcelona, we're coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. But, yeah, it was great. I, I, I was listening as much as I could to it, but the fact is, that, you know, as I said earlier, you know, I had my brother and my nephew there, and we were just sort of kind of chatting as much as I dared without taking my eyes off yeah. the screen, you know. So, um, But, you know, it, it was. It, I really enjoyed the game. I thought that we came out and we looked absolutely commanding throughout the first hour or more. I thought, you know, we could go win this 5-6-0. You know, yeah, we the, could have gone on and on. The first 10 minutes wasn't so pretty. And then we did get stuck in for like an hour, hour and a half. Uh, and then yeah. clearly that last 15 minutes was just dreadful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, to... and, you know, I mean, to be fair, that free kick was... Um, Beautifully taken free kick. But I felt that although he had a great game tonight, I felt Fabianski could have done yeah. better with that. I, I'm I'm in I'm the same I'm in the same mindset. I think he should have been a little bit I more. I think Ariola I think Ariola in goal would that would have been safe. I agree. And yeah. I'm But man. I don't want to knock Fabianski because he had a great game. Yeah. You know, he really I mean, he pre he pretty much had a an eight an eight out of ten day, but you can't give him an eight an eight out of ten with Conceding two goals. No, yeah, no. that that one save uh -uh. from Benteke when he just absolutely rocketed rocketed the shot on the ground and yeah. bounced up and that, oh, was a, yeah. that was a brilliant save. It that was. takes a lot of thought, concentration. Uh, yeah, I I thought so too, and I also thought that the uh, Palace keeper done really really well to keep out um, Ben Rama's header. Know. Uh, was it Antonio Zeta? Yeah, the triple yeah. save. Yeah, the triple save. No, I mean, come on. That, that's probably got to have been like the save of the day, isn't it? That little selection of saves there. You know, credit yeah. where credit's due. That was incredibly good. And I was going to um, touch on this with Jonathan David. I was going to say um, the only yeah. thing that might keep us away from him is the fact that Lil is in the Champions League currently right now. But. I mean, they could get knocked out. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I would yeah. love Jonathan um, David, though. Is is he like their first choice striker then? Yeah, Bill? he is. 
Him, him, and Yilmaz, oh, the the one bloke from Turkey. Yilmaz, oh mate, I tell you what, he's tasty. He is he's tasty. A, I've watched yeah, him play getting, a few times. He's getting up there now, but he, mm. you, you know, there, there's always a set of players we keep in our mind, like currently that, like, oh, they'd be such a bastard for us. I'd love to have them. Yeah, like Yilmaz would be yeah. such a bastard. I would love him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you know, I you know one player I always would love to have seen playing in Claret and Blue was Marcelo. I would love to have seen him at West Ham. What a player he was! I mean, he's just retired, isn't he, Joff? Or yeah, I think he's just retired. But oh, I loved him as a player. I thought he was great. You know. Yeah, I'm just hoping we love to have seen him come. On, Oh, don't don't worry. We'll we'll see him in the champ in the the Europa League final. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see him. Yeah, uh, I'm we're just so running. happy we're back on track. It looks like hopefully. We, yeah, we um, you know the thing was the thing was uh, again today. What I also noticed again today was when they were walking out onto the pitch right at the start before the kickoff. When they were walking out on the pitch. There were a lot of conversations going on between them, you know, kind of like little little taps on on the back, and you know, I oh, have a good and bud, you know, that kind of thing, you know, and, and there was quite a lot of that going on coming onto the pitch, and then in the second half when they came on, they didn't seem like that. They seemed too comfortable. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And I think that's where, you know, that, you know, that. We gotta address. We gotta address team. that immediately. Yeah, we have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we got very comfortable in the last fifteen minutes, and and they capitalised on it. You know, we we um we have got to address that straight away. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, what would you have? Uh, how how would you uh, view Ben? Ra- oh, sorry, not Ben Rama Bowen's game today. I mean, I thought I thought he was good again. I thought he was a. I thought it was another seven out of ten performance. He was. He didn't get the ball a lot, but he was incredibly lively. And when he did get the ball, mm. he was pretty good today, in my opinion. Yeah, and I, I yeah. wouldn't say he yeah. was a ghost, but he just wasn't in, in, involved as as much as yeah. he usually is. He wasn't because, as noticeable because most of the play went out to the left anyway. Yeah, because um, I mean, let's let's be honest, Bowen is. Pretty much like, even though he's been in better form than Ben Rama, Bowen's like plan B. Yeah. Like if Ben Rama isn't getting it going down the left hand side, we're gonna get it to Bowen. And Ben Rama yeah. was on an absolute, on an absolute hey, thunder peach of there. a game. Yeah, yeah, he was on a peach of a game. Excuse the pun. <laughs> so you just got you got to mm. keep going to him, and. And I already yeah. said this too. Yeah. I thought Antonio had a brilliant game. Like, I did too. Uh, yeah, he was back to his normal self. And, you know, like I keep pointing out, I love watching a player when they're not on the ball, when the ball mm-hmm. isn't in their, you know, in their vicinity. You know, I like to see how a player, you know, does work the other opposition, you know, players around him. I like to see how they draw the game to them and stuff like that, you know. Um, so, yeah, Antonio had a, an exceptional game in that respect that's, today. That's why I, I love felt he watching was Rice. Like, I just love yeah. watching Rice just dictate the game, just like pointing, shouting. Like, mm-hmm. the fact that he's doing that at 22 years old in his 150th appearance, Premier League appearance, like, that's just, you don't see that every day at all. No, no, no. That kind of maturity isn't um, it isn't worked on it. Kind and his of teammates you're listen, born with that. which speaks even yes. louder. Yes, and you know, I know, I, I know you're a lot younger than I am, Lucas, and and you won't remember Bobby Moore as as well as I do. And I mean, I've actually seen the man play a number of times, you know, and but you know. It's kind of visions of Bobby Moore's career being rewritten 
if you know what I mean, in in favour of Declan Rice. Mm -hmm. Because he, you know, even at a young age, Bobby Moore was captain material when he first broke into the team. He was already captain material. He, whether he got the armband straight away or not is irrelevant. You know, yeah. the fact that he, he was such a young guy and he was commanding play in his area, that, you know, guys around him, and that's why Ron Greenwood, you know, made him the captain because of, of, of his maturity and and everything else. And it's exactly the same kind of story for Declan, you know. Um, I think it was uh, Moyes that made him the vice captain when he first came back, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And we, talk, we talked about this yeah. before. And again, it's just so, I mean, and you see it, you see it a lot of the times, obviously you don't see it as much when we lose, but like when we win this Declan Rice is just like having an absolute ball. He's having the time of his life. Like no way it looks like yeah. he wants to leave. And we, we talked about this a couple weeks ago, I believe, or I mentioned it. Yeah. He, he is just so like, like, we always talk about like when he leaves, if he leaves, how much he's worth, yada yada yada. Like, yeah. That what I'm about to say just just tells so much, and obviously only a West Ham fan can can feel this. Like, you you know the guy is just built different and is is different for his age. When like when someone this was on the the West Ham YouTube channel, and he was asked like his, his dream yeah. five aside, and when he when he sticks in Bobby Moore is his first, his first like first player. choice. Yeah, first choice, and then he's yep. just like describing like how he played this and that. I'm like, and and this is a thing. Like, it wasn't like a, a West Ham. I don't think it was like a West Ham five aside. He was just asked in general, like his dream five yep. aside. And when you when you put in Bobby Moore, like no one does that. No one does. And that. there was no hesitation. There was None. no hesitation Didn't even at have to all. Think about it. When they asked him, I, I saw exactly the same um, stream, you know, the same program. And uh, when he said to him, you know, okay, right, well, then let's name your dream, you know, top five aside players that you'd like to play alongside. And he, he went, you know, Bobby Moore straight away. And he didn't pick a goalkeeper, did he? Nope. <laughs> he said, no, we're not going to need a goalkeeper. I've got Bobby Moore back there. And then I'll help him out. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like it was incredible. He's just different mustard, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he is. Um, sorry, it, good evening to you, Cyber uh, or Dalek, as you like to be known at times. Um, and we both Helen. agree with that. Yeah, uh, we both agree with that statement, though, don't we? That Lanzini was man of the match. I think yeah. we both agree with that, don't we, Lucas? And Absolutely. good evening, Helen. Thank you for joining us, lovers. Nice of you to join us. Uh, Happy New Year to everybody in the chat. So, um, okay, so we've sort of skipped around that. Now, how do you think Masuhaku did when he came on, Luke? I don't think, you know, he's starting to become kind of like, like a bad omen. And I hate to say that because, like, in 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 his defense, and it, it can be debated either way. Diop is bad when Masawaku's in, and then when Masawaku comes in, Diop becomes terrible. And you can make an argument for both cases that like either Diop isn't good or he has no confidence in Masawaku, which makes him play worse. And yeah, in in my in my opinion, we all know he's not a left back. But I don't, I don't think he's – I mean, it's hard to not say I don't think he's terrible because he has not been playing well. But, no. again, I feel like he's kind of like almost a bad omen right now. And it's unfortunate because there are times when but he some comes of his on. Play today was, he, yeah, he, he, had a, good he had a couple good tackles. Today. He had a couple yeah. really good tackles. I mean, and, like one of the stats was after 15 minutes of the second half, um, he he topped the stats in tackles, interceptions, I think, and clearances. He was topping the stats, and that was throughout the first, like you know, 
60 minutes of the game. It's just unfortunate he that he's had up. such a, a bad run of form because there are times where he gets subbed on and he hasn't played that bad, but we do concede, and it's not his yep. fault. And it is it does kind of seem like a bad omen almost. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, it's, I, it's I, get, I get it. You know, it's unfortunate. I mean, I, I, I'm probably in the minority where it's, I, I kind of have, do have some faith in Masuaku. I do too. I like him. Mm. Uh, sorry, just want to acknowledge that Charlie uh, Walsh is in the house. Sorry, I forgot his flipping surname for a second there. Uh, good evening, Charlie. Thank you for joining us. He said he thought Masuaku was all right when he came on. Okay. I, I felt he'd done an all right job. You know, that, that one or two decent tackles, one or two decent clearances. And like I said, you know, according to um, Sky, he was topping after 15 minutes. He had already topped the charts throughout the entire first hour of the game for interceptions, tackles and clearances. So, mm. you know, he must have been doing something right, especially in his first 15 minutes on the pitch. You know, I'd like and to I, know what I, the stats are with, you know, for the rest of it. And I, I, agreed, I agreed with the substitution, personally. Yeah. Because, so. don't get me too. wrong, I love I mean, Johnson. Ben Johnson was, was playing really good, but with the yellow card and his youth, I yeah. think that was a slight... And we are going to need him Yeah, I think that was a Sunday. stick of dynamite waiting to go off, wasn't it? You know what I mean? Who we got in the house, then? There he is, look, brother Peach is back. <laughs> How you oh, doing, buddy? I'm good. I was listening, and why do you why, why do you think Masuaku's like a bad omen, Lucas? Like, you know, you know how we've we've all had a friend where yep. like everything's fine and dandy, and then Masuaku by no means is a bad guy that we know yeah. of. Yeah, but we've all but we've all had that one friend where like everything's all fine and dandy, and then when this one friend shows up, like the aura of the room just kind of is noticeably worsens, and like something mm -hmm. bad happens. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's Masuaku, like undeservedly, undeservingly has a bad omen, and it's just, in my opinion, unfortunate. Like. We seem we seem to shit the bed when he gets subbed in. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And and sometimes it's yeah. not his fault. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Does that make so when, sense? When, yeah, I'll say, uh, no, that, that, that could be like yeah, it, it could happen. be like you you pointed towards the fact that um, you know players around him haven't got the confidence in him, and therefore yeah, it's it like something creates. dropped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hear that. Uh, that, that's what I mean by a bad omen. Yeah, yeah. Da Darren's saying 150th Premier League appearance for Declan today. Wow. 150 appearances youngest, in the league. Ever do it in West Ham history? That's beautiful, isn't it? That's lovely. There you go. There you go. So um, it's 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 nice that we've come out the other side of this um, dull patch that we had. You know, yeah. I, I think we've come out the other side of it. I mean. Everything's pointing towards it. We had a, a good game the other day. You know, we had a good game today. Regardless of the results, you know, what I mean is, is that the players, um, that unity seems to be back again, you know, that yeah. that kind of reliance upon each other to do their job yeah. so that each man can do his own job. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I would say And I think that, that unity... Sorry, Lucas, I missed that. My eye spoke over you. I would say maybe besides the defense, everything else. Yeah, has. yeah, uh, yeah. The defense have got a bit leaky because of obviously you know we haven't got our first choice. Yeah, uh, guys in in there, but you know um, to be fair, the second Palace goal, the free kick. Other, as I said, other than I thought that maybe Fabianski may have been able to do a little better. I don't yeah. think anybody was actually at fault for that goal going in. Other than I said, that I thought Fabianski may have. Been it was able a good cross through. or shot, whatever yeah. it was supposed to be. Yeah, it was yeah, it was, it was good free. It was good free kick. Yeah. yeah. Um, the first Palace goal, however, 
was more on the shoulders of really, I think, Masuaka and Diop. Yeah. I think they share the blame for it, really. Um, even Suchek was a little bit slow getting back to assist with it, but I don't blame him for that because he was already marking another man further you know, across the pitch. So, but once he saw the, the 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 danger that was imminent, he tried to get across, and I felt that he, you know a little late, if you like. If he was going to do that, he should have done that five seconds earlier. Wow! But you Here, know, can I, I, can I, but you know, can I read on. something real quick? <laughs> yeah. So, Lanzini just posted a picture on Instagram the other day about the new year. And it's absolutely okay. beautiful, and I think everyone needs to needs to hear this. I'll try and run through it quickly. Go on, my son. He says, "A beautiful year ends, full of joys and positive things. I married the woman of my life, the one who fills the house with joy. Finding out what we're going to be parents, which is the most beautiful thing in the world. Seeing Benja grow up with the, in, the innocence and happiness she has. Seeing my godson Lolito going to primary school with a new world to go." And with the birth of my goddaughter and my godson, who are two beautiful children. Also in football, being able to close a very good year, being well and being able to feel important again. Wanted to wish everyone a great end of the year. Enjoy this day and start the next one even better. That's lovely. Beautiful. And obviously yeah. the, the big part being um, being able to feel important again. Just mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that we, kind we of all resonates, have, doesn't it? Yeah, like, at the end of the day, deep in our hearts, we all have faith in 99% of our players. Everyone's going to, mm -hmm. excuse me, everyone's going to have, like, the one player in the squad where they just, like, I'm done with this guy. I have no faith. But, like, at the end of the mm -hmm. day, most of us, we of course, we, we want all of our, our squad players to succeed because we want to win. Yeah. yeah. And... It is it I can't lie, it is it is really nice to see Lanzini hopefully coming back to the closest like best form that he's had with us. And it today felt like he turned back a page, like yeah. Mark Noble yes. against against Watford. Yes. Like yes. that's yes. just it's just beautiful to see, you know? It means a lot. Mm. And and what yeah. did what did Lanzini yeah. say at the, the the end of that like scripture that he wrote? About like going into the new year with like hope and grace or whatever. Wanted to wish what everyone a great end of the year. Enjoy this day and start the next one even better. That start the next one even better. He did that, didn't he? He did that. He did that. I love that. Yeah. Like he took his own words into advice yeah, and did that. I love that. It's it's um it's it's a beautiful feeling to be going into the new year, uh, like with a win under our belts already, you know, yep. we've got confidence going into the next game. Yeah. We've got the FA Cup coming up. Yeah. We've got, we've now got the knockout stages of the uh, Europa coming up in a few weeks. Um, so we're going to be busy still. Next month. Know? We yeah. are going to be busy. Yeah. We're going to be busy again. So, mm. you know, hopefully by that time we'll have Ben Rama back from the AFCON. Yeah. Now, I personally, I mean, this this may not suit everybody's uh, palette, but um, mm -hmm. I personally, I am really excited to see him do it, go to the Afcon, because I believe that he deserves it. I think he's earned the right yeah. to represent his country. And now, if know, it was it, an English player, ex mm -hmm. if he was an English player, we would all be up. And down, clapping and cheering I because totally you've got agree. an England I was, call I was up. gonna say the same thing. It's it's yeah. quite I and you know I, I watched but... I watched a little tweet on on um there was a program on today, oh football focus. Um I was watching that and they they showed a tweet from Ian Wright where mm. he was saying that exactly that. And and you know, it was him that basically really helped me to Solidify my belief in yeah. what I'm saying now. Did you, you see know? what Alaire said, said as well? Hello, no. no. 
after after you you uh, read what you were gonna say, I'll I'll tell you what Alair said about the same thing. Okay, yeah, I mean, you know, like Ian Wright, he he basically said, look, you know, I, I think it's wrong that any team should um, refuse a player the right to go and represent their country because uh, someone's done that, haven't they? Um, now, who was that? That was oh gosh, can't think who it was. It'll come to me in a minute. Um, is it Leeds? No. Or but they they oh, refused their player to like play for their country. That they've refused their player permission to. Oh yeah, to Emmanuel leave. Dennis for Wofford. Wow. That, that's it. It is Emmanuel Dennis. Wow. Yes, he plays they've for refused Nigeria. to give him permission. Okay. Yes, and I think that is wrong yeah. at every that's level. It. You know, yeah. I mean, the fact is, like I said, if that was an England player, yeah. we would all be cheering and clapping and happy. And, and you know, we would all really want the best for that player to represent his country. After all, you ask any professional player what their ultimate aim is. Mm-hmm. And it is to put on their national team shirt and the play. Only, the only in, thing that's unfortunate the is the timing. That's about the only thing. Because, because obviously, Africa near the equator, they have to play. Oh, it. I understand. Mm-hmm. I understand that. I understand that. But does that also mean then that we've got to give the entire world grief then because of the timing of next year's World exactly. Cup? Exactly. And this is this is what Alaire said. He said this question shows the disrespect for Africa. Would this question ever get asked to a European player ahead of the Euros? Of course, I'm going to the Africa Cup. One hundred percent. Yes, yes. Well, listen, yeah, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Sebastian Heller, but that's he's actually put him further up my list than he was, you know, people. Yeah, that makes sense. That, that's, you know, listen, I, look, I, I don't understand that there is still, in this, you know, current climate in 2022, with the, uh, with the level of tolerance that there is left in this world which is very low now um i can't believe that we are still discussing that and you know i what are you going to go and and represent your country at the africa cup nation that should not be the country Uh, sorry that shouldn't be the question the question Um, should be how proud will you feel when you pull that shirt on that should be the bloody question, yeah. you know. And and yeah, you're right, Charlie. Dennis isn't going to go because Watford have put a block on it, you know. And, and it's wrong. ridiculous, yeah. You know, no matter how um, much they need them. I mean, that's basically yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean you know, there's there's that um, the Spanish. Uh, sorry, not Spanish. God, what's the matter with you, Clive? The South American country. What is it? The um, uh, CAF. CONCACAF. No, CONCACAF. Um, CONCACAF. Yeah. Yeah. CONCACAF. CONCACAF. I mean, now that's another um, competition that doesn't get the coverage it deserves. Oh, you know what I mean? Like worldwide. You yeah. know, some of the greatest players that we have spoken about whether they play for us or play for other clubs. Some of the mm-hmm. players that we've spoken about are South American guys. Yeah. Lanzini today. We're praising Lanzini, the guy's Argentinian. A river player. You know, Sergio Aguero. Yeah. Aguero. You know, oh, we're talking about some of the best players in the world. Look, one of the best left wingers in the world, and I say one of, one of the best left wingers in, in the world is uh, South Korean. The, mm. Another one of them is African in Sadio Mane. Yeah. Mm. And, you know, DJ, like Sadio Mane and uh, oh, Salah. Salah, Mo Salah, are probably, going, are probably going to the AFCON. Yeah. And, and, now, you don't and, hear, and, 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 and I'm yeah. sorry, I know Klopp is a moany git, but we don't hear he him. Is. Him and Mo, Tuchel. Yeah, you know, refusing them yes. the right to go. Yes, Lucas. You know, yes. and we know he's going to moan like a bitch about it for the entire month. But, 
But, you know, at the end of the day, he's not refusing his players the right to wear their national shirt. You know, yeah, and me. you've got yeah. to admire that. And, and we're talking about two of the greatest players in the Premier League at this moment. And, and you know, Bucky, when you look at it, Mohamed Salah that, that and, and Western, Sadio Mane are great players. That, that Western, Western cat, the American who plays for Juventus. Western like, he's gonna, yeah, he's going to be playing yeah. in the CONCACAF. Like Jonathan David, because it's not just South America. It's North America, too. Like, it's where me and Lucas live, dog, as well as South America. All right. Sorry, South America All is right. the Con oh, okay. South America is the con bull. And then North is America okay. is CONCACAF. Sorry. There you go, CONCACAF. Yeah, oh, that's it. All right. That's it. Okay. That's it. Wrong yeah, yeah, yeah. Cap, right. But you're right. Yeah, We're the I mean, top class players you know, that, playing in that in that competition, and it's, it know, doesn't you get know the coverage what we say, You know what we What's say up, to yeah? Jurgen Klopp and and Tuchel about scheduling Brian. and all that. Brian. You can piss all, yeah. off yes. back to Germany. If yes. you don't like the yes. way we schedule yeah. our matches, yeah. fuck on off. Yes, one hundred percent. Go back. Go back to Germany. And yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree. With you. I mean, you know, God, like uh, so Jordan Jordan Henderson. He's uh, um, he's come out and made a statement about um, the you know the scheduling and stuff. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he said that he felt that not enough people consider like player welfare during this period. You know, you're mm -hmm. a, you know the he said the, the most. Regular phrase they hear is, "You're a professional. Get out and do your job. Yeah. You get paid enough money for it." Yeah, but um, but it also, you know, it does have some kind of adverse effect on the players, whether it be physically or mentally. You know, there are certain players like Pablo Fornells, Lanzini, and a few other mm -hmm. players out there that have got, you know, young children and, and newborns and stuff. You know. Not being able to spend as much time as they'd like to, especially around Christmas period, must be tough on them. It was tough for me when I was working away and I had young children, you know. Yeah. Um, what, what, so what, what, I kind what, of understand that. What was that about the EFL Cup? But what was that about the right, EFL Cup? Okay. Because I, Char I Charlie said, I agree with you. Yeah. Go on. Uh, the... EFL Cup. What was said about the EFL Cup? I don't know. I don't you remember. English Football League Cup. That's the, that's it, the card. I, I think. Oh, I think it was probably. Ball. I think we were probably saying uh, that um, EFL Cup. Hang on. Because Cup, so, basically. To, to be fair, Klopp, I yeah. mean, Klopp always complains, obviously, about the scheduling, but like. Yeah. To be fair, I agree with the fact about a two-day turnaround, like playing on Sunday then having to play on Tuesday. But like he's mm -hmm. always moaning about like midweek yeah. fixtures, and it's like, yeah. like dude, Shut that's, up. Just, that's the way that's <laughs> yeah. the way that's the way it's been for a hundred years. I know. Like, I know. I know you don't do that in Germany, and if you don't like it, leave. Like, piss off, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hear you, my man. You know, I, I mean, yeah. some of the best best games in my time of when I was going to quite a few games, some of my best games were <laughs> midweek games. You know, Absolutely. The was so different. Un underneath I mean, the don't get me wrong. Going into, go, yeah, but going, going into, uh, you know, Upton Park when there's a full house, you know, and you've got like 30-odd thousand Hammers fans you know, singing bubbles and, you know, singing songs related to the players of the day and stuff like that. You know, and this has been going on for many years with West Ham and, and any other club. You know, they always come up with songs to, to go with players they love. You know, and to see that on a Saturday, you know, when you've got like 30 or thousand people there shouting the same lyrics and that, it's great. It's fantastic. But yeah. to go and see that with... You know, maybe sometimes there would be less, you know, in the old less crowd. But you know, you're still yeah. talking twenty odd thousand, you know, people. Oh, well, and to do it yeah. under the floodlights, you know, and all you can smell is yeah. the hot dogs and the yeah. fried onions and yeah, you know, fried and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, and yeah. you got lads walking around with their 
you know, with their families and that, you know. Yeah. And it's a it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling, you it know, because yeah. You know, but like, I've I've now also been to an evening game at the London Stadium when we played yeah. against Genk, and you know that was equally as nostalgic for me. Do you know what I mean? Like, okay. It's yes. not Upton Park, but we're fast making it a home, and we're also, fast making yeah. it a happy, fortress. Yeah. Happy early birthday to you, Budgie! And I heard about your nephew yeah. doing a stadium tour for your birthday. That's lovely. Oh, right, Doesn't that sound yeah, dope? Doesn't that sound dope, Lucas? Yeah. Like, oh my because yeah. like, like I've told, I've told you, I've, I think I've told you guys before. I don't know if I told Budgie. I don't even know if I told you. Yep. Peach. Like, okay, I've been. Yeah. I've been supporting West Ham now since about 2015. That was when I first started watching. Mario Zarate yep. was my first favorite player. Oh, and, what a uh, player. Okay. What a player. What a player. And, like, and, oh, what like, a player. I know. And what's what's crazy about it all is, like, I've only been watching for six going on seven years now. And I yeah. sort of feel the same way like you guys so you guys have obviously been to upton park i have never been there unfortunately but like Mm -hmm. i can feel you in a sense because like i don't really have an appeal or interest to like go to the olympic stadium like don't get me wrong i would love to go to a match one day like i gotta do it but like it doesn't yeah like obviously it doesn't give you the same like kick up the ass like going to upton park you know what i mean Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, so, but it's fast getting that way. Yeah, that that's why I said that's lo- that's lovely that you're doing a stadium tour. I'm very happy for you. Great birthday. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, I 100%. mean, I, I, yeah, I don't know when that will be, but you know, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, I, I've never done a stadium tour. I know a few people that have, and you know, I've had mixed, you know, feedback on them, but for me. Like I said, you know, like I keep saying, I kind of, I watch a game, but I kind of watch what's happening off the ball. Yeah. And, you know, I've been to the stadium. So now I want to kind of see backstage. I want to, you know, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I want to see the backstage stuff. There's a good, there's a good um, YouTube channel. There's a guy that um, he vlogs um, stadium tours. I know. I know what you're Okay. Okay, go on, go on, go on. I'll send I'll I'll send you a, a link later in the in the WhatsApp for the one he did at the London Stadium if you want to watch it or if I you want saw, to keep it I a surprise. Yeah, I, yeah, I saw I'd love that to. and it Thank was dope. You. I saw that and it was dope. But yeah. but um, oh, first off, big up James the Anvil. Happy New Year to you, my friend. Yes. He's in Happy Canada, New Year, brother. Yeah, big yeah. up James Anvil. What a man. But um, I saw like, did you did you see when they broke into London Stadium? Like it was Night before game. it opened. Yeah. <laughs> I was mad. They were like that's, sitting on. That the sounds like a peach move to me. I know that sounds like like that sounds like a Lucas and Peach move. Dog. Like we'd run that. We would run. Hey, I'm, that, I'm not doing front flips and cartwheels on the pitch, my guy. <laughs> like the Florida man. I, I am the wor- I am the worst person you want to run away from the the police with. I'll definitely get no, caught. <laughs> I thought, I, thought, I, thought, I thought it was brilliant. Like, they snuck into the London Stadium. They're on, like, the top of the rafters, top of the terraces. And they oh, were man. everywhere. They went everywhere, like, in the London yeah. Stadium. And the security was just as shit. Like, oh, they, oh, yeah, what a video. What Nightscape it's called, yeah? Is that is that it? Yeah, the, that's the guy that, that broke... It wasn't, like, before it opened, but they, they snuck in and they got, like, cool pictures and stuff. And all that. Are you sure it was then not before it opened, but you're sure it wasn't before the like the first match we played against Juventus? Like, are you sure? Because I thought it was before because the first match we played there was against Juventus in the in the preseason. And that's when we saw uh, Zaha. No, Zaza, Zaza. That's when we saw Zaza who scored against us in that match. But it's like that was the first match at the London Stadium. I thought it was before that. I might be wrong. But like I thought it was before we started. If it wasn't, it doesn't matter. It was still a wicked video. Like that video was phenomenal. Yeah, I can't necessarily remember. I just know that Ooh. they 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 broke in and they got on yeah. top of the the roof yeah. and all that. They did yeah. some somersaults and front flips um, on the pitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. shit! It, it was. I'll, mad. Send, and I'll then send they you that home. video too. 
I'll drop that it, in it's, it's class. Yeah. It's class. Oh, and yeah, then they yeah, went cool. into like they went into the toilets, didn't they? And like, yo, they're in the toilets just chilling, like and it was like a uh they thought it was like security uh from the London Stadium and they're like in the cubicles dark and there's like security mm-hmm. like right outside, but they just like jumped on like the whatchamacallit shitter if you want to call it and like yo they, they so their feet weren't dangling like you know and they couldn't get seen it was mad it was like a movie it was like a movie it was honestly like a movie it was nuts it was brilliant man it was brilliant i loved it too. so i thought that was phenomenal at times that but you, you'll enjoy the the london stadium tour budget because you'll get to go into like the dressing room yeah you'll get to like you know through the yeah. tunnel like oh my days yeah. I would have loved to have had I should, like an Upton I should take a, a selfie a, next to Lanzini's shirt. Oh, yeah. Right? I'll take a selfie yeah. next to Lanzini's shirt. You know where yeah. that's going, don't you? <laughs> yeah, to have me. That's right to have I'll do a know, live little right video right and I'll just say, look where I am. Yeah, you know. Yeah. You yeah. know. She, oh, but, she would yeah. love that, man. Big up Happy Hammer Hack, but she would love that. Yeah, like, she would. Yeah. I don't Budgie, believe she got a hard word cut out. Cardboard cut out of Lanzini. I put those videos in the, the WhatsApp. Oh, I know. I've just seen them. Respect, and I've just seen them. And, and he put another one in, too. Happy Hamrat, new chant. Oh, she, she was doing a new chant. Didn't get to see it, though. So, Something Budgie, about I, dropped, I dropped the, the stadium tour, and I dropped the um the the other video where they break in, and they're doing, like, somersaults and shit. It's so it. good. Okay. They're doing Florida Man okay, things. Florida they're in the man WhatsApp, yeah? Yeah, they're yeah, in the it was in WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I've, okay, so Charlie, Charlie Walsh is saying, I've been on the stadium tour when they first started it. I was surprised by how decent it was, and apparently it's it's gotten better since. So you're in for a treat, Bunch. Oh, you are okay. in for a treat. Yeah. You are in for a treat. Yeah. Oh, I bet, I, wouldn't it be funny if they introduced me to Russ? <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. I love that. Uh, like, he'll I go, oh, hello, Budgie. How are you? And all that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that'd be <laughs> hilarious. From, from the video. The stadium tour be like, hang on a minute. Am I supposed to know about watched, you? <laughs> it, was, it, was, it looked cool. Just awkward. Yeah. Obviously, there's no nostalgia yeah. there. Yeah. Just obviously, there's no nostalgia or like any real, like, I don't want to say history, but there's no, like. No, you're right. Though. You're right. Don't saying that. Sorry, you're I'm right. You're right in saying history, Lucas. One hundred percent. There is no real history in well, the I mean, that's up to, that's up to us. We got to make it. One hundred percent. Yes. Actually, yes, do you yes, know yes. something? We are creating. It. Uh, uh, we are yeah, creating. We are right history now. In there. Yeah. Right, let, let me tell you something, okay? I hadn't been to a game since the mid eighties. You know, lots of yeah. reasons, but I hadn't. Yeah. Um. Just before I carry on with that, sorry, Hammerette, but it did go in the uh, what's that? Both in the. Massive one and in the random yeah. one. So sorry, yeah. darling. I'm sorry you didn't get that. Um, yeah, so I, I, I didn't go to a game for a long time. So obviously my last experience of a West Ham home game was obviously the bowling, Upton Park. Yeah. So this year, um, this calendar year, um, I got in touch with Hammerette and a few other guys and girls from, um, you know, being in the chats on mm-hmm. some of the shows and stuff. You went um, to the European match, didn't you? Con- you went to game. Convinced to come to a game. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was kind of yeah. encouraged and convinced to go to a game. I went with Toby Sampson, met up with Hannah yeah. and her dad and a few other people. Yeah, brilliant. brilliant, brilliant experience. Lovely. And I went to the stadium post COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Pre COVID. I understand that a lot of people were disillusioned with the atmosphere in there, although it had started to build. Uh, um, mm-hmm. that a lot of people were saying that the, the atmosphere wasn't as uh, intense as, you know, Upton Park and so on yeah. and so forth. It's I can't mentioned. actually yeah. verify or deny that because I've never been yeah. post, uh, pre-COVID. But yeah, I'll yeah. tell you now, I've been there three times now. I went to it's the Crystal yeah. Palace draw. I, yeah. yeah, I went to the Brentford loss and I went to the uh, Genk game. Yeah. And I'll tell you now, the atmosphere in that stadium each time was impressive. Absolutely well, impressive. Budgie, you know, budgie, budgie. At the moment, like, there are pockets of fans singing songs and not yeah. everybody's like 
like got it coordinated yet. But one yeah. day somebody is going to go, hang on, this needs coordinating. And yeah. then there's be a little group of lads that go to the Red Games regular and they will start coordinating it around certain sections of the stadium and then that will be it. The whole stadium will pick it up and then guarantee you in two years people will be saying Upton Park Ho. Yeah. Not literally, <laughs> not literally <laughs> but you know what I mean? They'll be saying, no, no, this, this is good stadium. Because what they did, what they did, Lucas, right? At, at, at Upton Park, you had, you know, you were sitting with your mates, like, yeah. and, and there would be blocks of, like, seats where you're sitting with your mates. When they, when, when they were, and those are season ticket holders. When they renewed the, the season ticket holders and went to the London Stadium, they split them all up. So that's what Bungie's saying. They split, like, everybody that used yeah. to sit together, they split yeah. them all up. Like, and, and yeah. this, this yeah. I know and I'm what they did, no, go, just hold, let me just, I know I've yeah, this no. kid. I was going to say, they did that for a reason, so that they could spread right. the atmosphere around a massive I know, but stadium. It's, it's, I know, but it's chipped and changed it. It's chopped and changed it. And I know, it I know I played this. It did. I know that. I know I played this clip a lot, but this was actually Budgie at the London Stadium for the gank match uh, in, in, in our Europa League quest. And this is in St. Bubbles. No, that weren't me. That was some gobby fella about three rows down, mate. <laughs> yeah, he, he turned around to face me and shout out, oh, yeah. he was trying to get everybody behind us to start singing. Oh, yeah. It was great, though. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I also took a little bit of a, a video. I, I could upload it, actually. Uh, of when uh, Dawson scored on that night as well. And I, I, the guy that I was, because I got my ticket through the Discord, you know. Um, yeah. Someone supplied the ticket for me. And and so the people around me, I didn't know any of them, but it was still fun, you know, because the guys around me made it brilliant. And then at half time, when I had a beer with Hammerette and her dad and that, and, and her yeah. dad said, look, why didn't you come back to our seats? He said, I think we can get free in there. <laughs> so yes. for the second half, I went down with them and oh, watched uh, the second half of the game. It was brilliant. You know? um, yeah. But it. yeah, it, it, it was quality. And, you know, it was just, I mean, the, like when I was up at the other, higher up in the stadium on, on in uh, Trevor Brookings stand, um, yeah. when I was in there, the uh, the guys that I was with, one of them, he said to me, he goes, oh, yeah, he said, I live in uh, Highbury. I said, Highbury? He said, yeah. I said, well, if you don't mind me asking, how the fuck are you not an Arsenal fan? Uh-huh. He goes, because they're, he goes, Cause they're shit. He goes, and my dad was an East Ender. He no. goes, we just moved no. to Highbury because that's where no. my mum was from. I went, oh, Okay. He said, yeah, he said, I've been coming to West Ham since I was nine. And I was like, wow. The guy was probably that. 24, 23, 24. Yeah. You know, staunch West Ham, you know, but lived in Highbury. Yeah. Love it. Got to love that. Got to love yeah. that. And, yeah. you know, and, 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 you know, I, what, I like, have a question. Luke, Luke, Luke. Go on. Oh, thank you. I have a question for Lucas. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. No, 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 no. Oh, I have a question you. for you, oh, Lucas. You. <laughs> uh, so you said that you've been supporting West Ham probably seven years or so, I just yeah? was going to say this, dog. You're stealing my questions away from me, dog. What, I just was talk about so this. what made you choose West Ham? So, so I've all, I've all, 
I've always been in into. I wouldn't say I've always been into footy, but like my si- my sister played footy throughout her her like school years. Mm-hmm. Um, my mom, yeah. my sister, my sister was the first one that was like really into into football, and then mm-hmm. she played obviously, and then her and my mom love the women's national team. So that's how like they connected. And we all like the the men's national teams too. So I've been I've been watching the men's national team since since like the 2012 World Cup where we So like were, Landon Donovan days or like like yeah, Jermaine like Jermaine Jones against Germany when he scored that that screaming got you, bender. Got you, yeah, got to yep. Yeah. And um yeah, when we lost to Portugal and and then it wasn't until I I got to college where so I I was watching this um this one YouTuber his name's Spencer FC, you've probably mm-hmm. heard of him. And yeah, I have. Yeah, one hundred. I just I loved watching his his FIFA content and yep. he um I fi- I found out what team he supported and I was like okay that's interesting. I didn't really think anything of it, but then I saw this one video on a Copa ninety. And it was okay. he had a video and it was called Why I Love West Ham. And then I watched it and it was just so it was just so good and I felt like so connected. I just like right then and there yeah. I was like, This is this is the one. It's an and, emotional connection, isn't it, Lucas? It's an emotional connection with West Ham. And, like, isn't and it? I and I get it when so, I'm listening, by the way. I get it when um I don't like it, it, it does feel weird because I don't feel like I chose them. I feel like they chose me. Yep. 100%. Great answer. 100%. And great yeah. answer. Yeah. Yeah. I beautiful. Just, and it, it's weird because all, all the other sport sport teams that I, I support have, have naturally, or two of them have always been like pretty good Pittsburgh Steelers for American football. Yeah. And then the Pittsburgh mm-hmm. Penguins for hockey. They've always mm-hmm. been good, okay. and okay. so the connection with West Ham is is kind of strange because obviously we we had a period of time where we were really good, but like most of the time we've we haven't been that great, and we've been mm-hmm. relegated, yada yada yada. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, it's it's like I said, it's hard to describe. And, and I really you stuck feel, with us. Yeah, that's and, what's great. Like that's I said, it's it's tough it's tough to explain because I really feel like I didn't choose them. It just like. They chose me, yeah. and yeah. just ever, ever since it's it's been clear and blue through and through. Yeah, and and yeah. you know what? It's an emotional. It's a it's an emotional connection with West Ham. Unlike any other sport team in the world, it's an emotional yeah. connection with West Ham. And it's not just about yeah. their football. Like we used to be known as as as, as the the way we play football: short passes, Trevor Brookings, Tony Cardis, all them things. Like we used to be known as as playing that that mouth watering football, but. The, the supporters it's far more than that it, it's a family it's 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 a way of life like it's uh and, it's a religion in my opinion a sense, right? and in my opinion like no no one's a hipster west ham fan you know what i mean you get me, you get me? no no, no one no one supports west ham because it's cool you know what i mean Word up. like That's true. there are yeah. so true. many people that support city United, mm-hmm. Arsenal, mm-hmm. Tottenham. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, because of the silverware they've picked up. Well, it's not even that. Like they just support them because they're a big name and like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. I should support them yeah. because they're popular and like, there's a no reason knows. behind it. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, but, I uh, like. You like know, sorry, you know can many... I just interrupt for one yeah. second? The comment that's on the screen there from Hamret about. Sending a video clip of the new Moisey chat at the London Stadium with lyrics. Can we play it? Right, listen, I'm going to just step out of the room for a little while. I'm going to load it up and then I'll come back. All right. So give me two minutes. I'll be back. But I'll still yeah. be listening. All yeah, right, no, guys. come on, do your thing. Lu- right, Lucas, continue, continue, continue where you finished off. Like so, you had, you had the the bandwagoners were supporting like these clubs yeah, just because they're doing good. It's, it's it's just, we don't have no hipsters. Yeah, it's incredibly disheartening because, like, do you like if you don't know? This is my this is my big thing. 
And I can I can say this with a hundred percent confidence. Will we ever will we ever see this? Probably not. But there is not one American big six or pig six club mm-hmm. support or supporter I know if they got relegated to the championship, would yeah. they watch their team? Yeah. Would they still support them? I would say no. Yeah. But and, like and for, you know, for, you, for like us, yep. and I mean you, and you're kind of the same way because you're you're in Canada. Like how many yep. Canadian West Ham fans are there? Barely none. None, none. And, it's, only, it's only the ex, it's only the expats that have moved yeah. over here from London. And, that yeah. And this is them. the thing. And like I said, you can relate to me a little bit. Yep. If West Ham yep. got relegated, I'm I'm buying the Sky Sports package immediately. One hundred percent to watch them you, in the you championship. Want, you, you want, you want to know something, Lucas? I'll show you this. So, we we got relegated like early two thousands. Yeah, I think I we got relegated like twice. Um, the last game, the last match we played against Bolton when Big Fat Sam was in charge, we got relegated, and then I forget the team who else we played, and then we got relegated again. But we came up, and I'll show you this, man. Every time we've gone to do what they call what they call the, the they used to call the old first division, which is now the championship. Yeah. Every time, Lucas, we had home matches, it was always a sellout. Same as when we were in the, the Premier League. It was always a sellout. Like, our supporters don't give two things if we're in the the, the championship, the the the, the, the uh, first, like, the, the second league, first league. Like, they don't care. They'll come even if we're in the conference division. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, and, the, and another thing is, it. another thing A-step, that really, right? another thing that really pisses me off, too, about yep. – like pig six supporters and get Gary. Yep. I'm, I'm sorry about the bears. I mean, the Cubs have brought you some hurt too, but, <laughs> but um, like it really just pisses me off when like yeah. there's, a, and it's mainly um, American footy fans. Mm-hmm. And they, they, su- first off, they support a club because they're, 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 it's like clout chasing. Like they want to be mm-hmm. part of something mm-hmm. big. And I don't have a problem with whoever you support as long as long you as you know your them. history. Like, yeah, just know, just know the history and know the important things. Like, I cannot tell you, there's probably so many American Spurs, Liverpool, mm-hmm. United, City, Chelsea supporters. Oh, they don't you, even you can know. throw candidate they into the mix on that as well, Doc. You can they, throw candidate into the mix. They, on they that don't well, even know. Up. Yeah, then they don't even know the players that their yeah. stands are named after. Yeah, like you get me. First off, that's disrespectful me? as hell. That's disrespectful. One hundred, one hundred, man. Like, one hundred, man. There, there are probably so many Liverpool fans that don't even know who Kenny De- Daglish is. Like who's they that? don't they don't have a clue who Kenny Dalglish is, let alone Rush, let alone like Robbie Fowler. They they have no idea, Doc. They have and no idea. And that that's what pisses me off, and that's what I think. Yeah, that's what I think sets us apart from like yeah. American or North American, Word up. like footy fans, or at least Premier League Word fans. Up. No, that that's that yo that you hit you hit every nail in the like coffin. I said, no, no one like, supports real. West Ham because they're cool, right? That's we, why you we, got, we, we, we had we had a little there. we yeah. had a little patch of that when when Payet was with us because yeah he was just so good. But like and the Green Street movie when the Green Street movie came out, everybody wanted to be a West Ham United supporter, right? It was but, like, but it, what? like that's a shit movie, and like. All of a sudden, you want to support West Ham United? Yeah. Come on! But, it, but again, like that—that's the thing I, I love about West Ham. Like no one, yeah, no one supports West Ham because it's the cool thing to do. It's—it's it's a feeling. Yeah. It's a feeling, it and it's emotional. chosen upon you, no yes. matter if it's by birth yes. or yes. just destiny. Like I believe yes. West—I believe West Ham was destiny for me. Word up, and it's the same thing with like uh, it's the same thing with Wally World. It's the same thing with KDK. It's like it, it was it was it was like it was destiny, dark like real talk. It was destiny. Like Wally Wally came from West Germany, went to Coventry, and then like West Ham. He wanted to know who like the smaller club was. You know what I mean? West Ham at the time, who basically like, won you the two, like you two. World Cup. Like we we all we all at some point share the same 
this the same thing with West Ham. So like you two were basically born into it, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I was not, but that but we both had this we had the same destiny. You know what I mean? You but you 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 were born into it without being born into it. You get what I'm saying? I like born, you were born I was born in, into it without knowing. Were, that's what I'm saying. That's what, you weren't it's, born into it by blood. You were born into it by being born into it. Spirit, the, 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 the ideal of, yes, yes, boom. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And uh, sorry, mean, can I just quickly say, yeah. uh, no. I won't be able to <laughs> upload that video because, it's a, <laughs> video. It's, yeah. video, so it. because it's a YouTube video. It's actually a YouTube video, so I can't upload it. Oh shit! Because the copyright things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what? Tell us about it. Tell us about it. Well, it's um, it's just it's a chant. I can show you the lyrics probably. Let me oh, see if I can dope. find the lyrics bring up that we don't like what what yeah, what lucas just said can. there like yo that gave me well, like chills still. even though it's freezing in canada i'm like i'm 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 not in void to freezing in canada and no one, and no one like that gave really, me chills. no one really understands because like so don't don't get me wrong like one of my bet one of my best friends he yeah. supports real madrid and liverpool which obviously sounds bonkers like wow that doesn't make any sense and but, a lot, and a, you, you know, a lot of people will like follow a club because of a player. I didn't, yeah. I didn't pick West Ham because we played good football. Yep. I picked or an West individual Ham. player. Yeah. I, I picked West Ham because it was literally like that. It it that was just like my destiny almost. Yeah, and and you didn't drink when they picked you, like you said. You didn't drink when they picked you, man. And it's like we we like like West Ham supporters. They don't pick a play. They, they don't pick a club on like one player. They pick a they pick a like West Ham people. They pick a club on that club. Like that club picked them. And we, we, we're we're all about the club because players will come and go, managers will come and go, but West Ham will always be and there. Like, and like I said, you know being, I mean? being a Steelers fan, like. Yeah. One like one big thing about being a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, like don't get me wrong, we've always been good, but like we've always put tradition and like culture first. And yeah, that's similar, so man. That's that's, pr- that's probably that's probably what like right that's probably what tied me in is the culture, 100. the fan base. Yep. Yeah. Like what to expect from players. Like yeah. we don't want you to. You don't have to be the best. We just want you to no. put in hundred ten percent every time you step out. I said, you leave it all on the pitch. We're happy, win or lose. Like you leave it all on the pitch. Your blood, your sweat, your tears. Like, like we're happy. We're happy with that, dog. We're happy with that. And not a lot of clubs or supporters of clubs can say that. All they want to do is win, 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 no matter what. And it's like not us. Yo, know, you put in. All your heart, sweat, and tears. We'll take a, a loss. We'll and take Ga- a draw. Gary, we'll take a Gary, I can totally. Yeah. Gary, I totally relate to that. That's that's exactly like kind of where I'm at. That's I can real. totally that's relate real to right that. There. That's the cu- real. The Cubs, that's the Cubs, real. and the Bears have yeah. never been like phenomenal or always one of the best. But the Chicago yeah. fan base and Chicago culture is loyal, amazing. Yeah. And that's what's the, what's the hockey what's the hockey team? What's the Black hockey Hawks. team from Chicago? Yeah, they're big. They're large. They're large. They're large. Like lar- large in, in support wise and large in tradition and all that. Like the Blackhawks are crazy, dark all day long. The Bears, crazy all day long. Exactly. He said he said yeah. the greedy six don't mean shit to me. I can't support that. I totally agree. And 100. to be on and to be honest with you. I don't know how an American supporter of the top of the greedy six could even continue to support like what their owners have tried to do. No, it's disgusting. I mean, don't it's get me wrong. Man. Like, don't get me wrong. Like 90% of the greedy six supporters, like they didn't want what was going to happen to happen, but like yeah. just from like an American standpoint, it's just like, that's what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, like I just West Ham, in my opinion, chose me, so that's yeah. why that's I why that. I support them. And because I mean, I Pete, that. you know how it is. It it could be so easy to be like, I'm gonna go support Man City. I'm gonna go support Man United. Yeah, like one, one of, and this is this is a perfect example. One of my best friends yeah. is a is a Man United supporter. 
and yeah. I love him to do that. I love him to death. We obviously yeah. hate United, but I love my boy to yeah. death. But he 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 does it right. So his brother, his older brother, started supporting them before he did. So he followed mm-hmm. his brother, which one that's all that's like that's good enough for me. That's your following mm-hmm. family, which I like. Mm-hmm. And then two, mm-hmm. he, he knows his history. Like he knows he knows his history on United. He knows the Where players that? that the stands are named after. <laughs> like and from that's from an American me. from an American that's standpoint, me. that's good enough for me. Like yep. mm-hmm. Uh, can I just say, uh, I've That's just me. had a message through from Mr. Devaney, our friend Kieran. I know, but and, he sent uh, me he like has, he he has sent me the video, which I have yeah. just uploaded of the new Moyes song. And yes. I have a screenshot of the lyrics that Amaret sent me. Let's sent have it. Yo, okay, Kieran said so, he might be coming on soon, right. Clyde. Clyde, yeah, he said he yeah. might be coming so, on soon. He did indeed. He did indeed. He's just said that. We love yeah. a bit of um, So the, the new chant for David Moyes, the lyrics are, we've got super David Moyes. He knows exactly what we need. Zuma at the back, Bowen in attack, West Ham will win Europa League. Right? I love that. I so love I'm going to take that off screen. Remember those lyrics, boys and girls. And now that. you're about to hear them. Now oh, you no. are about to hear them. Not, I no. haven't heard this yet, so... Here we go, boys and girls. Oh, we can say to Hey, I love it. Great. Isn't that great? So that great. You, know, you know another oh. chant that really that really perks me up? God. So, God. Like I was I was a huge like because I'm Croatian, I obviously love Slavin yeah. Bilic to the death. Like I'll oh, defend him yeah. I die. Super slab. When, super slab. Not only that, but when we started doing uh Super, super fab, super, super yeah, fab, super, super fab, super, super fab. Fabianski. Love that. Yay. Yeah. Love it. I like this one. I like this one. Ready? Isn't that great? I love, I love that. it. I love it. You and know, you know what? You, you know what's funny? I think Danny Dyer is starting to warm up to it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And pardon the pun. Pardon the pun. That was cheeky. That was cheeky, Lucas. That was cheeky, Lucas. You like that? Danny Dyer is starting yeah. to warm up to it. That was cheeky, Dyer. Yeah, that yeah, was cheeky. Bowie, no, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Well, like, oh, I mean, did you block it, him up already? And again. You know how, you know how crazy it is. Like obviously, with like forever blowing bubbles, fortunes always hiding. I've looked everywhere. Yeah, the fact. See, this is the perfect example of fortunes always hiding. How Mm -hmm. in the hell does Jared Bowen end up with Danny Dyer? (laughs) (laughs) Fortune is always hiding. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, right. And you know what? Oh, I, th- I right, think right. I think Danny Dyer, like her father, I think he's been in like Jared Bowen's ear, like just again, with the and again, history of West Ham and all hiding. that. Like, Thomas yeah. Suchek in fucking Sufal for ten million pounds. Like what? The hello, hell? hello, Slovakians out of nowhere. <laughs> hello, hello, Lucas. We want all of your people, dog. Stayed up, like yo. I ain't playing with. And you I'm know what? You, I, I want all the Slavics. I want them all. Yes. 
Yes, and that. Crawl, I think Crawl got a trick up his sleeve, dog. I think Vlasic's got a trick up his sleeve, dog. Like, yo. Peach, I want all the Balkans at yeah. West Ham. I yeah, want me all too, the Balkans. Me too, me too, me too, me too, me too. Here, we, we yeah. keep a few English lads, but I want all the Balkans. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm about that. Yeah. I'm about that. I'm about, and I want a Canadian in the mix, too. I want yeah. Jonathan David up in the mix, man, because I think he'd do us a service. Peach, I really we're gonna We're going to get an American and a Canadian on West Ham. Imagine, imagine that. Oh, my days. That, yo. Like, if we, yeah. if we got one, are, are we going to get cry. I'd cry. Yo, are we going to get that man, man now? No, we'll Are take we him. Gonna get we'll that, take man. him and a bag of crisps. We will take him in a bag of crisps. But I want that Winston McKinney and I want Jonathan David, dog. Those two, it was sorted out. That was sorted out. I would, dog. I would literally get a kit out. the first day. First day. Me too, dog. Me too. You 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 get the McKinney kit the, and I get the, the David kit, or dog. We, or 100. we can do opposite by showing respect to each other. Imagine. <laughs> yo, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. I'm definitely down. Yo, you know my the, you know my tune, my tune, Clab. You remember the tune? All oh, Lila, oh, what was it? Oh, oh, East London is beautiful. Oh, East London is beautiful. It's full of tits. Fanny and West Ham. Oh, yes, East London is beautiful. I love that tune, dog. I, and then oh, they used to East laugh. London. Oh, East London is beautiful. It has to be done, Oh, East London yeah. is beautiful. <laughs> it's all it takes. Sunny and West Ham. Oh, East London is beautiful. <laughs> I heard them singing that today. They, uh, today still at South Hills yeah. Park. Oh, my God. I'll tell you, when, whenever today, I South hear Hill that, Park. it always reminds me of the movie Green Street. Yeah. It always oh, reminds me of that, that, that part movie, about yeah. it. I hate that part oh, about let it. Me, let me tell you. Right, no, I hate that part I, about it. It's great. Well, you know, I, and I like the bit when, when – uh, What's his name? Bother. He's up on the table and he starts singing. Um, let's go fucking mental. Oh, oh I, I love, love that. that bit. That's the whole like peaches in the building. Rah, rah, rah. Where do you think I got that from? Dog? Yeah. That's let's go mental. Dog. Yeah. That is like when I remember, I remember being in a pub and it was like on Tower Bridge Road. And it, it was on a side street called like Jamaica Avenue or Jamaica Road or whatever. Right by um, the Lane. Docklands. Probably, probably, and it was like right by the Docklands, and like I remember, uh, we were we were playing, and then everybody started bre breaking on into the song like all East London, and like it started off like a tune, and then you had one side of the pub singing like all oh, East London, and then the next side of the pub all oh, East London, all oh, East London is beautiful, and it was like going back and forth. It was fucking fantastic, man. I couldn't yeah. believe like it started out as one song. And then, like, they mm. went into, like, no, it was, like, it was, like, call and response. And I was, like, what the, what is this all about? Like, what the, Matt, what the, what? What the, what the, what uh, the, mate, what the, what uh, the, uh, like, uh, uh, it's great. I'll tell you, I've been, I've been, as I said, a few times now, or three times now this season. And yeah. uh, a couple of the times, uh, Hammer Out and I have been in the uh, Carpenter's Arms. And then yeah, when the yeah, DJ yeah, yeah. starts playing some yeah. of the tunes in there, yeah, uh, it's Neil brilliant. It is things. absolutely I brilliant. I still think my it's, favorite. You know, it's just like a scene out of the movie. You know, it's like, like no, everybody sings Bubbles and everybody yeah. sings Sweet Caroline and yeah, everybody sings Lift Up Fatty Fatty. And oh, I just honestly, it's great. And and like uh, Hammerette, she says to me, "Oh, she goes." It's the uh, it's the DJ when he plays uh, the bad manners tune. He always yeah. takes his shirt off and gets his big old belly out, and uh, ah, yeah. it's just really funny. You it's know what hilarious. song I really want to witness at, at London Go Stadium? On. I really want Go to on. hear London Calling. I feel like that would oh, send shivers down my spine. The, the clash. It would do. It would do. It would do. London it would do. Calling from a far away yeah. town. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that's tune. not a bad what tune. A tune man. We should get a that chant going. We should get yeah. a chant going, Lucas. Yeah. And, 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 what, and again, this is why I love West Ham, like with all my fucking heart and my bones. Like, mm. like name me another club that just on a week to week basis, just out of fucking nowhere, it could be like the the eleventh minute of a game against fucking Cardiff. For God's yep. sake, a friendly, and you just hear yeah. 
My name is Ludo Miklosko. I come from yeah, near Moscow. Yeah. I play a goal. <laughs> when I walk down boom. the street, everyone that I meet say, Oi, big boy, what's your name? What's your name? Yes, sir. Like, yes, sir. No, no, one, no other club does that. I love that. Like, this bloke yeah, hasn't no, played for us in 20 right. damn years. Like, or, the, or the fat Frank one. The fat Frank one is like, when you go to a game, Lucas, when you go to a match, you're going to hear, like, when you go like when you go to a match at, at, at the London Stadium and you go for, like, a cheeky beer or, like, sausage roll or whatever, and you're, like, in, 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 in them parts of the, in the, in the stadium, you'll hear all the people just start breaking. Get on to song about Fat Frank. I love that. Like, oh, yeah. yo, it, it's mental. It's mental. Like, it is Sorry, it's can mental I, uh, rolling down, but it'll be mental there too, dog, straight up. Can I uh, just say something? Uh, Happy, she's saying that she's going to send some chants in the pub up there. It's mental. I know, but but what please, I said, if I you could put them into the random chat, then I can you know pick I them up out of there and I'll put a little video together and. You know, get Bum. the lyrics on screen and all this that and the other, and I'll put a little montage of chants together. That'll be yeah, my so project. Happy. Just I well. would love that, Happy. Like, please no, do. I've got one that. or two on my phone as well, but I would, I would imagine her ones are better recordings because yeah. I was but, a little bit overwhelmed, and you know, I recorded. But again, I just find that sorts. so incredibly different. Like when you compare mm -hmm. West Ham to like any other other club, like. Who who still what what club still sings a song about a a, a goalkeeper from twenty years ago? Just out of random what I'm every saying. week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yep. brilliant. You get what I'm saying. You get what I'm. The man is in the building, oh, dog. The man. The weather report is in the building, dog. Yeah. What's up, my uh, G? And I, I hang on. Wait one. Wait one. All right, go on. Go keep on, talking, go on, guys. Go on. What's your own name? Right, there we go. Yo, there we go, boys. Already done. For the kangaroo. Sorry, Fire mate. Um, and morning, you know, I'm going to have to go Lucas. into the brand because our ah. good evening, brother. <laughs> because our loyal people, followers, friends have not um, had a dose of this this week. I've put the uh -oh. football unfocused background up behind us just for a little uh -oh. while. Seems we've got down. distinguished. And you got Luke and some peach up in the building the too, dog. This is going down, mate. Listen, we could switch this over to a football unfocused right here, right now, with two special Let's guests. Let's go. How about Let's that? Have yeah. That's it. We covered it for this week. Bud, did it? Covered. Yeah, right. So, yeah, it does, did it? Hey, how are you well, been, Bud? How are you been? All right. I had to get up at you know three o'clock this morning to watch the game. And yeah, uh, mate, but you know, it was all good. Until you're the last being an amateur, huh? What's that, mate? It was all good till the last 15 minutes, right? Mate, right. I, I tell you, I sent, I sent a, a text to Titch actually. I, he, he messaged me about something about the uh, the game, right? And I was, I was, on, I was in the, our WhatsApp. So I, I said, when we were three yeah. nil up half time, I just said, I just hope we don't go deep. Right, let's just yeah, keep what did we doing do? what we're doing. And what did we do? <laughs> we went deep. And I, and then when we do that, right, I always, because when I used to manage teams or whatever, in the second half, when you're up against it a bit, or even if it's nil-nil, you go or a one-nil lead. You go in increments of 15. You know, the, the 60th minute, the 75th minute, the night. So we survived oh, yeah. to the 60th minute without conceding. I said, beauty, still 3 nil. We said five uh, to the seventy-fifth minute, beauty, three nil. It's it's gonna be easy now. Thank fuck for that. And bang yeah. bang. <laughs> oh fuck with you. Stop West there. We stop doing this to me. Don't need the stress. But yeah, and then yeah, yeah, and then that overhead kick at the end, I went, Oh my god. Oh my no. god, I almost threw up. Yeah, that yeah, I, actually kind of but, brought a lump to the back of my jeans, I've got to be honest. <laughs> Oh man, would have been sick enough. That would have been an absolute. Oh, wouldn't it? Wouldn't well, it? That would have been. Was, uh, that would have been. That I would mean, have been to us what we did to uh, Tottenham last year when Lanzini scored that. Yeah, it would have yeah. been. Yeah, more than yeah, kicking uh, the bollocks like that would have been, mate. Yeah, been. that would have been yeah. definitely. But you know, listen, Kieran, we ain't really had a lot of chance to speak, and you know, so uh, how do you feel Lanzini played today, mate? 
I thought he was fabulous, mate. Absolutely fabulous. I reckon old uh, mm. HH would have been creaming her pants. But, uh, oh, no, no, oh really gosh, yeah. Really I mean, really. yeah, definitely. And, you know, with all that drool as well, she's probably yeah. run out of towels at home now. No, I actually picked him. Yeah. I actually picked him, right, to, to be the man, the man for West Ham today. I actually did before did the you? game, right? The day before. I, I called and, it as um, soon as we got the penalty awarded. I called it, it was going to be him. Oh yeah, he had to take. And, it, you know, to no, be no, fair, I'm every cool. everyone besides everyone besides the defense was was on it today. Even Su, uh, Sufal was probably the best defender out of the bunch, and he he was all right today. Yeah. But yeah. every everyone besides the defense, they were on it today. Like Kieran, yeah, you yeah. weren't here You're when wrong. I said this, but um, yeah. So on on American Hammers, where I do this uh, one show called In Case You Forgot, we brought up a topic of, that. of Antonio. That's I that. Yeah, we brought up a topic about Antonio. Like, do we think he's back to his beginning season form? And i I didn't say I didn't say yes yet, but like, no, yeah, yeah. I, w- I was saying like you can tell yeah, he's coming I'm- back. I, I was saying you can tell he's coming back into his form. Because, yeah. because that pre- that press that he had that led to the Declan Rice interception and then the Lanzini goal, the second goal, that was absolutely class, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, he's uh, he's run there, Lucas, uh-huh. when Lanzini scored. He took that center half out of that space. Yep. All right. He, he, he did a lovely run, and he took the center half of the space that left Lanzini in it. Come into oh, it, and that and, that and, Declan yeah. Rice interception, and then he carried it and has dropped it off the Lanzini. That Lanzini yeah. goal we were talking about earlier, that was world class. If Ronaldo um, or Messi yeah, scored that, it, they are talking about it for weeks. Exactly. If Aguero I mean, does that, that, he got it, it on it, his it's right all foot. Over every paper in the world. It's, it's the just the fact that he got it on his right play. foot, went to the left, and gave himself a, a little self half volley, and then just yes, yeah. this missled it. Just kick the piss out. Well, and I'll tell you what, mate. I, I make him man of the match without his goals, right? Because he was he was conducting yeah. the orchestra, right? What If you watch it, yeah. and I, I said to Titch earlier on, I popped on after his rating show, I popped on for 10 minutes. I said, if you, if you, uh, what happened was there, the boy couldn't get up out of bed at three o'clock this morning to watch it, right? Mm-hmm. So That's just right. as I finished watching the game, he gets up and says, oh, dad, I want to watch it. Oh, fuck's sake. So I watched it again with him, right? So then I can watch it without the emotion and all, all the nonsense, right? And just watch yeah. players. And I'll watch yeah. Lanzini, mate. And he's control of the ball. He's little passing yeah. in the midfield, keeping the ball when we needed to keep it. It was so good. And that's without the goals. I would have made him man of the match. He was yeah. uh, absolutely superb. Yeah. Today. Him, him and like Declan Rice, for sure. Yeah, really I mean, we all yeah. know Declan Rice tips, is always really man of the match. But Lanzini, my goodness, he was so good today. Yeah. Now, so that was good. a bit of his old self yeah. today, wasn't it? And, and like, and like I said, yeah, he was. And like I said Antonio, Antonio is just... starting to pick it back up, which is nice. And I, and like I said, did, yeah. and, it, and it's not because he's scoring or assisting, but that, that press that he had that led to the goal, that is what I want to see. That is that is almost yeah. just as, as important as scoring a goal. Eric, to me. I think Bo was quiet, but if you, if you watch it, I'll say, I'll, 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 I'll go, was lucky enough to watch it twice, so I could – and he, I watched by he worked, worked tirelessly, like, but the ball weren't yeah. going down the right much. We, we, were, ju- we going were just saying that. Bowen, yeah. Bowen still put in like a seven out of ten, but yeah, he just didn't absolutely. get the ball a lot. Yeah, he didn't ben get the ball. Ben Rama was, no. um, was a ball. Just want to acknowledge that Athens is in the house. Hello, Tom. Like, yeah, big up, big up, Tommy boy. Don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah. Uh, See, now you would I have just, to go and mention that, though, wouldn't you, Appers? Now we're going to have to get the towels out. Hammerette's yeah. going to be drooling all over again. Yeah. 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 Come on. Oh, I wish I had the video of yeah, Tom. But I do agree. I do agree. It was the best one. I'm going to find that video of Tom and put it on here now, straight up. You know, that was I, the best one. Yeah, I think we're all well aware of Lanzini. Produces a weldy for us whenever he, you know. Always, always, man. Right, man. Go, go. always man. Uh, you this why, well. why does he only score bangers? He only scores. Because he's <laughs> right, go on, my son. Yes. I think the last. I'm not joking. I think the last, yeah. I think the last goal he scored was when he got assisted by Payet for that tap in 
like four years oh, ago. Yeah. Yeah. That was, yeah. I feel like that's the last normal But I'll tell you what, though. Talking of assisting. <laughs> Talking of assisting, what about Lanzini's assist that time for Bowen yes. when he actually oh, actually slid onto self, the ball self, to assist it? The selfless pass. I mean, that was just pass. sick, wasn't it? But, but that huh? was like Bowen's assist to Vlasic's last match. Yes. Like, the, 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 yes, right? Get me? Like, oh, Today. Me. No, 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 no. Last match against Watford when Bowen it, like, squared it up when for Vlasic. Skin skinned that man. Skin yes. that man. Uh, yes. And no, it's just like a cat. Yo, trust me, man. Trust me. And Bowen could have gone for that if he wanted to. And even Vlasic said that. Like, he could have gone for it. But he just squared there it up go. on the plate. Like, have some of there this. You like, yeah. Yeah. There you go. just said exactly what we've all said, guys. That yes. Lanzini was a class above today. So, yeah. so good. If Messi had yeah. scored that, everyone yeah. would be all over it. Everyone. Exactly it's right. And you know, Amaret so is absolutely as well. And um, also, Diop needs to get sold as soon as possible. He's got awful. His positional yeah. awareness is absolutely atrocious. I'm done defending him, says Athers. Yeah. I think we've kind of all come to a similar kind of assessment. If he ain't come good by now, he's never coming good. Well, so you know, he's fucking on, on, the top, man. on the top. But of the I mean, goal, it's just. I think but it is just so lovely when he gets up for the corners and that and he nods in a ball or whatever. And to see him running away with his arms down like that, mm. with his tongue out and everything. It's it's a great, yeah, it's great. feeling to see that. But there's yeah, not enough is. of them moments. And there's not he's enough a likeable, of defending out. Honestly, he's a likeable, lovable chap. Yeah, likeable guy. having these games, but, right? Even when he... He can't blame it on not having enough game time now. He's playing every week. No. no. But, even like but today, there's a good point on the screen the right there. He is better when he's next to Zuma. I uh, know, yeah. but who isn't? Who isn't? That's you know, yeah. He's got to stand up for himself now and again. He's got to stand up and be counted. Yeah. And, and, real, and real yeah. quick on the on the topic of goals, I do want to say that I think the 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 Antonio Lanzini or the Antonio Rice Lanzini goal today is probably my favorite team goal of the season. Behind the the Lanzini selfless pass to Bowen against Wolves, or yeah. no, against Aston Villa at the end, the very last goal. Villa, yeah. Those Villa, two yeah. goals. What are you call that? Lanz which Lanzini's goal? The the one. So the one the one against Aston Villa when when um we were already up three three one and Lanzini could have just slotted in a goal, but he passed it off to Bowen at the end, and Bowen yeah. scored. Bowen, Bowen yeah. was out onto his left. I was, I'm saying, I'm yeah, saying yeah. that goal, that goal, Beautiful. and then the one today where Antonio Press, Rice intercepted, carried it, and then Lanzini scored. Those are like my two favorite team goals yeah. this season for sure. I, you yeah. know what? I still yeah. like, I still like the, the what is it? Four nows and Antonio goal, man. When Antonio, when when Four nows got the ball, passed Antonio. Antonio could have taken the shot, oh. passed back to Four nows. You know, that was phenomenal. You know, yeah. Yeah. One, yeah, I like that. Peachy, Peachy, that's one of my yeah. favorites. That's yeah, like, team goal. this is one of the most yeah. underrated goals I think in the past like year and a half. That yeah. Four nows goal mm -hmm. where, um. Who, I forget who it was, but, but it, it was the it was the four nows goal. I forget who it was. It might have been Declan Rice, where he kicked it piss high in the sky, and four nows just brought it down. Beautiful oh. touch and went yes. on to score. That yes. was, and again, that is another. If Ronaldo or Messi did that, there people are talking. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, yeah. great free points, boys. The main of three points today was important. Beautiful. Love it. Beautiful. Scary. Beautiful. We did it. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> like Fagin would say. Um, I think also that we've got to consider that um uh oh God okay. bloody, bloody name, Ben Rama. I got yep. I think we gotta consider that's gotta be one of the assists of the season as well. That oh, you know, alongside oh, yes. that, that one yes. from yes. Lanzi yes. yes. Bowen yes. against Villa. Today's one for Antonio's goal yeah. was very, very oh, messy. Yes, was very kind of, um, you know that that I'll tell you what that that, that kind cross. of reminds me of of when Liverpool had Suarez and Sterling and 
story. Coutinho. Was yeah. That, yeah. That was the kind of deliveries that were being put into them yeah. three guys. Well, you know, by, by the Liverpool players. But, yeah. You say that now. You say that. But Alexander Arnold puts them deliveries in all every week. Now, that, that yeah. delivery by Ben yeah. Rumble. Yeah, he like, does. He does. But I'm thinking. Quality. Absolute quality. He's it was a, a cracking delivery. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm thinking more good. along the lines of like you know when they had um, what was his name that was delivering the balls into the box and that all the time that uh, Downing. tricky little. F- hey, Downing, Stuart Downing, <laughs> Stuart Downing. Yeah, he used to do that yeah, for Liverpool. Cool. Yeah, do it for us yeah, too. He did. Um, but, but no, uh, I was thinking about the tricky little fucker that you as well, as well as Budgie, yeah. you know, the goal they scored, that was just as good, yeah. that delivery. That ball, that boy put well, in when they yeah. scored. It was just as good, yeah. mate. It was a yeah. cracking delivery. Oh, good, yeah. What, the first second goal, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was, and uh, like I said, you know, I first, felt that first goal? Perhaps, yeah, first? perhaps Fabianski yeah. could have done a little better with that. And yeah. I also said that I felt Tough that... Um, uh, it had Ariola been in goal at that point, I feel that maybe that would have been saved. Could be I wrong. I wouldn't, I wouldn't I blame him for the first goal. I thought the free kick, he might have made yeah. a decision and come out, but he didn't. Mm. But what a delivery by that boy. He looks a bit of class. Uh, no, Afers, Afers is not being ignored. Right. Not Let's at go all. back to that comment now. Because you know, people coming to the, coming to the stream, quickly. Anders, you know we always want a bit of yeah. Anders yeah. yeah, mate. He says, Ben Rama's whip on that ball right into the yeah. corridor of uncertainty. uncertainty. Well, yeah. no, you I, know, no, I, I, I kind of I, I kind of would have put me out on Antonio getting onto the end of that, like at the beginning of the season. And now he's starting to pick up form again. Tom. You kind of almost can put your house on him getting onto him again. Now you know, and I, I'm I'm really keen to see how we cope when Ben Rama goes to the Afcon. You know, mm-hmm. I really am keen mm-hmm. to see what happens. What? You know, I, Tom, I, you I also gone. Or uh, Tom mentioned Zarate, and I was going to tell him earlier when we were talking about how I yeah. how I became a West Ham supporter. I said that Mario Zarate that was, was my first favorite hero. player. Yeah. I toss my cat. I do have a How you have a son? <laughs> I did three. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. see it. Um we've got uh we've got um Ben Rama as I say going off to AFCON next week. Yeah. And yeah. it looks yeah. like we're probably gonna be just literally doing a straight swap for him with perhaps um four nails now. Looks like it could be four now coming into that position, I think. Mm-hmm. Because I felt that in that 10 role today, Lanzini was superior to anybody else that we've got in that role. Yeah, so I felt that he was absolutely <laughs> smashing it. Hi, today. Tom. Hey, hey. Demand him in the building, dog. Demand him in the building, oh, dog. Tom, I don't know if you heard, but Mario Zarate was my first original favorite player for West Ham. I, I did not. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be around for long because I'm very ill at the moment and I can't talk very much. So oh, you know, the other day when I said we, me and Rebecca both had him like chest infections and stuff. So yeah, yeah. still, still there, um, <laughs> which really? is great fun. Yeah. But yeah, I love Zorro. Oh, that sucks, man. I'm sorry yeah. to hear that, man. Right over Christmas and New Year, it's completely spoiled both of our plans to do stuff. So. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. Oh, yeah. Watched, yeah. You, you would have just watched like the West Ham anyway. The West Ham. I mean, to be fair, we were asleep for one of the games this week anyway. So we've been rough, yeah. as, rough as houses. So. Yeah, mate. I know how you feel. Honest, no, seriously. You sound like myself shit. Just me. Cheers, Kieran. Well, it's a good job. Yeah, you, you don't like shit. You don't mate. sound good, Tom. I've got to be honest, mate. You know? And and if what this is a me? struggle for you, mate, just you know, what, let what, us know. And what you, know, you need, you, what you need, is something warm inside you, right? <laughs> Get some lemsip or something. <laughs> so I was slap Rebecca, who sat next to me, who just said, "I need something <laughs> warm beside me again." <laughs> <laughs> no matter how 
wants to you, right. you still got your sense Absolutely. of humor. I love that. I love that. I love that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a it's, uh, it's a bacterial infection, but it with Rebecca, it wasn't uh, it wasn't COVID. We've been testing all week PCR tests. Yeah. I, I know I said it. Um, or lateral flow tests, and then the doctor said that she couldn't get medication until she proved that she had a negative PCR test. But the thing is, Ooh. in the UK at the moment, I know Budgie will know, but there's fucking there's fuck all PCR tests anywhere, and you can't yeah. get them in a the yeah. minute. So yeah. it's yeah. so difficult to even get a I test. I was fortunate so. enough to get one delivered to me on. I, yeah, I had one delivered to me on uh, Christmas Eve morning. Yeah, you know, sent it back, so, and I got yeah. my results through yesterday, which was negative. But exactly, I've been really ill thing. with like a, a flu type thing, and yeah. you know, uh, obviously, you know, this cough and everything else. Uh, and I'm still, I, I'm still recovering from it now, Apple. So, yeah. you know, mate, mm-hmm. it's not a, a quick and easy no, recovery, well, but. Both, Drink plenty both. of fluids, though, dude, because that yeah. really does help. So we had a we had, a, know, wild, um, we had a wild New Year's Eve night. Oh shit, we had a wild New Year's Eve night last night, both drinking non-alcoholic drinks. It was fucking great fun. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> I'm great. Drink, yeah. drink some, drink yeah. some whiskey. That will help. See the New Year Look, in you, with you, an everyone. You've been sick ever since <laughs> she's turned up. What's, what do you reckon? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've even got You're meant to agree to that and get a slap. <laughs> Just blink twice if you, for a yes. That's it, isn't it? That's it. The more you meant pinky for yes. She's silently nodding her head. <laughs> Do you think, oh, guys, oh, um, just, uh, just a quick question. Do, guys, just a quick question. Uh, Hammerette's kind of put this question in my head. Uh, she says yeah. that Lanzini will start the game while Vlasic will come in for him in the second half throughout Benny's vacancy. Actually, do you know what? I think uh, Lanzini will play the 10 role. And actually, I think maybe, do you think that Vlasic may come in on the left? It's where like Benny, yeah, yeah, I can see that. Benny's going to be vacant. I can see that. You know, because, again, today, when he came on, it, 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 it's so frustrating because it's only in like 10 to 15 minute bouts. Every time mm-hmm. in the last sort of, especially the last two or three weeks, he's looked good. I think it's the he perfect. Sharp, really. And Lanzini started to play a little deeper, which is nice to see. Yeah, yeah yes. he, he yeah. comes comes incredibly yeah. deep to come collect the ball um, and get him yeah. yeah. But I mean, the fact that but he, he was the perfect like, number ten today, though, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, when he ever. I think obviously Vlasic starting to kick on now is probably the best thing because of the fact that he's going to the Afcon as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, he's yeah, he's yeah. going to. Help us. So. I agree with you. Um, yeah, da- I, I reckon it, it, it was quite Antonio. between it'll be Vlasic or Fornells, depending whether Fornells is fit enough to come back. Yeah. That's yeah. who yeah. you're playing yeah. you're on the left. So, yeah. yeah. Darren's asking, with Antonio hitting a bit of uh, form now, does that mean that the board will be more reluctant signing a striker? Yeah. In oh, no. He says less, but I think he means more reluctant. I, I hope not. I hope they sign one still. <laughs> Me too, Tom. Me yeah. too, man. Uh, yeah. And, and the fact is, Davis. really, now, the, the decision process has really come out of the board's hands a little anyway, hasn't it? As to who we sign and when we sign. You know, they've obviously got to okay the money, but, you know, I think it's down now more to Moyes and Rob Newman and the other guys. As to who we go for. Well, so when we say, uh, well, my Antonio's hitting a bit of form, I think he scored two goals in 12 games. So we don't need to get carried away with Antonio. Hey, but two, two, still, go- two goals and one assist in his last two. Uh, yeah, exactly. Coming back to where he should be. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. things coming through. Still need someone to back him up. Still need yeah. someone to back him up. I yeah. thought it was bad things came in three. Yeah. No, because oh, par- par- no, oh, parties are parties are full. Yeah, two's a, cr- two's a crowd, three's a party. Thank you. There you go. Please, <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> no, bad things come in four. Bad things come in four. Some, things sometimes, that's, sometimes, that's so, um, yeah, it doesn't sound Lucas, right. 
Lucas, sometimes two's the crowd and three's the result. Just ask Tom. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, yeah. Bum, bum, bum. yeah. No. I just. I just had to put a little mention in for that on the uh, on, on New Year's Day there. Look. But yeah, yeah I hope you both recovered so well. So good thing coming through is like, look at you, Addis. Look at you, like, like, like bringing like baby Noble into the world. That's three right there. Yes. Rebecca, Noble, yes. and Addis. You done yes. though. Three. Baby, baby How's that bad? Right How's that bad, guys? Yeah. How's that bad? Baby Zarate. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Hammerhead. Do wish the well for it. Thank you, I really appreciate that. And also, yeah. thank you, uh, Happy as well. Uh, uh, tickle, I tickle his toes, Rebecca. He absolutely says. not. I've got my, I've got. Listen, I've got my big Uggs on at the moment. Get the fuck off my feet. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, thank you, Happy. I, I listen. I. I I've not seen my family properly over Christmas for the last two or three years with COVID. So it's been mm. a nightmare. So, yeah, so thank you for the yeah. well wishes. But uh, whoever said tickle, get her to tickle my toes, never, never, ever suggest that again. Because she cannot fucking help well, that's herself. Ha hammer that was Hammerhead, not that I'm a grass or anything. Oh, right? Yeah, cheers, but, cheers. Um, <laughs> and, and Rebecca's actually replied to him saying, no chance, not unless I want to get punched. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. I don't think you'd do that with you, Tom. No, I absolutely wouldn't. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. In a tub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, mm. uh, and that's Chop also very off. true, yeah, Hammerhead. Nothing to do with that. Th that's 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 good advice from Hammerhead. There, all of us are here for you, guy. You know what I mean? Don't yeah, ever like to feel lonely. Mm -hmm. You know. We love you, Tom. Um, we love you. We love you, Tom. <laughs> we love you, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to make the boy laugh, and it even hurts when you laugh, and you got that dress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, look, Hugh's in the house. Good evening, Hugh. Oh, uh, when He's I asked you, I said... hoping for a Cardiff win I, tomorrow. I, Oh, Bridget, when I when I was talking to you and I was like, Hugh, what are you doing in Cardiff? He's like, drink. I, I fell in love with the man straight away. I was like, you are an absolute legend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh, that was brilliant. All right, okay. All right, okay, look, Hammerhead says he's got a chat for us all. Uh, who was, oh, gosh, it moved. Uh, who was the first goal scorer of 2021? It is a West Ham player, but who was it? Antonio. Oh no, sorry, sorry, sorry. It wasn't Antonio. It's I forget. I forgot. It's twenty twenty two. I in 2020, 2020 was um Mark Moore, penalty against Bournemouth. Right. So twenty twenty one. I can't think back that far. Who was Obana, it? Last goal scorer. I got a funny thing. No. I think I think you're right. I think it was Obana. I think I so think too, Doc. Uh, uh, he's saying COVID was a shit time for me. We all got COVID in the house, so we had to stay out over Christmas, but it's okay. Lucas, it's sorry. That's all you can do, man. Lucas, check That's who we played on that day. See if I can remember who, what, who we played, and I'll see if I remember who scored and what the score was. I'm very good at this stuff. Oh, come on, Tom. Come on, Tom. Come on in. Go on, Lucas. See, this oh, is we, we, we have our IT guy up there. Oh, uh, Tom, sorry, I, I have got, I've, I've just got to move you around I'm, a little bit. I'm not Tom, looking. I, feel, I'm not... I, I do feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <about my team. laughs> okay. The first goal was Leicester away game. First goal was Suchek, apparently. What's it? Okay. Don't, don't, don't. Was, well, was that the game? That, that, it's a question. It's a question mark. All right. So she's saying, was Tom, it start firing away. Um, so was it against Leicester? No. Okay, oh, so wait. tell me who, who hold was. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got one job, one job, Luke, is for fuck's sake. Yeah. Who, who, who was the ESPN, team? ESPN is shit. <laughs> Fucking not hard. He runs his own show, doesn't he? Oh, He's come on. Up. Use the Premier League app, man. It's much easier. And it's in English too. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 well, no, wait, actually, I, I went on to an ESPN 
Uh, all right, no, 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 never mind. Okay. I, I have it. I have it. I have it. We're good. We're good. Okay, okay. one. Go ahead, Tom. Uh, who do we play? I thought you were going to guess that. No, 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 no. Just no, give me. No. Who we, play. we played Liverpool. Liverpool. No. Liverpool. Oh. Was it? Oh. oh. Sorry. No, no, no. Ever Everton. Everton. Sorry. 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 Everton away. Everton. Right? Oh, that's right. That's right. Everton away. I know. Away. I know. It, we, I, it, we, I'll get you. I'll beat you to it, Effers. We won it one here with a late goal. A late goal from Suchet. This wasn't your game. This wasn't your game. This was my oh, game. <laughs> it was when they <laughs> got to the wrong. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Pather's getting hijacked. Pather's getting hijacked. No, no, no. I care. I care to a naughty step, mate. It was the baby that's, celebration. That's close to being on the naughty step, that is, Kieran, doing things like that. I thought I got it right. I got uh, it right. The, the baby commentator ce- mentioned it today Do when I was watching the game. Can you appreciate my baby celebration, please? <laughs> With Sutek <laughs> and Sufal. Right. So Hammerhead saying we were the first game of the 2021 Premier League season. Um, and the answer is Sutek. Happy is right. 86 minutes. Wow. There you go. Well done. Thank you, Hammerhead. That was a really decent question. Yeah, now we'll do a decent that. We question. I like that. One, one, nil. Yeah. Can't yeah, remember now, who we played now. away first game, yeah. though. Well, it was Everton. There you go, Happy. Now we keep going back. Uh, who did we play? Yeah. Um, 20, 20, 4 0. Okay. Mark Noble, out there. Anderson. Hammerhead, chin up, mate, and stay in touch. No, it's all lonely on here. Right. Okay. You said that's 20, true. 20? So, um, yeah, so, is, Hammerhead, are you a member of our Discord group? Um, well, it's not our Discord group. Are you a member of any of the Discord groups? Because if you are, there's plenty of us on there, and, you know, we're about all times of the day. So if you do feel a bit lonely, mate, get on that, pop, you know, something up there, and we'll chat with you. Yeah. Uh, Hammerhead says... Not Leicester, that was the home game. Yes, that's true. That is true. Uh, Rebecca says, I did a Christmas dinner, but genuinely it was the most ill I've felt in so long. It's horrible. It really strikes you down. You're you're up in Leeds, aren't you, Tom? Yeah. Yeah, they are. And yeah, we're yeah. up that way, yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, you've probably got that same bug that's been going around down in the south as well, mate. You know, it destroys you for days on end, mate. I yeah. mean, well, Pete, you know, didn't you, mate? I, I, and you, Kieran. I couldn't even pick up the phone to even, like, watch yeah. the streams, let alone participate. You know, and, yeah. or, you know, power to you for being in here right now, mate. Because As well, there's, a, there's a lot more diseases up north. Loads more. Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a lot more sc- uh, there's a lot more scumbags up there, though, aren't there? <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca says they've had many harsh winters up here. I actually don't mean that. Some of my best friends are, are from are further up north than from where I am. A lot of my friends. Uh, right, let's see. Let's see what else is going on here. Um, you might end up with right. whippet flu. <laughs> <laughs> the whip it in the shade right, you may have going been forward celebrating an Ashes win a few <laughs> <laughs> you may you may you may have celebrated an Ashes whip win in a good. few weeks no. closet closet <laughs> Jesus, Rebecca says don't let him do this he'll go back to 1990 <laughs> you, you guys like Devo is that right Tom <laughs> who's Devo <laughs> the people that's saying whip it Whip it good. Oh, whip it, whip it real good. No, yeah, no, no Karen's no. fan is more of an insult to me. No, I know that's salt and pepper, dog. Like, that's salt and pepper. I know that. Like, <laughs> like, 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 uh, a friendly like, uh, insult. Whip it good. Whip it real he, good. He prefer I like it. it. I, he prefers it if I walk into something that like that. He'd much rather me speak like this. Oh, you bastard boy. I don't have the whip it. Go whip it and fish and chips and all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
Ah, pussy good. Ah, pussy right, okay. Pussy. So just just to want to good. address that hammerhead on on the Discord group that the guys like myself and uh, Hammerhead and uh, like Peach gets in there sometimes and uh, right and um, yeah, uh, yeah uh, Kieran Whoa. and other people. We all get in there. Listen, it's there. There is no negative negativity in there. There is some banter, but it is it. always light hearted. And I'm you know, I mean, the, yeah. All right, mate. Uh, so it's the, the group isn't about negativity. It's all about chatting about West Ham and that. But also, if you are feeling a bit low or a bit down on that, and you do mention it. You don't have to feel embarrassed yeah. to do so. Don't talk to then we try and do what we can to help out. It's like exactly what we're doing here on on here. Rather than us chatting, you know, it's all done uh, typing. Phones, you, uh, or, yeah, you know, Discord's I've, available I've seen, on many platforms. I've seen, uh, I've seen Happy Hammer in the Hammer's Chat Discord being the night. A little inside inside woman I saw her in there earlier asking for a stream. <laughs> Asking for a what? Yeah. I mean, Asking for a stream for games. She's being an inside, an inside woman. Right. It's all right though, because I'm not part of Hamish anymore. So if she wants to be the inside plug. She can do what she wants. <laughs> all right, yeah. Happy Emirates got a question for us, guys. Go on. What team what? were we playing when we re when we achieved our highest record number of fans for for the London Stadium? There were only 12 fans short of 60,000 in the stadium. Spurs. Who did we play? Spurs. Couldn't tell you. Tottenham Hotspur, 100% Tottenham Hotspur. Trust me, Tottenham Hotspur. Oh, as well, I've told you, I've even told you guys, if you wanted to lay out for the Discord server from my brother, he's the one who did all the hammer stuff. You're quite happy to do it. So don't even think you have to be, okay. you have to look at what the hammer chat do because I'll just get the template and I'll just chuck it over on to, to your <laughs> one, so alright well I'll, I'll have a chat with you when out. you're feeling a bit better Tom yes Tom but... I can't work out if your audio shit or it's just you sound like shit it's probably me <laughs> sounding like shit Kieran right. sure. <laughs> uh, yeah so anyway when you're feeling a little bit better than that Tom just give the Shout in the group and uh, and we'll get on it definitely. All right, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. So uh, happy. Ha Hammerhead says I was there that day. It's bugging me. I can't remember now. It's it's Spurs. Uh, like. Yeah. Well, I want to say when Moyes was going like. against Bournemouth. Actually, no, do you know no, what? I got a funny it's feeling. It's it's the, I got a funny feeling. It's the. Hang on a minute. It was the Leicester game with Alan Irvine in charge? No, was that an away it's game? Oh, uh, no, that was a whole match, I think. Oh. I know, I know the answer, but I'm not giving it out this time. Okay, and do I have one of them right when I say Spurs and Chelsea? <laughs> I think you do. Thank you. Thank you. Bing, bang, boss. No, that doesn't mean I'm right. I might be wrong. Yeah, well, Ham Hammerette is saying she right. thought it would have been Spuds or someone. Me too. Uh, so it's not Spurs. It's not Spurs. Really I'll have a look and download it. Right. Yeah, do that, Hammerhead. It's well worth it, mate. And the next guy that I'm going to highlight, Gary J. His name's Gazza in there. Uh, yeah. Another guy that has joined within recent weeks and... Well, a couple of months ago, and and he's you know feeling the benefits of it as well, like we all are. I do. We all feel the benefits. Of it. It's like a community. It's a really good community on Discord. Mm -hmm. Um, everyone in the Discord is really supportive. Says Gary. You can do. There you can you can do calls in there as well on a match day, as well. It yeah. doesn't yeah. have to be typing. You can do your video stuff as well. So it's That's always really great. Uh, us girls take the piss out of all of you lads, though. That's true. I mean, you know, it, it, it's true. I can't deny that. <laughs> and like, it's usually me. But I mean, it's really funny. I mean, like Gary J, who just commented, 
saying that we're all supporting. The funny thing is, one of his nicknames from one of the people, which is Beanie, she calls him Wanky because he's American, isn't he? So she calls him Wanky. It's really funny. <laughs> really, really funny. Who's a grass? I'm not a grass. Oh, no, I'm not a grass. No, wasn't me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where's the link? Is it in and I'll join on my uh, way? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'll there put it is. In there. Actually, I literally just put it in chat. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, I've been with the chat for a couple of years. Okay. It was the Toffees. Everton. The game that we had the highest uh, attendance for was against Everton. I was wrong. Uh, that was a bit of a sticky question, wasn't it? Well, hey, boom, boom. Bring me boom, boom. I'm here all week. Sure is. <laughs> Your audio is crackling up as according to Ahmed. Uh, it was actually, but you know, sure there's something is. wrong with your audio. It says Epic. Good evening, Epic. Uh, and Rebecca sat next to him, and she's saying it's just his voice. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. it's one yeah, or the fella. other. Oh, look, he's gone now. Look, he's had to go. Probably, probably come back in. Yeah, get well soon, Tom. Yeah, come back in if you want to, mate. You know, uh, Creswell was the first of, of the 21 season. But I can't remember the first of the actual year. Well, yeah. it was. That was back. It was. That was back was. I'm going back to it Suchek. It was who it was. Yes, it was Suchek. Suchek, I should say. It was. Oh, Sorry, no, you were talking on, like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, oh, that's all right. We were just. Um, Is that better? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, not, not, get well not soon, Troy. Yeah, he no, says. Get well soon, Troy. Uh, can we save our quiz brains for Tuesday and Wednesday with Tick, Sister Hathi? Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I missed both of them shows, but then I, I was um, under the influence, so I'm not surprised. Luke is so depressed. Has somebody said something to you about feet that may have upset you? Well, not only that, I... <laughs> was ex- I'm like kind of hungover. Do you have a heavy night? I got very drunk last night. Oh, Big V making an appearance. V, no, she's left. <laughs> Big Ronnie, <laughs> are you? Can I just ask really quickly? I'm gonna go in a second because my voice is out, mate. Are you? Are you? Are you gonna be stuck for Monday? Say that again. Are you going to be sad for what? Monday? Yes. I'll probably cry a couple times. So just to let you know, Lucas's American football team, the Pittsburgh Steelers, their Mark Noble is playing his last home game on Monday night. And Lucas has got tickets to go and see it. And... Uh, it's a very sad time. We're going to need to get support, Lucas, on, on Tuesday because it, it's going to be a very sad occasion. Imagine two of the greatest players of well, a franchise and obviously a football club retiring for you in the same. You know, season. it's kind of it's kind of bullshit that I have to go through this in one year. <laughs> yeah, twice. <laughs> it's mm. Bullshit. It's okay. We're here for you. I'm going to be blacked out crying. I don't even want to think about where Mar Noble retires. What are going to be like? Yeah, Budgie, just, a, just, just imagine. Just imagine. I have to go through a Mark Noble retirement essentially twice this season. Yeah. My heart is going to be in shambles. Yeah. <laughs> I just mentioned the Mark Noble retirement. Twice? So the, the the American football team I support basically our Mark Noble is also retiring this season. And oh, I'm going right. I'm going to his last home game this Monday. Okay. So, so oh, that'd be uh, an emotional one then, I suppose, will it? Yeah, that's why I'm yeah. getting extremely drunk. Yeah, um, I cope with my emotions that way. All right, okay. That's a good that's a good shout. 
I'm not. Hey, I love yeah, a good I'm cry. I'm not that afraid kind to of cry. Nah, me neither. Me neither, mate. I but cry every man. time I, I, I look at the uh, cost of a ticket to the London Stadium. I ball my eyes out. Um, I cry every time I look at Kieran. <laughs> Oh, bless him. Uh, poor old Jack Hargreaves. Look, they're picking on you, Ernie. I missed it. Sorry, I was, something else was happening there. I missed it. That's I said, it. I, I yeah, cry no, every time he, I look he, at that's you. That's right, Karen. don't worry. Mm. I cry every time I look at you. Can imagine that may be what my future is. And it upsets me. <laughs> right. I can't, can't. I don't understand a word you're saying. He said. He <laughs> said. He, every time he looks at you, he cries oh, no. because he he doesn't want. He see. <laughs> Tom, no worry, man. When, you, when you pick up pneumonia next week, <laughs> that'll be your second disease in you know two weeks, and then you'll get COVID the week after. <laughs> you know? Sorry, I'll just go to university and for the cure. Mm. Yeah, just imagine this, though, to top off Noble's career, though. Right? His final game is in the final of the Europa, and he scores the winning penalty. Oh. Imagine, imagine. Imagine he don't play another game this season. That'd be better. <laughs> he never plays for West Ham again. <laughs> oh, God. Kieran, you are like a fucking train wreck waiting for a line to happen on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh God. It's like a walking final a final he's a walking final destination movie. He just wants tragedy. Yeah, that's it. Wreck. You know what I'm saying? He wants that's car what I'm he's like a train wreck looking for a line to happen on. <laughs> Flipping bloke. All right, I'm, oh, I'm being being practical. I don't I want him to here, if Kieran could be the Grim Reaper, he would be. Yeah, I, I would imagine so. Fun. Yeah. Oh god, where's <laughs> my bloody fake papers gone? There they are. I wish him all the best. And it, are we got we've got to play Watford again. Hopefully, he gets another game. I right. still think about his goal <laughs> against Watford, where he just dropped his shoulder and absolutely skinned that defender. That poor defender. No, I, oh, I, mate, I tell you he what, was great. He I'll was great what, on Liz, that. I, I don't know what you think of this though, but this Leeds game in the FA Cup. There's every chance we might put a second string team out there. Noble will be leading that, isn't it? Um, we might see. Play. Do we do we play Leeds the following week on a weekend or mid midweek? Yeah. We they, they, they're in they're Norwich now. No, the they league got, the league, league game Leeds against weekend, Leeds is on the Sunday, Norwich, and then Leeds. Well, no. What yeah. I'm saying is, I the know league, we play the league games on, on Sunday, Sunday, but we play them. Right after that, do we play them on another Sunday or midweek? Yeah, no, the yeah, midweek no. game the, it's the Norwich game that's been rescheduled for the midweek. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, that's it. So, okay, so yeah. we play FA Cup Sunday against Leeds, Norwich on Wednesday, then Leeds on Sunday. Okay, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Uh, and that think... Leeds game for the league is the one I'm going to. The next game I know that I'm oh, going to. Oh, that should be fun. Well, that it's the be day one. before my birthday. Oh, so hopefully you don't end up. Like I'm poor, actually poor going feet. to be going to a game. I hope it doesn't end up like poor birthday. thieves losing to Tottenham on his birthday. Mm. Or not Tottenham. Who'd... Oh, it was Arsenal. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. It's nothing worse is there, having a game on your birthday and you lose. It's all right when you win. Yeah. Right? That... Yeah, oh, know, Tom. Hey, oh, Tommy boy. Oh, Tommy boy. They lost boy. on my birthday. <laughs> Fucking assholes. Yeah, yeah, it's a fucker, isn't it? Who's on my birthday, uh, Lucas? 22nd of February. Not far away. I'm a February Ooh. baby as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. February I'm 6th. I'm the 22nd of the 2nd. 2022. Yo, you're two days away from my mom, dog. My mom's February 4th, dog. Straight hey, up. Hey, Aquarius season, baby. You know what it means. Don't know. Don't know. Don't well, know. Air thing. Air sign. Air sign. Air sign or I'm water sign. Air sign. My, okay. my son's Aquarius, 25th of January. Yeah. Which is eight days after me, and I'm a Capcom. Yeah. That's like me and my dad. Like, I'm, I'm close, April 10th. I'm Aries for my dad. For He's like April 27th. He's a Taurus, dog. So it's, it's like Wolver, Aries and Taurus, no matter like what. 
like Ooh. twenty, like seventeen days, dog. Seventeen days. Ooh, like, God, I'm like, yeah. like, like one is a one is a bro, dog. This is ten a.m. Like, my time. Is it on the twenty second or not? No, it's on the twenty sixth. <laughs> or actually, 20 no. Afternoon. You said you said your birthday is the twenty second, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so yours is actually Newcastle at home. <laughs> Lovely. That's yeah, the closest. Like that. Mine, mine, oh. mine oh, like, it's like it's 8th of February, dog. So it's like you got you got you got my mom, you got Lucas, and you got Rebecca like two, two, and two. Crazy. Me and, Kieran got, me and Kieran got a three a six pointer dialed up. I got Wofford, he's got Newcastle. Let's Crazy go. things, dog. <laughs> That's big, Becca. That's big. Alex, uh, and I'll get <laughs> I mean, to be fair though, that Leeds game could be a cracking, cracking game. Uh, it will be. Yeah. It will be because, like, you're gonna I have think that would be a good game Declan to go to. Rice. You can yeah, have Declan Rice and uh, Calvin Wish Phillips it. up against each other. That'd be good. I'll, I'll tell you what, buddy. If I could pick, I if I could pick out, a game right? in a Premier yeah. League to have on my birthday, it would be Leeds. I'd yeah, like they just go, 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 don't they? Like, they go, go, go. We soak yeah. up, soak up, soak up, and then go. They just go, go, go. What happened to lunch, we dinner, and breakfast? About, we were talking about how I got into West Ham. You know, I I gen, I wouldn't say I genuinely like Leeds, but, like, I respect the Leeds a lot. Leeds have a good fan base. Leeds have a good fan base. Like, so did Newcastle. Like, Leeds and Newcastle. I heard, you know, I heard Ellen Road is a fantastic time. away day. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, don't yeah. in. If you're an away supporter, it's daunting. You've been there, Kieran? I said I have, but it's the best away day I've ever had in my life. But it weren't against yeah. Leeds. It was against Everton in the FA Cup semi-final. Oh, round. yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. yeah. I mean, so, yeah mate, you know, going to Leeds, oh, my God. Going to Leeds is like... Uh, it, honestly, it's like sliding down a 10-foot razor blade using your nuts as a pair of brakes because you just yeah. never know what's going to happen up there. It yeah, is, yeah. Listen, don't get me wrong. It's a lovely place, please. And it yeah. is a lovely place. But, you know, when you go to the stadium and that, their supporters are so passionate and so... I love that. I love that. ...vocal about it. And, you know, uh, it can it can be quite intimidating. It really can be. I, yo, you know, um, you know, you know where I want to go, Lucas? Like, if, if I had an away day to go to, it would be it would be one of two, and they're both real close to one another. It would either be Portman Road or it'd be St. Mary's. Those are, like, the two places I, I'd like to go to, like, straight up. And Portman Road is St. Mary's. I really want to go to Craven Cottage and, um, yes. and, and um, yes. St. James's Park. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, St. Mary's for me in Portman Road, but I agree with you. Yeah. I agree that's, with a, you that's another good away day. I've, I've heard good things about St. James away. Yeah. Well, that's the trouble. St. James's Park, a brilliant atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Went, I went there twice, though, before they yeah. rebuilt it and all that yeah. back then, two or three times. The yeah. only trouble is now they put the away supporters up the very, very top, you know, up the yeah. top. No. And yeah. to keep them away from the, the front bits, you know, so they're not as no, noticeable. That's the only thing with St. James's, but it's right, a good away. Right, right, yeah. well, most, a lot of people, you ask them supporters, like Palace, they reckon Palace yeah. is one of the best away days, whatever reason. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. I still, also heard like, the traditional ground. Yeah, yeah that's it. exactly. And, and Villa, Villa, exactly Villa, apparently, right. that's, like a, that's like a brilliant away day, too, man. But I just want to go to Portland Road to see the old boy there who's like, a lawyer in real life, but he just gets on the drum at Portman Road and goes off for the whole match. Like, oh, I want to see. I want to go up to that man and buy him a pint, dog. Straight up, man. Like, yo, I know they're – where Where are they now? Where are they now? Like, League Two? Yeah, fucked. They're fucked, man. They are, aren't they? They were on the other day still, man. Uh, Pompey were on the other day still, but, like, I missed it. But, like, if one of my, one of my father's friends supports them because he's from there, and it's like – yeah, yeah, I got a soft spot for them. Man. A, a lovely little ground I used to like going to in the seventies and eighties was uh, QPR. Was that? Queen's Park Everybody Rangers. says that, you know, Kieran. Everybody says Where's that, it? dog. I'm not playing with that you. Everybody says that. Great little ground, right? Especially when it's packed, you know, it's, it's jumping. Yep. and it's yep. uh, old school. You're tight to the pitch, and uh, really yep. good atmosphere. Good. 
it's, it's weird that it's weird how like basically all of us have said like meteor to like little grounds rather than like your Etsy head yeah. and, and your, your, your series of dreams. It's like fuck this. Nothing, nothing, take me to nothing. like take me to Doncaster, dog. Then, take me you know, to like take me to Luton, yeah. dog. Like real park, man. I've always I've always really wanted to visit uh the stadium of light. Oh, 100, 100, 100. 100. I feel like, I feel like Sunderland, Sunderland atmosphere is bonkers. My my father, my father, who no, used I to play home. for Sunderland, and you know you can you can check this out. My father, my father's friend who used to play for Sunderland, his name was Stan Nicholas. When he passed, he was buried in his like Sunderland strip dog, like straight up, like that is gangster. That is gangster. Like it was open casket, and homeboy had his Sunderland strip on. I'm talking like socks, shorts, shirt. Like yo, it was. I was like, whoa. Now that's a supporter, man. But he wasn't only a supporter. He was, he actually played for them. Like, but yeah, that's gangster, straight up. Do, do you know, like we go on these days, you know, about we've moved to the London Stadium and the atmosphere is yep. not as good, and it isn't. It, yep. it never will. Be. But um, you got, it's all in context, right? We were fuming at Upton Park, right? Because when it was packed, it was an amazing atmosphere at Upton Park, right? But we were fuming when they changed it to all-seater. Then that lost a lot of atmosphere then when it went to all-seater, you know? Yeah, when we standing. Yeah, when yeah. we were standing. So we yeah. had that there too, you know, that you lose that atmosphere because of that. Because... When he was standing, everyone who wanted to be together were together, right? And if you had all yeah. that, you know, crap you wanted to sing and whatever, you had the chicken run, South Bank, North Bank, West Side. Yeah. And everyone yeah. who wanted to be there, and that made it a better atmosphere because you're with people no, you want to be with. Right? We and, had been uh, down this road before. Theater, all that mob yeah. was split about into different seats then and all over the... Yeah. And it, it, it did, you know, it, it sort of died, the atmosphere died for a little while. No. no, I believe that. And what I meant to say is, like, it's not like we've we, we ain't been down this road before. We have been down this road before with that. And it was like when it when, when it was standing, Kieran, like you 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 gonna get to the loot. You gonna get to the loot. You were ro- you you were rolling up a, a a newspaper and pissing in that. Like it was it was like it, yo, that was mad. That was mad times. Like, mad times. I sort of knew. I sort of knew where the toilet was, Pete. So I didn't have to do that. Yeah, well, yeah, but when you were in the midst of things in the chicken run and you couldn't get there, it was like, yo, yo, you, you'd have to, like, roll up two things, a, t- a, a newspaper, and, like, pissing it, dog. So, that was the smart thing to do. That was the smart thing to do, I dog. Still, up. We've, we've talked about this before, but I, I've always said until until they somehow square off the, the London yep. Stadium, it's never going to it's never gonna that, be like it once was. I agree with that. I agree with that. But but I agree but with that. there is they pot- started at the backs. They just have to do the sides there, now. But this is the thing. There is potential there if they want yeah. to do it. But yeah. I'm not I'm not an no. architect or infrastructure guy, so I can't tell you how there is re- I can tell you now that there is reasons right. why they can't do it. Because we still don't own it, correct? From the to, from that dugout to the side of that pitch is about twenty meters, maybe more. Yeah. Twenty two meters. Yeah. Right. If you bring out seats from there, you can't get any incline on it. You cannot. So they have to come out flat, which means everyone will be doing this, fucking trying to see. So you can't do that. And plus that brings your stand out uh, in front of the roof. You really need to extend the roof. And this is why yeah, it's not it's designed rain, for yeah. football. That design yeah. should have been incorporated before they built it to be a football stadium before. And it was suggested well, they didn't, they didn't, that Sebastian they didn't it as a stadium, no, it's going to be an athletic stadium first. That's yeah. it. And if yeah. they'd used yeah. their heads, it, you could have changed it to that. But now you can't because yeah. you can only get so much of an incline down to that point. Yeah. To fucking re- reconfigure it, you'll be nick- well, you'll be fair. knocking stairs down to change the angle from the you yeah. know say six meters away from the pitch, then up. So but why did why did they promise it. us those retractable seats, Karen? Like did they they were like, oh, we can give you retractable seating and we'll do it up. When there's no incline, you can't do that. Like you nailed it on the button right there. Like so, why no. would they even say that to us? People, 
Unless you want people sitting at the same level. It'd be like going to the That's cinema and everyone sitting at the same level. It'd be stuck into yeah. a leg, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to see text, man. But, but they promise us that the time, right? Well, you can square things off, but that's not changing anything. That's that to me yeah. is aesthetic. It's uh, it's sugar coating. It's fucking window and dressing. Right, yeah. And right now we technically can't do it because we don't own the stadium, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But, but there we, could, no, but there but, could but, be a possibility okay, but, well, once we that, own the stadium. I know, but Lucas, you saying yeah. that we brought we brought like the, the the seats behind the goal closer and kind of squared that off. So how come we're able to do that, but not like the side things? Because because all they've I mean? done, Paige, they've squared it off. Nothing else. That's it. That's only affected that's about. That's probably only affected about two rows of seats. I know. You know what I, mean? I know. So they so quick question. That. But when you're because... talking twenty meters, twenty meters yeah. to be above the person in front of you's head. You probably need yeah. a three or more, four meters to come down, and they haven't got it. Yeah. They just so we, have. They need, you're saying we, if we want to get onto the pitch, there needs to be some elevation. Yes. Yeah. Basically, okay. the, yeah. Whole, yeah. the whole structure yeah. of that stand from from say six meters out instead of twenty has to yeah. change. That 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 incline has to change, yeah. and that's a yeah. major development. Now you're talking. You'll probably end up spending a hundred million to do it. Maybe yeah, more. So I talk about completely the gutting the stadium. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's what you, that's why they should have thought about that before, and they did think about it before because I remember that yeah. Sebco, who was in charge of the Olympic Committee, said, "No, nah, yeah. it's an Olympic. It's a fucking athletic stadium first. That's it." Yeah. And he wouldn't. Yeah, he yeah. wouldn't. He was he advised yeah. by um, what uh, do they call these guys that build arenas and, and, and stadia, stadiologists or something? He was advised yeah, by yeah. them. Yeah. If you build it this way, that can be converted to a football stadium. He said, yeah. you know, look to the future. It'll be a better option. And he went, no. So, oh, see, uh, there you go. There you go, then. They, they canceled it out before they got started. Yeah. Yeah. Can I um just, like, Happy Amorette says that she had Delia's box at Norwich and met Ashton and Zuma there. It was amazing. Wow. Wow. I have a, I have a question for you, Happy Amaret. I have a question for you, Happy Amaret. All right. Hold on. Who did Will she, you allow she me she to Amaret? show the photograph of you with Bobby Zamora? Because I have it in my. Oh, she met Zamora and Zamora. So will that's you allow that's me that's to that's show that's that that's picture that's 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 online, please? I'm asking for permission. I'm not well, going to just go and pop it up but on the budget, screen. Can you just clarify something? Yeah. When you said I had Delia's, I had Delia's box. Did that mean when she was in the private box? <coughs> oh, see, so you're being... That's oh, naughty. Oh, that is oh, naughty. Oh, that I'm, is naughty, dog. I'm that is sorry. That, that's not even going on her food I'm network. Sorry, so, dog, that's naughty, dog, 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 dog. Okay, dog, thank dog, you, Hammerette. There we go, guys. I don't know what yeah, they're doing. Proof, yeah, yeah. proof of the Big event. Up. Oh, Big up. Awesome. Big up. In Delia's box. Done, though. There you go. Well... <laughs> love it, 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 love it. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry <laughs> the way you said that, then, Peach. No, I mean, it just sounded I'm so really beautiful. I'm choked on me fucking corn flake. Well, you said yeah, you in Delia's box. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you, Hammerette. That was very kind of you. Uh, give me permission. Yeah. Great picture, though. No, that's a beautiful picture. Time, though. Though. That's great that, is, that is a quality picture. It really is. Yep. Really nice photograph. Yeah. She looks Even proper happy there that, as well. She looks like she's been in Spain for two weeks. Before that photograph. <laughs> Probably had been at that point. A bit of colour, yeah. A bit of colour. She looks bloody good in that picture. What's up with you, man? She looks really nice in that picture. Healthy, happy. Yes, I might. Meeting one of her idols. Yeah, meeting one of her idols, man. Pizza pie, yeah. that's amore. That's amore. I love that tune. <laughs> uh, when Lanzini carries the ball down the pitch, that's amore. That's amore. <laughs> love it. 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 
when Antonio gets the ball and smashes it into Rosie, that's Amore. That's Amore. <laughs> Hang on, Helen said that looks like Noble in the background as well. Oh, hold on a minute, I missed that. Yo, I want to see this now. Oh, it that is. is you know? that yeah. Is. That is. Yeah, man. Look at that. Yo, how Look at you, you you little, right there? little no, superstar, you. you. Oh, God, I ain't like, little superstar, God, isn't she, eh? Hey? Straight up. All right. And Happy Ever oh. confirms it. It was Helen. Oh, oh. great. All I in, love stuff like that. Box. Fantastic. That's brilliant. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, well, what else can we say? With a big pizza pie, that's some more, eh? Yo, Lucas, is it snowing where you are, man? Because it's snowing here. It sucks. No, it was, it was pissing cats and dogs over here, though. Was it? Yeah. Don't step in a poodle. But yeah, no, it's snowing to shit over here right now. It's garbage, man. Like It's like that light snow that just keeps on snowing, and it just builds up throughout the night. And yeah. you wake up and it's like winter wonderland things. Like, it's crazy. I love snow. Nah, no, listen, snow. I don't just like snow. I just don't like. I don't like it like sticking around. I know. For, like, Ke- I know. Kieran loves six snow. Weeks, no, I think, no, I'm, I'm looking out, mate. I'm looking out. I don't see any. I don't see any. He hasn't come here. Are we gonna get a weather report, dog? Are we getting a weather report, dog? Like, what's the deal? Oh, yeah. Well, now you've mentioned the it. The deal is, if he does, he oh, goes yeah. on what the bloody What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What did I'm I do? I'm sure Darren does fun here, surely. Um, uh, actually, it's about, it's about 28 degrees today. And, um, you know, shall we, we've got a cyclone warning, right? And we've got yeah. a cyclone hanging yeah. over out, <laughs> out on the coast. And yeah. uh, it's, about, it's about 200 k's off the coastline. So we're just getting the edges of the rain. But not the cyclone. If it stays out the sea, we'll be right. Mm. If it comes inland, we're, we're going to get hammered. No, I hope thing. you don't, man. I hope you don't, man. It's, it's like like Gaza it's like saying he, he, he's really he's really like he's going to a nasty storm. Ice, everything is blowing. It's blowing in right now. Flipping how and it's coming from everywhere. Oh, that oh, sounds bad. It does. It does. It does. <laughs> Stupid yeah. snow, wind, and that cyclone you, shit sounds terrible. Touch, like, if you can't get in touch with me for three days, you know that I've been hit. No, cyclone. stop it. You're you're, you're float. You're floating somewhere out in the ocean. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. But yo, where 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 is the cyclone right now? Like yeah. compared to where see you are in Brisbane. If you get picked up by it? the cyclone, see if you can steer it over this way, and it'd be a free ticket. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. No, nothing like I, washing I, I up in bright. It's really hard to steer them, Budgie. You can't steer them. Um, oh, oh, we're going to go to where you are. It's about 200 k's off the coast, right east of gotcha. where I am. So gotcha. we've been getting How long that free the land? Getting all this rain. How? It's the edge of it, right? And uh, it's just whether it stays out the sea. If it stays out the sea and doesn't come yeah. inland, yeah, everyone's yeah. fine. But what they're experiencing yeah. on the coast is really high tides, big surf. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, surfing's uh, dangerous now. You don't want to be in that water now because yeah. it's pushing up the swell of it all. So as long as you stay away from the water, you're fine. Oh. If that starts coming inland, then... Oh. We'll obviously get another warning saying, shit, so, like, you better... You oh, better sorry, it sorry lads. How, hold on, like, hold on, hold on. How very long, how long, how long message would it be, in? like, do you think, hold on, hold on, Budge. How long do you think, like, it, it, it would touch down, like, from where you are where you are right now, and it being, like, that far out? Is that, like, two days, three days, one day, like, what? Yeah, it's hard to tell, because they, they move that quickly. He's only, yeah. I'll say, 200 kilometers out to sea, but if yeah. it decided yeah. to move straight inland, it could happen yeah. in probably two days. It'd probably take a day and a half, two days, and then... If it hits land, we're we're, de- we're directly in line with it, where it is now. Mm. But it, it's yeah. slowly made its way down from the north, and now it's in yeah. line with the Gold Coast, right? Which is Gold Coast, Brisbane. So just yeah, long yeah. as it stays sure. there, yeah, there won't be no problems. Yeah. Oh, sure, it's not an ex-wife it coming for her alimony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there. Wait, listen, there's, a, there's an important message coming in. I'm just going to play this message. We are 
fucking massive. Stam are massive, well, stam are massive, everywhere they go, everywhere they go. Great message, isn't it? That's better than Happy Christmas, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It has a nice ring to it. I, isn't that yep. a great message? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love that. I love that. I love that, man. Not, we are massive, though. We're still massive. And when, when, when they were singing that today, it was so beautiful to hear. I love hearing that. So I, I love hearing that too, man. Straight up. Yeah, when I sent you the, that new thing, Paige, that was my yeah. mate and his boy. My mate and his boy went to the game, and they, that was him yep. filming it in the club. Love it. Love it. Mm. Oh, hell, you went quiet. What's going on? <laughs> well, so I'm not uh, uh, everywhere. I would just sing it wind... in my head. I, I was no, singing no, it in no, my no, head. No. Like, Hang on. I just wasn't like, you know, ha it out. I was just singing it in my head. How much, well, how so much is, is, when the wind got. starts sounding like something out of Wizard of the Oz, Wiz Wizard of Oz, that's when we got to get Scarecrow Kieran a brain. <laughs> that one happens. He's not Scarecrow Kieran, and he's lying, Kieran, dog. No Scarecrow Kieran, dog. Straight up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Want to have a head? So, uh, yeah, that's it, mate. But, um, well, listen, West guys, uh, it's 2.30 in the morning. Everywhere they go, everywhere they go, everywhere they go. Lanzini and Antonio, West Ham are massive, everywhere they go. That should be the, that should be the ending of it. Lanzini, Antonio, West Ham are massive, everywhere they go. And you could just, like, keep up changing the name, like, players' names, but have Antonio on the end. Yeah. Like West Ham, massive everywhere they go. Oh, Antonio, like Lanzini, he makes me happy. He, he makes you happy. West Ham way. What? 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 Lanzini is the man, dog. I love it. I want to see Lanzini like keep on this form that he's on. Rich vein, vein of form. I want to see it, man. I want to see it continue, continue, and continue. I love what I'm seeing. I honestly love what I'm seeing. It's beautiful. Yeah. And I want to see Vlasic. I, I want to see Vlasic really, like really step up to the plate. You know, what I've really liked so far with Lanzini playing, he's yep. been like yep. he's it seems like he's been switching it up between like playing further up the pitch and then like dropping yes. deep. Yes, agreed. Yep. I've I've liked that a lot. Yeah. There's no, something to Lucas. There's something I wanted to happen, right? He's basically you know when we, we played Watford. He's yep. what Noble did, and he was allowed to do it because they weren't that good. Is orchestrate yep. what goes on in front of Suchek and Rice, right? And yes. uh, what we got is that free now. We got Suchek and Rice and yep. Lanzini in front of him, and he's connecting everything to the forwards and the wingers. That that's what yeah. he does, and he's yeah. calming it down, you know? he's bringing calm to that middle, and he's keeping yep. the ball. And what he did in the first Talk half was that. You know, yeah. it's, it's all about it's the strings. Yeah, yeah. You know, Rice, 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 and Suchek did a good job today. Rice, they did. Rice, Rice yeah. played a, a bit farther back and cautious today, but he took his runs yeah. very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Suchek didn't have his best. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, uh, here's one for you, Lucas. Right on the screen. Love there it, you go. love it, love first it. First thing sometimes. Ain't nobody like Lanzini. Little, red, little red vision. No West Ham way. Like Lanzini. Lanzini. He makes me happy. happy. He plays the West Ham way. Way. Yeah. Love. Rufus my, and my Shark mom, Khan wrote that was, song all about Lanzini. My mom was. Yeah, yeah. me too, dog. Rufus Lanzini. and Shaka That's Khan, that is, man. Love Lanzini it. makes me click like, like y'all were saying, man. 12-inch final version of it and man. the 12-inch album. Of course. But, like, yeah. yeah, he has the ability to go forward and do what he wants, but him playing deep, he has more time. And you saw him go forward today with the goal that he scored, which was like Maradona-esque. And I hate saying the M-word, yeah. but like he was Maradona-esque today when he took that goal, flicked it, dropped it. Like, oh, mm -hmm. it was nuts, man. 
Oh, I loved it. And he has that skill yeah. and ability. But then the when he's deep on that goal was just so world class. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. It was like the way he, he said, teed it up for himself. That, yes, the way he teed it up for himself. I mean, yeah. that was world class. And then the left foot is strike. I if that was Messi or whoever, that would that would be talked about for like the next two, three weeks, man. Yeah, honestly, I, I kind of, I was kind of worried a little bit when it was going onto his left foot, and I thought, oh, really? And then he did it, though, well, didn't he? Didn't well, he? Is, didn't he do buddy, it? Here's the difference, right? I think uh, when you see that Edward that hit the bar for them, he should have scored, but he hit the yeah. bar. Yeah. And yeah. what Lanzini did was he stuck it under the bar. It's fine yes. margins. Fine yes. margins. Mm. That, that's what was quality about it, mate. Jim Chimney, Jim Chimney, Jim Chimney. Jim Jim Charu, we are those bastards. Jim Chimney, Jim Chimney, Jim Chim Charu. That penalty may have been the final goal. No, never happening. He's not going nowhere. Maybe they're going to score more goals. Amaret. Let me tell you something. Lenzini's going to become our stand-up number ten this season. Now that now that David Moyes has seen what he can produce in that position, and that's just in one game, and the stuff that he's been doing leading up to this game today, uh, I think David Moyes kind of he's like given in a little bit to. I think, you know, some pressure around him uh, saying, look, try him there, try him there, because he just doesn't, does he? He just doesn't put him there. And he's, he's done, done it today. It he well, in, like, in the yeah, yeah. He's yeah, he did, but he Watford. brought him... He controlled the game. Yeah. And yeah. he's done it again. Uh, like, but, you know, he, he, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. He's kind of, he's kind of like, bent to peer pressure around him and whatnot. Yes. I think yes. a little bit. Yes. And and yes. you know, he's he's then gone done it again today and and mm -hmm. uh, he's going, right, okay, well this is actually working for us. You know, is, let's yeah. just see that if that if that can be but, you know the start yeah. of him cementing yeah, his place as the number ten. Yeah again. Do, do you agree do you agree with that? Everybody, like, do you agree with that, what Danny Jackson said? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind. Go ahead, we go. No, he, wouldn't be, he, he wouldn't be my first uh, choice, but I wouldn't mind would if I saw him with it. No, not me either. Who would be your first choice, Lucas? I would like to see Bowen with it. That would be, that'd be flavor, mm. wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be flavor. That would be I mean, flavor. It, it, all it all depends on... Like who who we have left? Like, yeah. what about Antonio with it? No, we've got Lucas. No, it's about no, no, who no, you'd like no, to have no, it. No, right? no. Who you think should have it? I think, I think it should be guy. Bowen or a Czech lad. <laughs> no, it should be Cresswell. No, that's the, that's the guy that should get it. Oh, it back. Cresswell, yeah, but, yeah. but Cresswell who I would is like now. To have it, it would be Bowen. I'd like Bowen to have it. I Ooh, think Fabianski yeah, right. will get yeah, it, right but I, I'd love to see Cresswell get it. You I think know, Fabianski. I think uh, when players I think are injured, all they missing, kind of are erased from my mind. Uh, like, yeah, I think you're all missing the like, elephant in the room. Totally yo, you that. know what, Lucas? That's yo, that's not, sense right there. Dog. That's sense. I know what you mean, bud, but I don't want him at captain. Oh no! You got Antonio or Fabianski? I don't want to go. No, 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 no. No, no, I, I think you're all missing the obvious choice. Oh, who? Pablo Fornells. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good call. Good call. Good call, no. Bunchy. Good call. That is your call. Like, it's like Ben Rama as well. It's like, yo, it's just. You, you take, we, we got you take Mark Noble out of the scenario, you take Declan Rice out of it, and there is only one choice on that pitch. Yeah, Fabianski. Fabianski, fucking Fabianski, dog. That's it. No, That's it. Pablo. Tapping through, through. He leads the team, dog. He leads the team more than, like, Fornals Listen, leads the team. It's, it's great having leaders everywhere on the pitch. That's exactly what a, a good team has. Like, yeah. They have leaders yeah. all over the pitch. But as far as wearing the armband's concerned, I would not put it on a goalkeeper. 
I would not put it on a striker. I would, I would, I would put it on a defender or a defensive stroke, you know, creative midfielder. And Pablo well, Cornell is, is the perfect choice for it, purely and simply because he has, A, he's got, still got the youth on his side, and, you know, he will grow into that role. Uh, you know, I think he'll adapt and grow into that role really well. He's also he already, he he's, got 80, he he's got 85% it, yeah. of, yeah, but he's got 85% of the fan base sitting there loving him. Yeah. And, and you know, the ones that don't love him, like him, you know, no. I don't think anybody and, uh, that's associated with the fan base in our club dislikes. Yeah, I'm not sure. Sure. Yeah. I think uh, it goes on a uh, seniority, doesn't it? That's yeah. what I'm that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it, like, can, it can do. Yeah, it can do. Yeah, well, but Declan Rice, that, where's that, his that, seniority? Yeah. Sony, where's yeah. Declan Rice's seniority? Because he's been at the um, club forever. He's been there a long time though at West Ham, mate. No, that's, yeah. what that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And and, uh, so and I, I, I suppose that. the fact that he, left, you know, he captained yeah, the under twenty threes, etc., would have given. And, and, and yeah, it's like it's like behind the scenes he's been there. He's been there, and it's like maybe mm. he had like yeah, that's right. But, maybe you know, he hasn't been in the limelight. You know, but maybe he's not been in the limelight like for all the years he's been here. But Kieran's right; like he's been here mm. from time, so it's like. There's a seniority like, right there. Yeah. So Rice, and, you know, Rice, all right, okay, yeah, but let's okay. take, let's take him out of the... Rice would have had eight years, yeah? Rice would have had yeah. eight years at West Ham, right? And yeah. Cresswell's yeah. had something like that, hasn't he? Maybe yeah. six, seven. Yeah. And uh, Fabianski, Dan and Albona. So if you don't go with just, you know, how long you've been at the club, yeah, I think Fournell, Bowen... Would be my choices. One of them. I would, it wouldn't bother me with either one. What, but, what, uh, what about Obana, Karen? What about Obana? Yeah, Obana too. That's why I, I did mention him. I said right. him with Fabianski yeah. and Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but you got to consider years, also years, that Obana is going to be retiring in a year yeah, or I know. so. I know, exactly. So, but, you know, I mean, you're not going to give the armband to a man that's about to walk out the door. You know, no, but you, you might know, give it as an interim. An interim. Yeah, you know, when you, an interim. When you pick a captain. Thing. See, we nearly had that against Watford. Maybe, didn't you know, maybe as yeah. maybe as the team captain. We didn't really have that yeah, I can Watford, see that, but not as club captain. I think no, club captain needs to go to somebody that so that has their Noble heart and soul at like West Ham. Watford, budge. If Noble hadn't played, would have been yep. in that scenario. Yep. Who do you pick for captain? Because yeah. Cresswell was missing, Rice was yeah. missing. Yeah. You know, yeah. so who would have been? We don't know because it didn't happen. Noble played. But if he hadn't applied, that question would have been asked. I'd be, it would have been really interesting to see Zuma who would, be would a great take that armband to the day. Yeah. I, I, th I think Pornell would have got, like, the look up. If if, 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 if if that situation came against, like, Wofford, Karen, I think Pornell's would have been looked at, as well as Bowen. It, it would have been one of the two, I think. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. I wish yeah. You know, yeah. It's yeah. annoying that it didn't happen because you would have known where, where, you know, where yeah. they're heading. With that, but yeah, it didn't matter. Hmm. Uh, there's, 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 there's a thing here. Um, no, no, no. Th there's quite a, quite a bit to the comment, but the point that What's I that? wanted to get to was: Do you see Dave, uh, Mark Noble going into management? Yes. Well, I can not see him going into coaching, no. like behind the scenes for West Ham. Um, no, to management. Me. No. Yeah, it may be in a bit, but not right after. I think he's going to be working with the lads at, at, at West Ham in, in, in the back in, in the background. I really do. He loves maybe, the club more maybe than by a coaching. Why a coaching? He might yeah. get there, but not for a five yeah. years or so. But yeah, he he might start That's off his I'm managerial uh, drive, if you like, by maybe saying, you know, uh, mm -hmm. under. Ains manager, maybe, or something, head coach, or whatever. No, you I know, think he'll be um, in and around the first team. You know, so I part of the youth development, the team, or, yeah. even, or even part part of the uh, ladies' team, because he's quite passionate no, I, about I think the ladies' team. he'll be in and around the team. first team, and if that's like part of the backroom staff, I, 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 it is. I, I grant you that, yeah, life. he probably would be. Right. But yeah. imagine what kind of uh, uh, influence he would have on 
something like yeah you know, I, the think, ladies team. I think or, what will or, happen is he'll he'll probably like take a few months off to be with his his kids and family mm-hmm. like four mm-hmm. months and then I, honestly he might come he might come right back into to coach in the first team i think he's either going to go yeah. academy or straight into the first team you know, I'm getting straight to the first team, Doc. I, I think with Kevin Nolan, Irvine, and 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 the man them, I can see him like that, I'm telling you, with al- already, yeah. already, yeah. our backroom staff and our coaches. That is a brilliant bunch. When you add Noble Massive. in there with yes. Nolan, yes, Pierce, yeah, he's already a part yeah, of it. Though, Luke, yeah. Yeah. With that, as much as I love that idea, West Ham, yeah, I'm not known for ex players straight away to come into yeah. the first team coaching. They put him. From 16s right. and 18s upwards. They don't normally throw him into that mix. Yeah. You know? Because sometimes we'll exactly. the next player that's just stopped it, it can be a fly in the ointment. It sometimes doesn't work. Yeah. Because I, know, but I think Mark, Mark, Mark Noble's right. exceptional, though, Karen. I think Mark Noble's an exception. Uh, he is exceptional, right. but I think he's an be. exception. I really do. Could be. Could be. But it will be a first if we did. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong whatsoever. And then I agree with Lucas, like, he'll, he'll probably take off, like, the first, like, probably, like, half a year or whatever to, to, to be with his family and, and all that. But I can see him walking straight into the, the first team um, kind of thing. Honest, 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 honest. Like, the players respect him so much. When any manager comes in, he's always the link between the players and the manager. Every time, putting putting his arm over them, like... Yo, he's, he's uh, what will decide that, mate? Whatever we want or they want is what Moyes wants. If Moyes thinks yes. he could be a great yeah. addition to the team, great addition, I want you in here, Noble. I want you yeah. with me. Then yeah. great, yeah, and it'll happen. Yeah, yeah. Be down to him. Yeah, you're Listen, right. Listen, I'll guarantee you this, right? No matter what position right. Mark Noble takes up at West Ham, <laughs> and like yo, it's been said that. You know, we feel I, I, th- I feel that it will probably start off being with the younger, like development teams. I think that's where Mark Noble will start off because, let's be honest, other than the fact that he's been a great servant to the club as a player, he has no team. coaching experience other than he what he he's already he's done the with the guys. He has, he has the experience, but just without the badges. Like, that's it. But what I he, mean by that... on the training ground Peach. with the boys now. Yeah, but what I mean by that, Peach, is he, so far, he has concentrated yeah. on his playing career, which full props for that, because that's what he does. He's the player. So now, he will, like you suggested, I think he will probably take a three, four, five-month sabbatical with yep. family and he'll get himself to a position where he will then take up a coaching role or a you know um, a development role I think it will be and and I think that even though he may take up a development role with let's just pick a number out of the hat you know the under 16s let's just say for yeah, that yeah. but you will still see him in the dugout on mm-hmm. match day, yeah, you will still see him. To be honest, be honest if, uh, yeah. if um, if Noble had ideas of management, you know, in the future, say whatever that be, five eight years time, his, yeah. his mm-hmm. best move for him would be to get away from West Ham and go to somewhere new where you're not revered as a oh, West Ham legend and prove yourself yeah. with a smaller club and a smaller division. Yeah, maybe you're, right. maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. And then come through the ranks so you want to become manager. At West Ham, mm. and this is a lot of, a lot of clubs have done that. They fuck these uh, legend players off because they've yeah. got too much of an influence on the dressing room and players. Yeah. And managers don't like it. I don't think Moyes would have that problem. I don't think that would be the case. But mm. some of them do because they are mm. too much of an influence because of their stature. And so for him to go to a smaller club, prove himself as a coach, and then look to, to uh, manage, like Lampard did. Like Lampard did with Derby. Uh, and he yeah. the chill. You know, that, it's like, better and, off... And Gerard and Rooney, like all of them. So. For him, no, I but think, that was so quick, though. Because if he yeah. was at West Ham all the time, he's going to forever have people pissing in his pocket. 
tell him what a great yeah. bloke he is. If he goes yeah. to somewhere new, that that's all gone. You you got to prove it. Now. Yeah. What, what can yeah. you do? Yeah. Just a, just a no, it, it makes sense. But that that does make sense, man. Like like like, would you like Karen? Could you see him going back to like Hall or something like where where he went on loan? Make like maybe a club like that to like kind of start off. To to what club, mate? What club? Well, he went he went on loan oh. to Hall, didn't he? He went he went on loan to Hall. So it's like, could you see him maybe going to that club because he has ties with them? Depend, yeah, it depends what division. Or maybe even Preston North End. North End. If David Moyes wants to send him to Preston North End, because David Moyes has 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 like ties with them, you never know. You would know, but I'd think he'd. I, I'd imagine he'd rather stay around the London area and not go. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, what you think? Yeah. Like maybe like if he went to Dagenham and Redbridge, maybe like just to start off. Start off his I'm not sure where all these clubs are at now, but uh, I'm, I'm sure I know South End are not in a good spot. Um, I'm not yep. sure about Orient either, but it would develop him as a coach if he if he can go to a struggling club and make them better, yes. then he's yes. standing because of that, you know. It makes sense. That makes sense, man. That makes sense. That makes a lot of about sense. How about this one, guys? How about right. this comment? Zuma, as a captain, he's played for, for like five clubs, still reasonably young, very yeah, experienced, I, I very loud, that. very vocal. Yeah, Luke has said that earlier. Leadership skills. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Would I do it? Yeah. No. Okay. Could I see him as a future captain? Yes. Would yeah. I do it now? No. So yeah, you no, pick, you pick more now, don't with Zuma. Like if if it had to happen, yeah. like I don't know. Let's say what, Zuma with I, I hadn't or, actually, I hadn't actually considered Zuma. I have to be honest. No, I wouldn't uh, consider Zuma. And do. now, and now that I normal. am considering Zuma, it's a toss up between them two now for me. Uh, I still think Who's that, that four nails and Zuma. Uh, four nails, yeah. I still think that four nails would make an incredibly good captain. I do, I do, I do like her. I do like her punt on Fornells as captain because he is, he is a leader. He's an organizer. I do see that, and I do like that. Even though he doesn't have the same seniority as some of the other players that have been there, I see that. No. And and Zuma might no, not he have has the same a passion to equal. Fan, but Zuma has the seniority in football yeah. alone. Like yeah, he, he sees but, that. You know, like for me, not, Pablo Fornells has got. Fit. Yeah, boy. Presuming everyone's fit, like, you know, apart from. Yeah. Say Rice and Noble. How could you put yeah. Zuma in front of Bob Bonner? It's, it's really crazy. You couldn't. You couldn't. You couldn't. He, no, you wouldn't right now. You captain. wouldn't right yeah, now. Yeah, you couldn't. But like, as a as a as a future on. club captain yeah, going on, move, you know. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, no, as a future club, I mean, a captain that you would assign that he's going to be your future captain for the next three to five yeah. years. You know, I think that Zuma's a great candidate. I think that Four Nails you know, is a great you know candidate. Name we've all, because, you know what name look, we've all like? Four like Nails, no, four nails you know, passion you know, for this club equals Noble. Honestly, the name we've all missed, missed, honestly, Nobles, like, we've I'm all missed is Craig Dawson. Like, Craig Dawson would be a fucking no, brilliant captain. I no, don't even no, think no, this. No, I no, think no, Craig no, Dawson no, would be a brilliant no, captain, dog. No, Straight up. I think he'd be magic. Yep, I do. I do. I think. I think Craig I Dawson would be a tidy captain, man. He's already doing it without the armband. So just give him the armband. He's doing what he already does. Real talk. But like I said earlier, Peach, it's great having leaders all over the pitch, isn't it? Isn't it? Doesn't it? mean isn't they're all it? captain material. No, now no, I agree. No, Dawson, no, no, Dawson probably is captain are. material. Here we are no. discussing it, and we we've picked about five players that could be. How good is that? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, but, but Dawson could be, but only That's for one brilliant. season. That's yes, brilliant. or maybe two, maybe two if you're really lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ogbonna could do it, but you. only yeah, for yeah, one yeah. season. You know, what you got to have is, like I said, Christmas. you can't keep chopping well, and changing the club <laughs> captain. That's why yeah, nobody that has be been doing what he's season. doing for so long as club captain, right? Even when he's not on the pitch, we all know that Nobs. He's the man. And we know, need somebody Johnson, else. Even if you're going to get like him for that. a year or two. Now, Noble grew into that, that role. Yeah. 
he grew into that role. He was relatively young when he when he took the captaincy. Yeah. He, he was only he was only captain for six seasons, six seven years was it? Uh-huh. Noble, but, you know, because obviously there were captains at the club when he first came into the team and so on, you know. So the next captain, the next captain that comes into the club, or or that takes over that role, um, if Declan does go, has to be someone that I has as a passion for the club. And I believe Pablo Fornells has got that in bucket loads. They, they've I know, got to have know, leadership you know, qualities, which he has no, got. No, no, I, I hear you. I hear you. You've got, you, to, but have, you know, like we're, you've got we're to have the dressing room like and you've got to have the... Coming that. back to the club and like doing something and, and doing something for the first team and then around the first team. I think another player who has played for us, who we need in like our setup is Pablo Zabaleta. Like our Paulo Sabaleta, Sabaleta. I think he'd be brilliant in in in, in and around the first team, uh, uh, backroom staff. Like honestly, he would fit the bill, man. Honestly, I don't know what he's doing now, but I'd love to see him back at West Ham. Yeah, in like I, I a, loved it. I loved him role. as a player. Yeah. I did. I yeah. really did love probably, him. Yeah. He's probably but, enjoying the hundred million pounds he's earned. Teddy Sheringham, too. Teddy Sheringham. I'd like to see Teddy Sheringham get a role doing something like in and around West Ham in, in, in a coaching area, Doc. Like, I thought he was I thought he was phenomenal. He is phenomenal. Like, How many coaches do you think we need, Paige? How many are we going to have? have more I'm coaches thinking than about, I'm thinking thing. about five right now. I'm thinking about five right now. But no, honestly, like, I, I just, I, I love, like, Zabaleta coming back, Sheringham coming back. No, but yeah. when, when you ain't up his boots, right, that, right? that boy... Zavaleta was just a pure, pure gentleman and professional. Pure, wasn't pure he? professional. Wasn't he? Wasn't Love he? Yeah. And ran Led his guts example. off every match he played. There's every another match. West Ham legend every that's already match. got management experience. Isn't there? Love him, man. I think he's the best. There's, a, there's another West Ham man, uh, ex-player that has management experience of Premier okay. League. No. He's got no, I, can, I can name Premier a couple. League. I can name a two. Go on. Who would be Chris, you, Chris Hewitt? No. I yes. went to school yes. with Chris Hewitt. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Harry, I'll I'll get, get, bring bet. back Harry Redknapp and give him a wheelchair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking about Paolo Di Canio. No. Imagine, no. Wouldn't, imagine wouldn't him. Let, I wouldn't let him in a country, Budgie. He wouldn't let him in no oh, one. He wouldn't let him in. What? wouldn't let him in no one near this thing. He's mental. What? Every day. I'm not talking about as a first team manager or anything like that. No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking you, more about. I wouldn't have that boy near, near that team. Oh, what the wrong with you? You know, Decanio is the business. Dog. What's he like, done to upset you, Kieran? No, I know. I know. Decanio is pissed in his cornflakes, man. What the He's hell? No, Budge, I, I remember him. I remember him, him. him like, managing Swindon, chasing oh, his centre forward and fighting with him in the tunnel. Yeah. Fighting with him in the tunnel. He's mental. You don't want that West Ham, mate. I'll tell you that now. I He'd upset how, 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 how many referees do you reckon the game this is? Do you remember when he went to like the home supporters and it was like I don't know the, the 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 he didn't get the results or whatever and like he went right up to the home supporters and was like like calm down calm down calm down and like he just has that 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 drive and that 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 oh guile about him like oh the can you and he's got that Italian passion about him. He's mental. I love that. I love that. See all that fucking camaraderie we got in the dressing room? That would change him in a week. Oh, that would be done. <laughs> I agree with that. That would be done. It would be the Decanio show. It would Everyone be the Decanio show. Decanio, You're, right. Decanio, You're right. You're right. He's a perfectionist too, right? He expe- expects yeah. perfection from everyone. And when they don't deliver, he gives it to him. He's not, no, he's not the right guy. Who, who was who was that he had to row with, with the striker? Was it Robson Canu? Was that who I it was? I don't know what one it was, though. I really remember seeing the video of it. They Me started too. on, he dragged him off, and then yeah. they ended up, he chased him down yeah. a tunnel. He chased the guy yeah. down a tunnel and started fighting with him. Yeah. Fucking yeah. 
No, he is Wentz Miller. That's what I love about him. But it was like, yo, I think it was Robson Cano. No, I think it was. Don't want him at West End. Don't want that West End. And the, 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 center, the center forward wanted to like go fisticuffs with him, like on the sideline. like, yeah. And he refused <laughs> to come off or something or refused to go on. It was mad. I remember oh, that, cool. dog. And then he went down no, the tunnel. No. That was mad. I vaguely remember it, Mitch, but it was fucking. <laughs> oh, I remember it like yesterday, dog. I remember it like yesterday. To can you. Yes, please. Uh, what about when he memory. sat down? That's what about I don't when want to he sat down memory. and refused to play? I don't want to the memories of the canyon. There's not Yeah, what about when he sat it's down and refused to play? He was trying to it. get Harry, yeah. Harry Redknapp to stop yeah. him off, would he? Yeah. Harry, yeah. Like, yeah. Harry yeah. Redknapp tells the yeah. story and he goes, yeah. I know I'm playing now. I don't know. I don't know. It's referee. The referee is all right. Get me off. Fucking head cut. Oh my days, the canyon. Yeah. Oh. It, it gave us some good memories, didn't it? Oh, the, the Wimbledon. Oh, come on, the Wimbledon goal. Come on, the Chelsea goal. Come on, like when when my favorite one, my favorite one, Karen, and and Lucas and Clive. My favorite one was when they were playing against Chelsea. I think it was, and like one of the boys went down. And there was a cross into the box, and he grabbed the ball. Caught the ball. He grabbed the ball. You remember that? He grabbed the ball. Yeah, was like, stop play, stop play. Like, he's that type of player, man. I think it, it was Chelsea, Ever. Chelsea, no. Yeah, it was I think it was Chelsea, no. It was Everton, yeah. Here? And, and it was yeah, Everton. It was a, and, hold on, hold on. Here, who and was it? Harry Radnap, when he tells that story, he says, and I, there I was, standing at the side, shouting, fucking hell, Paolo, what are you doing? Yeah. yeah, but what team happened. was that against? What team was that against, Karen? When Everton. 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 Hey. Was Everton. it? Okay, boom, 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 boom. They're in blue, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was Yeah, I got that one right. That's it, bro. But yeah, oh, what that was. And then and then when, when my other favorite was when him and Lampard were fighting over the penalty. I love that. I love that. Like, my penalty. Yeah, no, my penalty. Cool. no, my penalty. No, my penalty. No, my penalty. That was boom. What an absolute oh, shit house he was. Yeah. He was great, yeah. though, wasn't he? Yeah. Only the shit Clap. house you love to love. Or love yeah, to love. in our shit house, Doc. Our you know? shit house, Doc. Oh, yeah, man. Him. And listen, he played for fucking, what was it, Sheffield Wednesday, wasn't it? And he pushed yeah. the referee yeah. over. Yeah, and then yeah, he had, yeah. Hello, Ticanio was all of a sudden signed by West Ham. And everybody was looking yeah. at, like, uh, Harry Redknapp going, what, what are, you, are you doing, you what freak? Are you doing? What are you Harry signing? And he comes out and does what he done. Oh, mate, the guy was a magician. An absolute yeah, he magician. Was. He really oh. was, man. He re- and, and Harry Redknapp wasn't bad himself. Like, when Harry Redknapp, like, Lucas, I don't you know if you know about this, but like, Harry was. Redknapp, when, when, he, when, when they were playing, and, and, like, Harry Redknapp called one of the, the, the supporters, and, and one of the supporters was like, yo, put me on the pitch, put me on the pitch. And I like, yeah, said, okay, today. put your gear on, put your gear on. And then, like, the referee was like, who's this? Like, who are you bringing on the pitch? And he's like, oh, he's like a, a, a Croatian, like, uh, international or some shit. And he went on the pitch, and he was just a supporter, dog. And he was knocking the ball around with, like, the West Ham boys. He was living his dream. And, oh, yeah. that was magic. Like, he put a supporter on, dog. Don't. Yeah. Because he, he was getting frustrated with the way the game was going. Yeah. And what that right. guy shouted at him, bloody hell, yeah. Harry, I could do a better job than that. Or something. And he yeah. went, what, you reckon you can? Get your gear on, mate. Yeah. And called him Love on. It. And he played Love about it. eight or 11 minutes or something, wasn't it? Yeah. No, you know, with the boys, like, living his dream. Yeah. He actually scored a goal. Yeah. yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah. He actually yeah. 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 That was brilliant. That was, oh, that was, and, and there's, there's another clip. I don't know if you've seen it, but there's another clip when, like, Harry Redknapp was getting interviewed by, like, Sky or, like, BBC or something, and it was on the training ground, and then somebody kicked the ball, like, right at Harry Redknapp, and it went on his nut, and, like, this is in the middle of the interview, and, like, Harry Redknapp was like, yeah, that's why he's in the fucking reserves, and I'll tell you that if you haven't seen that video, you have to have a watch. It is fucking instrumental. Like, he's having the interview. Paul gets, like, smacked in his head. And he just looks back. And he's like, what? Oh, that's why, you're in the, that's why he's in the fucking reserves. Have you guys seen that or no? 
No, no. I oh, you got to watch that class. Absolute classic. Absolute. Cl- I'll send it to the both of you. I'll find it and send it to the both. I'll send it to all three of you. Right. You absolutely love it. Put, it in, the, love put it. it in the group chat. Yeah, I, will. The, uh, I will. Chat. I will. I will. I will. You have a right chat. laugh at that, man. Like, right yeah, laugh at that. It was like, oh, absolutely brilliant, man. Honestly, Harry Redknapp was a legend. That was that, that, like that's 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 the 1999 2000 team, man. That's like when we had everybody, everybody, and like, oh shit, that was just I loved it, man. That's what that's that's like the year I think we saw real Ferdinand to Leeds, like yeah. yo, we had everybody. We had Ferdinand, Defoe, Joe Cole, Michael Carrick, uh, Frank Lampard. We had everybody, man. Shaka Hislop. We had everybody. Trevor Sinclair. Like, that was the team, man. And this team now is reminding me of that team. And uh, and same kit. Happy days, man. Happy flipping days, man. Honest. Yeah. Honest to goodness. To goodness to me, man. Honest, man. Yeah, uh, it'll be interesting. Earlier on, boy, you missed it. I had a look yeah. at our next six, our next six fixtures. I'll tell you okay. what, there's, there's points to be had, man. There's really hard oh, points oh, to be yeah. had. I think the toughest oh, one oh, in it is Man United and Leicester. The other is yeah. like Norwich and Newcastle. Yeah, and we've beaten we can, both of them. We could have a good run here yeah. if we can, if we can get, well, hopefully, players in, bodies back. Yeah. But we, we, we haven't Leicester got the hardest four, run one. in the next six games, you know? So there is one to be back. Hang on, I'll be back. I'll be back. Hang on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who, who do we play here? Mm-hmm. And who, who, who are the likes of the teams I that we play? I remember like, Newcastle's one in the next six. Newcastle's one of them. I know Norwich is one of them. Villa, yeah. uh, I think um, it might be Villa. And it, Man United, Leicester are the two hardest ones. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's. So I don't yeah. see why we can't. And there's a couple of others that are winnable, you know, the, the good fixtures. Leeds as well. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, Luke, Lucas, is there any way you could look at the next six fixtures that, that we're playing, man? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, oh, the, the rest you, of this January, the rest of this January, we could pick yep. up some good points if we're on our game. No doubt about I love it. That. Yeah, yeah. Stop, I love that. Right, listen, guys, team, you know? guys, so, it's 3 a.m. for me. Um, right. I'm getting a bit tired. Yeah, we've been, been going four hours as well. Um, right, listen, guys, it's been lovely chatting with everybody. I am really knackered. We love you, buddy. Love you all, right. guys. Yeah, uh, I'm nice talking to you again, Lucas. You as well. I'll talk to you later. All right, mate. I'll talk to you right. later. Yeah, we'll we'll try and get something sorted out. But I'm focused this week. Yeah, um, this and week. Guys, I'll catch up with you later, okay? Right, everybody mate. in the chat, thank you very much. Take yourself out. Thank you for your support, as always, everybody. Take care. Yes, sir. See you Peace out. You. Come on, you hammers. Come on, you hammers. Don't know. Yo, Lucas, you got the you got the, the last last six matches? Or the, the, the upcoming six matches, sorry? Yeah, so we are home to Leeds in the FA Cup. Yep. We actually yep. have three straight home fixtures. We have oh, I love that. Leeds at home, Norwich, yep. and Leeds again at home. So FA Cup, yep. then... Yep. Two league games in a row. Then we're away at Man United, uh, home to Watford, and away to Leicester, home to Newcastle, home to Wolverhampton to end January. So er, right. end February. Wow. There's points oh. to be had there. There's a good run of fixtures, mate. There's no excuses. Yeah, if, yeah. You, if you go through that period and really have a bad time, it's no excuses because Norwich you know I mean? leads United. <laughs> Watford, oh, good. that that should be, yeah, I like that nine. Should be, that should be eight or nine points. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I yeah. would take seven. I'd take seven. Uh, what, yeah, what, no, which one? Yeah, yeah. Nor- Norwich leads United. Watford. I would. I would probably take. Yeah, I, we have to beat Norwich, obviously. I would take a. I would take a draw against Watford or Leeds. Yeah, I think we'll get nine, dog. I think we'll get nine points from those those four matches. I'm gonna beat Watford. I think we should beat Watford. Yeah. I don't think yeah. I don't think we'll probably beat Watford. Leeds, you never know it, Leeds, on the day. Yeah, I know. But 
And then I United, still think that's true. And then United away. We, yeah. we always we always so this is the thing. This is the thing Anything with United. I feel like we always play decent against United, but VAR always fucks us against United you're all right. the time. You're right. You're right. The Paul right. the Paul Pogba pass out of bounds. Yeah. No it done, it done as a favor today, mate, didn't it? So fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and it, it for once, for once, it did us a favor today. Like on another day, that could got that could have gone the other way because he was I'm like just right saying, on the I feel line. Like every time we go to Old Trafford, right? there's a v, there's VAR bullshit yeah. that goes against us. But look, we're not scared of Man United at the moment. That's another. No, thing. We're no. Not scared of them. We're, no, no. no. If we go there and lose, we lose. But we we can actually go for them and try and win it. So yeah. in them fixtures, yeah, I, I'm expecting points, man. I'm expecting to beat Leeds and Watford. Man United, yeah. I'm not. And Norwich. But I'll take, imagine getting a point at, at Man United. And then going on to, what was the next one? Leicester City away. Yes, which we can tough, definitely it? get something. That's the Newcastle yeah. at home. And but then Newcastle. Wolverhampton at home. Exactly. Newcastle, Wolverhampton. For fuck's sake, why can't we and take then, points? And then March. We only, yeah. have, we only have three matches in March. Well, we could have some more FA Cup games, but uh, March okay. we are away at Anfield, home against Villa, and at Tottenham. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, they're tough games. They're three tough ones, right? Yeah, yeah, they're free. Yeah, it goes but, on to like okay. doable to like yeah, you got to be on your A game. April, type of thing. April right. that's what I'm April saying. Gets- this April next, this next, again. next period of six games. This is where we need to pick the points and to yes. when we do get that tough period, we can handle a loss here and there, and, you know, a couple yeah. of losses. But we need to pick it up here in this little stretch, this little yeah. stretch. Yeah. And it's the yeah. fucker that we don't have Zuma and we don't have Bonner and Cresswell. I'm just hoping in that little period we've signed players, we got Cresswell yeah. back. Yeah. And uh, we can handle it and, and take points out because our, Arsenal, points. Arsenal, and Tottenham they've got some tough fixtures as well. Arsenal, good, they're they're next. What's the date today? The first, they're Jesus, they don't play a league game for they, their next league league game is until the 16th. Arsenal, oh, it is. Oh, my god, wow, what was that? They've got the the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup, and they're they're in the the second they're in the 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 se, not the semis but they're in the they're in the aggregate stage. Uh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Yeah. But they play the, Arsenal play Spurs away, mm-hmm. those Burnley, Wolves, and Brentford. I mean, I wouldn't say those are all no, easy they're three not. points. They're not easy. Yeah, but they're not still, easy. Big game. Like, like us, their games they're looking at taking wins out of all of them. So, yeah, yeah. That's and what then Tottenham. At. Tottenham, they they got Arsenal, Chelsea, Southampton, Wolves, City, Leeds. Ooh. Yo, Ooh. that's Yo, a tough one. That, yeah, that's, that's a real tough one. So we what, need what to you make say about make, April. Sorry. Like, we need, just need to make hay while the sun shines, don't we? You know, while, while we've yeah. got a and good... We, t- this, Kieran, yeah, before, before, before you came happen. in, before you came in, me and Budgie were talking about um, our goal differential is, like, really good this year so far. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. Plus yeah. 10. Should have been plus 13. I know. Uh, no. <laughs> because because nor- normally our goal differential, like, always hovers around, like, minus 3 to, like, plus 3. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Last year, last year wasn't too bad, was it? We were in the plus. Yeah. Anyway, we were in the plus last year. I think we might have been plus four, plus six, something like that, mm-hmm. which is unusual. Mm-hmm. We're normally in the minus. We're normally in the minus. Last year we were, yep. and this year yeah. we, we we're keeping above that threshold too. Because, like I said, that, that's all about us not being beaten by more than two goals for so long. Even that's when we got it. beat, it's only that's usually it. above one goal, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um. So yeah, but I just think this is an interesting period now, you know. No, not really. yeah. So last last year, we were hold on. We were plus fifteen. We were yeah, we were plus fifteen last season. Yeah, 
was yeah. it? Was it at the end? Was it past fifteen at the end? Wow! And then See, that's pretty good. And then the season where yeah. we finished sixteenth, we were minus thirteen. Yeah, and then when we finished 10th in 18 19, we were minus three. Yeah, yeah, 17 18, we were minus 20. Dear lord, oh my day. And in the final season at Upton Park, we were minus 17. Not yeah, but we beat Manchester United on the last day of the bowl in, so I'm happy for that. And then uh, when pa- when we got to Europa League uh, playing games with Piat, we were plus 14 that season. Yeah, uh, Piat. But you 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 wrote good. Like, do you think? I think it's possible. What do you think, Karen? Do you think it's possible we can win that? I think it is. No, no, I don't. I don't I think do. it's impossible. No, I don't think it's impossible, but. It's just a matter of the the right teams falling to us and yeah, losing. Exactly. I, who do, who cup, do we have? Who do we have next round? All cup Sorry, competitions. Mike. I've got so much luck involved with the draw. You know yeah, what I mean? It's, no, no, it's, no. it's just a lottery, so it's very hard yeah, to say. Yeah. When what? you know the next four teams you're playing, you can go, "Yeah, we can win this." Like this, what I've just said about yeah. these next six pictures, we can win this. Yeah. We can do this. We can do that. And we talked. We talked talk about this. Yeah. We talked about this like before too. Show. That um, really, the only teams we don't want to see right now Dortmund. is Dortmund and um, Napoli or no, no Napoli got um Napoli got who did they got uh one of the boys said it in the chat earlier on, Napoli got Dortmund in the next round. So who do we have in the next round? We had Napoli in my head then. Yeah, Napoli. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah we don't want Dortmund. Fuck me. No. Who do we have though? Because if Napoli have Dortmund, we have to be drawn our our next game. So who who is our next I game? Really I, don't want any the, I don't want any of the Champions League teams that have dropped down either. You don't want to get near no. them. Oh, here yeah. we go. Here we go. You ready? I'm worried about Barcelona. Only, bring them on. Basically, the only teams we really don't want to see is what? I would say Dortmund or Porto. In my opinion, why Porto? Uh, Porto's good. They're good. Really. I haven't been. I, I have not been paying attention. But to this the is Portugal this league. is who this is who's in the this is who we're waiting to get. Um, this okay. is who has to play. So yeah. Dortmund, Dortmund Rangers, Zenit, Real Betis, Barcelona, Napoli, Sheriff Braga, uh, Leipzig versus Sociedad, Porto, Lazio, Atalanta, Olympiacos, and then Sevilla, Dinamo. So they go ahead. Don't we have Atalanta? I could swear we have Atalanta. We beat, we beat them why. in the we beat them in the Betway Cup. Yeah. No, I know that. But like, if if Dortmund already have Napoli, shouldn't we already have our team like picked out, ready to go? No, like, because we we won the group, so we're playing. straight to the the final sixteen. There you go. Yeah. There you go. I'm not qualified for yeah. it, so that's why. Yeah, that's why the draw has not been made. Yeah, yet. really. The only the only the only team I fair. would be scared of is nice Dortmund and. Either Porto or or, or lies big, uh, but that that yeah. sheriff of uh, done all right, haven't they? <laughs> I mean, no one knows who the fuck yeah. or what they are, but they've done There's all right. Maldo- you Maldovian you merchants. That's like Gibraltar, like showing up and, like, and doing I'm like only, Spain. I'm always scared like, of Dortmund yeah. because Holland Holland will be back playing in full in full health. Yeah, no, what a player. What a player, man. What a player. What In a Barcelona, player. maybe, because F- Fernand Torres is a great player. A great I player. know, but I ain't scared of them right now. The confidence we, we is already, low, we beat, beat, we beat Dynamo full strength. We beat Atalanta yep. It, yep. It, at half strength, and they played their first team in the bet. Yeah. No, um, not anything. We need, we need a bit of luck with this draw. Yeah. We need. Not no, to be right. big boys out, you know what I mean? So, no, you're right. I would, I, I said this before, I would love to see West Ham versus Rangers. That would be a great match. You know what? I'm bang on with you on that. I'm bang on with you that on that. That would be man. an absolute firecracker of a match. Yo, and I got, I got, I got a few friends Especially that are like Rangers Glasgow. supporters. Like, yo, I'd love to see that. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see that. That'd man. be a real piss up. 
Yeah, not many. And it would be like it would it would be a good match, man. Like, yo, I I would love to see that. That would oh man. Just to like give it to like some Rangers fans I know, like after we done beat them, like haha, like yo, we got you, like and, yo, I'd love to see that. And we don't love we're not we're not gonna play till till March because again, they're in, the, they're in the aggregate stage. You get what mm. I'm saying? Yeah. So yep. we're we're gonna yep. have Zuma. Yep. We're gonna have Zuma back, Cresswell back. We'll be Oh, is that is that what you were gonna say about the April thing? About like we're gonna have Zuma back and like all all, all players like that? Because you said April. And hopefully plus, we have plus, some, plus some new five additions. signings, Lucas. Five signings. Yes. Yes. I hope. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. We we we're were talking about seven. this. We're going we were talking seven, about this seven, again seven. today on in case you forgot. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. American Hammer uh, I, I really, I, I really believe. Depending on who we loan in, we, we might be able to get four signs. I don't think it's going to happen. If I had to put my oh, I do, oh, I do, I do. We didn't sign. We didn't. We, we, we didn't sign like Newman for no reason. We didn't bring in Kaczynski for no reason. I think. I think we're going to see something. I really special, have I no. I, I really have no idea how this is going to go. I think we're going to see something. The special. whole Jesse Lingard thing is pissing me off. Like, yeah, I'm I, was up I think that. Moment. I think that's like flowing in the water still. But I think we, we might get Yanis Island. Honestly, like, yo, we might get somebody in his place that yeah. does what he did last season I for us. Wanna, I don't even want to talk about who we link with. All I want to see, all I want to hear is a certain yeah. player is, is coming from a medical at West End. That's what I want to hear. None of the rest of it. Did you know you want to hear what? Sorry, sorry, Karen, what? What? That a, player, a player is doing a medical at West Ham, and then uh, that's uh, when I'll get excited about it, you know? Yeah, I'll be right yeah. back. So. Yeah, no, I, I, Karen, you, 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 you've been like that from day one because the transfers are like hearsay. So, you know, yeah. like, what, what can you believe? You're hearing one thing from the journals. You're hearing one thing from the agents. The agents are saying their things because they want to make a deal happen. Yeah. The journals are trying to say their thing because they want to say they got it right before anybody else did. It's all hearsay right now. You're right until he's holding up the shirt. Like when it was transfer deadline day, and we got Ben Rama, and like yo, it, it, you, you can't. We don't have a clue who they might have taking medicals right now. So no, I agree with you. It's only official till they hold up the shirt. But yeah. I want to see like shirts well, held up know, by. You might right get that the day before. The day before, Peach, when they're going for a medical at West Ham, you hear all the rumors. Yes. Yet. Yeah, and that's yes. more exciting. But just being You're right. continuously linked to every player that's available, it's just boring. You're right. It's yeah. So boring. Every every player and their grandmother and grandfather and aunt and unky, uh, uncle and all them things. Like, I know. Ooh. I know. I know. It's like... Um, you know what? I, I, you're the same as me. Like, I want to see those players that come in who we've never heard of. We've never even been linked with. Like, all the players you're hearing about, like, this person, that person. Like, none of them. Just, like, somebody out of the blue who plays for, like, the the, the Croatian, Croatian League or, like, the, the, the I don't know, whatever league. Like, yeah, we're linked with this per Bundesliga. Like, I want to see those players come in that we know nothing about, have a good record. Record, young in age, full of ambition, full of promise. Those are the ones I want, man. Yeah, we'll see. And, uh, that's, yeah, we know. will. We will. We will. We, we will. will. We will. Four, four more weeks of all this bullshit. Oh we know. no, I know. I know. It's it's going to be a whirlwind. But do you have any like favorites that you'd love to see like bark in the door, Karen? Not really. No, I don't. Oh yeah, there I you just go. I, I wanna. I just want to see this Newman do his shit, and right, and uh, me too. Yeah, I just want to see him surprise me, surprise me, and hopefully he gets it me right. Too. Yeah, me see. too. And, uh, and I'm I, I have one, I've got one play. I got Harlan, yeah. but I know that's not happening. So. No, nah, I know, but imagine if it did. Imagine if that did. He's, you know. he's the ultimate striker at that point. What I've seen. He is. He is quality, quality, man. Oh, man, he's a beast of a player, man. Cracking, player. yeah, yeah. Like, I, see, I, I, seeing something like that would do my head in. I, 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 oh, 
I'd be going nuts. Absolute apes. Mm -hmm. Like, that would be... And and I know we've been linked with, like, Coletta Carr, and we've been been linked with, like, you know, Aki and all these things. Like, what about if players just come out of the blue? Like, we never even heard that we've been linked with, and we're linked with them, like, oh, I'd love it. I'd absolutely love it. Chief from Orr, from, like, from, from, from Cardiff, like, I wouldn't even mind to be linked with him, dog. Like, and he wouldn't be expensive. I think we could get him for under 10 million. And it's like, we never been linked with him, but who knows? We're not like tracking him. I, we, like, with Moyes, he keeps his cards close to his chest. So hopefully, like, he has some cards close to his chest. We don't know who they are, what they are, when they are, when they were, and we get linked with them. And it's like, they're already at the London Stadium having a medical. That's what I want to hear. That's yeah, what I want to hear. Man. I don't want to yeah. have an opinion on it. I don't want to have an opinion on yeah. this player if I don't know him. I just want him just to turn in, up in, in, and, and, and yeah. watch him. And watch him do the job. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to go, oh, I do I like him, do or not. It doesn't matter. If they think yeah. he's right, get him in and, right. uh, yeah. and see, see how he plays. Yeah. Simple. Yeah, yeah I, I, it, it, it is simple. Hopefully that will happen. We get, I'd say, three, three players in. I think I don't think we're getting any more than three. To be honest, but three I think we're good. gonna get. I think we will get five. Honestly, I do think we will get five. Um, I think oh, I two of those will be, be ideal, but I don't think we will. I think we will get three. No, but I I think we'll get five. But I think two of them will be on the loan, and like three might be like proper transfers. I do, but like flipping out. I know, I know as much as the next man. Like th th these are just dreams. You know what I mean? Like honestly, we're only hoping, aren't we? I'm guessing and hoping that we bring That's in it. enough. I just want to bring in. I don't want five donuts. I want three good players. And if there's more, yeah. fantastic. If there ain't, we'll save it. Yeah, but if three, three good donuts. Good players, no, three, three, three good players and two donuts on loan. And then if the two donuts surprise us and become like. Amazing, like yo. Then we got five good players, but yeah, no, I'm with you on that. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely with you on that, man. Well, it's, it's going to be very crucial this January transfer window, man. Yeah, no, I, 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 I hope Moise gets it right, though, and I think he will. I hope he gets it right. I think he will, but it's, it's, uh, it, it, it it's, it's probably the most important transfer window we've had in years. And it would just be good if the board back them, we get the backing from Kaczynski, we get the the, the the scouting properly, like with with um uh your boy there, Newman. That oh, I just love to see it all all work out. That would that would make me so happy, so happy, man. Well, I've always said, mate, the pieces are in place. It's just a matter yeah, of yeah. mostly. Yeah, yeah. I think the board will back him. I, I hope so. Will. I think they will. I hope so. And, but, and then you got the players coming yeah, back. At a reasonable, at a reasonable amount, they'll back him. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not, no, not no crazy things, but like no. a reasonable amount. I agree with that. Yeah, a reasonable amount. Yeah. I think they will. And yeah. uh, as long as as long as Moyes has decided who he wants and he wants to go for him, I think that yeah. that, that that sort of shit's already happening. That's happening now. Yeah. yeah. So and, I hope and, and do you know. think do you think do you think Moyes like do you think Moyes has a bigger say than he did, let's say like a year or two ago? Like do you think they're listening to him? Like, okay, you got yeah, Newman in, you got Kr yeah. Kraczynski in and that. Like I think they're listening to it Moyes with a whole different like view. Like yeah. I think they I'm know he you knows what he's a, doing. He's standing is much higher than it was when he first got here, isn't it? You know, from a yeah. sixth finish last season. And we're still yeah. in fifth spot. We're still in fifth. We're still holding our own, you know, staying with where we were. Points. Yes. So yes, with 34 points. Like, hello. They, they believe we can be in the top six again. Yeah. No doubt. You know, he's convinced them of that. We can be a top six club. But, yeah. you know, to, to finish the season off, you probably need some funding, so he, he, nah, I don't, I think, it. I don't think it'd be an Thank issue. You. I think we'll back him. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I think, I think, I think, Karen, I think, I think he will get the backing, one hundred percent. I think that his value from where, where did he come from? Was it, was it, um, at, at, Atletico? Who? A real associate ad, wasn't it? Well, he was at work when we got him. No, I know, but before that, where, where was he? No, real real he was associate, associate ad, wasn't it? Famous yeah. his, 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 his level on the market when he came to us was right here. Now mm. it's here because of what exactly. he's done. And what he's done is nothing but magnificent. Well, all right. What are you done, mate? No, oh, Peachy, is your phone gone? No, Umfa. I know I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Sorry about that. But it's like his 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 status has gone from here to there, and he's done nothing except magic. And they have to like kind of see what he's done and say, okay, listen, boy, we'll put in this much amount so we can get you where you want to be because you're going in the right direction. You're on the incline. So it's like, let's have it. Yeah, like, let's, yeah. Let, yeah. So, yeah, mate, I'm good. Now, I've got to go now, Paige. I've got to go to over the shops with the boy, get some shit. Yeah, no worries. No worries. No worries. Man. Big up, RT, man. Boy. I'll, uh, you me? I'll talk to you whatever, as per usual. Yeah. Yes. Bye, bye. Love you, mate. Thank you for coming on, yeah. And thank you, everyone. To say goodbye to Lucas, mate. I'll catch up with him again. Done, though. Everyone in the chat, is anyone left? I'd probably not. They were probably lucky. They all got the bed, mate, didn't they? But it was good to talk to you, mate. Talk to you later. All right, mate. Yo, we still got 10 people in the watching, 10 people watching. Hockey, docky, docking. How we rocking, rocking, rocking. Yo, now it's just me. And we got Lucas in the building, but like he's gotten to do some things. Um, yo, I think that I don't, yo, I think that I think the boys will get the signings, you know. I do, I do, I do, I do. Like, honestly, like, yo, what he's done is, is nothing short of magnificent. And it's like the owners will see this, they have to see it. We did something that we, we we gave away last last season, and I was like, we go up 3-0. Then, like, yo, second half comes, we get drawn 3-3. Three, three. Or, like, they beat us 4-3. You know what I mean? But that didn't go on this, like, match, man. Honest to goodness, like, we, we got stuck in. And, like, who was it? I, who was it, Doc? Who was it? They were going off about, like, how... Yo, you don't always have to play that good football, but you need to, like, get the results. And we don't got the results or the result. You know what I mean? It's like we didn't play the best, but we got the result. Like, real things, man. Oh, these stupid Spanish. I, I tell you, man, I got to turn on my phone every time they come in because I got to, like, I got to block them. And it's just like, yo, don't let me block them on my phone's by the side like that. Hold on. And then this this man, it won't even block him. Hold on. What does it say? Block user. An error occurred. Try refreshing the page. Hold on. If it goes like sideways, like, what, what's it called? Um, South Park. South Park sideways. Like, you killed Kenny, you bastard. No way. I'll refresh two things. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let me just, like, go out and then come back in. Okay. So I'm back in the place. Hold on. Let me just try to get rid of this user again. Done. An error occurred. Why is this error, 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 error occurring with this stupid thing? Hold on. Oh, I'm trying to block this person, but it ain't happening, dark. And it's told her. And it's told her. You could, like, piss off and... Piss off older, like real talk. 
on the block and say, why are they working? Hold up, man. Oh, that ain't right, dog. Okay, block users, it just keeps saying error occurred. Why did error occur when I'm trying to block this user, dog? You know, that's weak, man. That's weak still, you know. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Bear with me. I'm going to be right back still, you know. I'm playing with y'all, man. Yo, hold up. Well, let me just try something still. All right. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Night, Bazi. Brilliant. Now, let me try to get this bastard again back. Hold up. Black user. Why is it not blocking? Like, that's messed up. I'm gonna do this still. See if that works. No error. What the hell? How come this man's error thing? No, oh, that is messed up, Doc. I'm even playing with you, man. Hold up. No, what are you dealing with, Doc? Doc user. I'll show you, man. These, like, Spanish people are mad. Hold on. An error occurred. I'll give you error occurred. That's bollocks. Okay, hold on. Let me try this. Hold on. Hold on. Let me try this. Hold up. Uno momentos por favor. Say it up. How we rock it nice on the mic. We rock it raw. Okay, hold on. What do I got to do? Hold on. Let me try this. And then I, yo, hold up. No, that's not it. Do that. Hold on. Yo, you killing me? No. Hold on, let me try to play something and like go back to it and we'll see if it like switches it up a bit still. Real things, man. Hold on. Uh Yo, how did that? Okay, let me just... Okay, I just played that to like switch things up. Now let's get let's try to get rid of this like thing about like straight up. Um comments done. Oh, I think you got rid of it. Oh, no, it didn't, you bastard. Yo, still nothing, dog. An error card. Try refreshing the page. Yo, how, like, yo. Hold up. Okay. Done refresh the page. Let me see you will block you. An error card. And I just refreshed the page, Doc. Yo, I'm refreshing the page again still. You See, there's the comment right there. Y'all can see that, right? There's the comment right there. And then I go black user, an error card. 
this, yo, this man is a ding mat, dog. Straight up, like, yo, get off. Get off my shit, dog. Real things, like, get off my shit, homeboy. Put user in a timeout. Okay, so he's in the timeout. Great. But, yo, we need to, like, block the man them still. Was blocked for five minutes. I want to block him forever still, you know. Yo, Lucas is still chilling. So while Lucas is chilling, I'm going to, like, start illing. You get what I'm saying? And when I say illing, I mean, like, rhyme killing. I mean, like, happy with them days. I mean, like, big up Charlie boy. I mean, like, my brother from another mother. You get me? I'm like, oh, somebody put in a new video. Let's see what this is. Done no, I love that. I think that's some happy hammerettes still, you know. That's big, but big up the man I'm right here. Yeah. What's up, my brother? Listen, just giving you a shout real quick. Uh doing all my messages, send one attention, everybody. This the last one, you know what I'm saying? The best for last. Young Pichavelli, what's going on, brother? Hey. Just uh, heard that we won. Last he's finally scored, so that's good. Everybody can leave him alone and get off his nuts. He's going to come good, and there's going to be a lot of people in their feelings. Uh, you know, hey, we, we hit a rough patch. That's what you do sometimes, right? West Ham hit a rough patch. Remember told me we, we dropped a couple games, but now we're back on the winning foot, man. I know you the voice of positivity, so don't let nobody get down, right? Tell them keep their head up and don't get fed up. You understand? Because we push with something, they can't let up. You understand? Oh, shit, that rhyme. What about that? Whoa. Hey. Anyways, listen. You know how we do. We rhyme. We don't even mean to. That's that's the vibes. But, yo, much love, man. Show my love to everybody. Let me see if I could go through uh, the names real quick. Of course, you, Peach, uh, Athos, Bex, uh, Uncle Wally, Uncle Kieran, uh, Lawrence uh, from Alabama. Uh, and they all they they almost beat Auburn almost beat Alabama too. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? I can't I can't remember everybody, man. Gaza. Ah, uh, damn, I'm Uncle Leo. I'm I'm forget I'm gonna forget. So let me just do this. Everybody up and down the line, cause I don't want to forget nobody's name. Um, bro said I forgot somebody one time. Who was it? Who was it? Who? Oh, Franco. Hey, 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 tell Franco much love, man. Love Franco. He said, I ain't mean to, I ain't mean to forget him out, man. So make sure Franco gonna get a big one. Freaky Frank, Frank, Franco, you heard? Huh? OG Franco doing biz in Texas. What's going on, baby? Ha <laughs> ha. Anyways, much love. Up your motherfucking hammers. We doing bits. They can't stop us. Mm-mm. Uh, hello and welcome to the first ever Tales of the Unaccepted. This is where I, Budgie, talk to supporters from other teams about their experiences at either the London Stadium or at Upton Park as an away supporter against West Ham. Now, in my first episode tonight or today, I'm going to be bringing on someone who's very special to me. Uh, it's my brother. It's my brother, Kevin. Uh, I'll, I'll let him do the full intro when I bring him in, but uh, this is a guy obviously I've, I've you know, known all my entire life and I'm a West Ham supporter, he's a Chelsea supporter, uh, but I'll let him do the intro himself. Um, uh, so I went uh, outside on the fields with my uncle while he was mowing the grass and that and we used to chat to some of the kids around. Got really got friends with a couple of the lads on one that played their football at Monsey Flats and uh, it was um, West Ham Town was the first team I played for uh, just a well, small they invited uh, you to come and play with them yeah 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 I, well I, I went training a couple of times with them um, through getting to know these couple of lads hmm. um, and then it was uh, yeah we, we got into it a bit 
and then we played for a team that was slightly higher up, up the league, um, East Ham United, and they were really good, really good side. At the time, they were up and coming, a lot of them. So yeah, I joined that side and uh, so, started playing with So them. you have worn Claret and Blue then? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, great. I've worn it a couple of times. I used to play locally here in Crawley for a company called Duracell that played in Claret and Blue as well. Oh, um, great. I didn't mind, go on, I didn't mind go on. the shirt on because I was always scoring goals. <laughs> But there you go, there you go. Came it wearing this shirt. But then, you know, also, you know, like you said the other, uh, just a minute ago, about um, us having a decent chance in Europe. I mean, equally, we're, we're showing that we've got a decent chance in, in you know, uh, domestic competition as well. You know, we're... There's no um, reason on earth why you don't finish fourth. If you can string a, a patch with no defeats, I mean, yeah. The tools do help a lot, but obviously winning games, well, you've beaten yeah. two of the best sides, well, three of the best sides in the country. Um, well, you've given a good account yourself, at least. So, yeah. no one to fear. I think your problem is you take lower teams lightly. That's how come yeah. they get round you. You know what? That's real talk, you know. That's how... I Yo, big up sequel, man. Cause that is real talk. Like we we play the lower teams and lose like three points against them. We play the higher teams, like you know, top, 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 nine, eight, seven, sixes. And we're smashing them. But it's like, yo, we play like the I don't know, the teams that are just like 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 ten and below and lose against them and that used to be like the teams that were in and around us. Those used to be like the six pointers that we played. Now the six pointers are the higher teams, but we're beating them. And and they like 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 those are six pointers and we're beating them. But then when we played the 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 the, the scrappy crap dap dap dappy teams, I thought we're losing against them then. We're losing against them, man. Like your Newcastles, you, you know it's just like, like you know what I mean? Like we're losing against those teams, and it's like those are the teams, even though they're not six pointer matches no more. Meaning, like, yo, you got three points here, three points there, separating us, separating us away from one another. And those who don't know what the six pointer is, the six pointer is. Yo, you're basically like in three points of one another. So you win that match, it turns to a six point if it's three points within one another. You get me? And oh my days. We got another trolley troll troll. And you're playing with me. Block tissues to see what happens. Error. Oh no, that one went. Dope. Now let's try to block this user. Put user on the timeout still. Hold on. Hold on. Block user. Error. I don't know, this side, this, this use is like, I don't know, all air things still. Whatever's clever. You know what I mean? Go so have fun with yourself being some, like, it ain't even a person, probably. It's just like, I don't know, it's on some, like, bot things. Like, yo, not even a real dog. Straight up. Anyway, big up, Gaza. Yeah, I'm on. Right. He's tapping out. Yeah, yo, saying goodnight to Budgie and Hammerhead. Don't think it's the. The, the the later either what was that hold on happy emirate i don't think it's the later either what happy emirate say dog don't think it's the later i mean i'm confused uh could be the nose that's tall rise he deserves to keep it um but it could be maybe that rice has lost some respect and kept it on himself don't ethics, don't ethics is the later, to be honest. So what's this, what is rice? All right, kind of get where you're going with that still. Um, yo, we got seven people watching. The seven people watching, yo, like, subscribe, share these things if you want to. If you don't, then I can't give a shit. Like, I just do this to do this to do this to talk to, like, West Time Mob, straight up, man. 100%, man. Like, yo, don't do this in another reason, dog. That's why, like, yo, we never big on, like, the 
the likes, the like, share, subscribe, and thing. It's like, if you want to do that, do that. You can take the horse to, like, drink the water, but if the horse wants to drink the water, then the horse will drink the water. If not, the horse will just, like, kick two, like, high heels up and be like, piss off, you know what I mean? So it's like, yo, we can just do what we do, straight up. Um, yo, look at this one. Happy I'm up with Bobby Zamora. Don't she look sexy, dog? I know business. Homegirl looks tidy, dog. Straight up. Zamora looks happy as hell right now. Real things, man. Yo, big up, big up, happy Emirate. Big up, Bobby Zamora. Big up, Karen and Clive. You know what I'm saying? Yo, where's Rise? Where is Rise, dog? Where is Rise? Like, yo, Rise, where you at, dog? Like, yo, Rise made this up. Dope. Yo, God Noble, how you mean? Live up. Trust me. We all know Bowen's on fire. Bowen's on fire. Because what? He's saying Danny Dyer. Bowen's on fire. Bowen's on fire. And he's shaking, then he die, your bow winds on fire. And he's shaking, then he die, your bow winds on fire. And he got the news. He got the news up in the valleys. The news is from you. The news is from you. The news is just like, yo, what do you do in Cardiff? The valleys, all I do is drink, yo. Somerset alleys. Trust me, last time I talked to this man, it was like, yo, what do you do? Where you live? I drink. I was like, you really just said that? I love you, homeboy. Like, that was like, that was the best thing in the world. Like, honestly, the most truest, the most newest, the most freshest, the most illest. And, and yo, that was just it. That was just it. What do you do? I drink. I love it. Yo, if you want to come on the show, man, straight up, I'll put the link in the things just now. Still, hold on one second, Doc. Post comment. Uh, da 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 da. Bowen's on fire, and he's shagging Danny Dyer. Bowen's on fire, and he's shagging Danny Dyer. Bowen's on fire, and he's shagging Danny Dyer. Bowen's on fire. Dun 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 na 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 na. I love that man. I love that. Like yo, that man right there is the illest thing. Like. Yo, the tune, I love that tune, man. And then they switched it up to like the Bowen's on fire. And he's shagging Danny Dyer, Bowen's on fire. And he's shagging Danny Dyer, Bowen's on fire. And he's shagging Danny Dyer, Bowen's on fire. Danny Dyer, Bowen's on fire. I love that, dog. I love that. It makes me so happy. Straight up, man. Yo, let's go to the commentios. Hold on. We got the man in the building. Yes, we do. Yes, sir. What are you saying, Mr. Q? Yo, let's go to the commentios. I'm PC Blake. How are you doing, my man? Yeah, 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 happy new year. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. What, what, what did you get up to? 
What's up with you? Did you have a happy new year? Did you bring it in and, and, and have a good night out? But tell, no. me, tell, me, tell me all about it. No, I had a pretty, um, I had my booster jar. I was sick of it for two days. All right. So, no. so what? You just... No. Uh, Peach, we got to delay here, we. Now I know. Um, so what? How can we do this? Um, uh, uh, uh what have I done before? Because like my 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 one's working right. Um, like because I was just talking with like Clive and Lucas and all the men. Um, I'm trying to think on your end. What are, what are you using? Uh, uh, phone, uh, headphone. What are you using to, to get the raw sound? Um, I'm trying to think on your end. What are, what are you using? Uh, uh, phone? Uh, headphone? What, what are you using to, to get the raw sound? Uh, laptop pitch. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you have a phone? Oh, I fucking Nokia. Oh, you said that before. Um... The the volume the volume on your the vo do you, do you have headphones? No. Like with the microphone? No. Okay. Can you hear me like loud enough right now? The vo do you have headphones? No. Like with the microphone? Okay. No. Okay. Can you hear me like loud enough right now? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. Um. Is there any way that you can like lower the volume? Because I think that might be it. If you can lower the volume, I think that where it's coming from because the sound is picking up like from your television to the. Because what kind of mic are you using? It's on a, a webcam, isn't it? Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. Um, no, it's not, not nothing, nothing else on Peach. See, because it, it's coming from one of the audio devices. I, I don't know what audio device, but um, if, if it's, it's, I've had the same thing happen when I've been online and I've used the webcam, but I've had it maybe like proper hearing, like coming out of the device, but um, in the, in the, um, in, in the computer itself, it's been like loud, and I've just turned that down, and it's been fine. Um, any volume that you can like get as low as possible, I think, would be your answer. Uh, there's there's no um. No, there's, there's no other, um, nothing on your PC apart from the laptop. Oh, it's a laptop. There's oh. nothing else on it. Come and get me? There's no other telly, there's nothing, no telly or nothing. Okay, um, uh, do you, okay. Do you still have, you know you were watching me on YouTube, yeah? Okay, um, uh, do you, okay. Do you still have, you know you were watching me on YouTube, yeah? Aye. Do you still have the YouTube on? Uh... Okay now. Okay. Now basically that was what Hammerstab was saying. Go off stream and come back on stream. Didn't even like me to mention that, but which was wicked because I was going to. But yeah, I think it's because he has his YouTube on as well as going on the stream. And it's like two different sounds because he's watched he, he still has it going in from the YouTube and then I he's on the stream as well as um my laptop site too. 
No, trust me. I, I, no, I get it. Hammer's that it's good to see you, man. Yo, I hope you had a I hope you had a brilliant New Year's. Um, what a win today. We needed that. Uh Lanzini looks like the Lanzini of old. Thank you, God. Like, thank you, God. Like, yo, it was brilliant seeing Manu. Like, like, like Manu. I don't want to say Manu. It was good seeing Manu. Like, look like the Manu of old. Straight up. It was lovely to watch. Lovely to see. Yo, Q, come back on the thing, but turn the YouTube thing off. Like, just like, yeah. Okay, he's back. In effect, how do you mean? My boy. My boy. Hold on. Okay, yo, do you have the YouTube thing on? I think so, yeah. Get that off. Like, cut that out because you'll be on this no matter what because, like, you, uh, uh, you, you click on the link. So that'll be on your web browser, right? So... Get get the YouTube. If you have to come, go out and come back in again. Just go on your web browser, and I'll I'll um. How can I do this? You know what I'll do? Um. Uh. Okay. Email me. Okay. Email me at westhamrandom at gmail dot com. Email me at westhamrandom at gmail dot com, and I will send you the link. So you can close down the YouTube and then um, uh, just go on the link on your web browser, click on it, and there'll be no delay. That's what we're going to do. There you go. 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 Lanzini was magic winning. It was like, it was like, I don't want to say the M word. I don't want to say the M word, but he was like Maradona esque. I hate saying the M word because I still have nightmares about like that, then them hand to God things, dog, and about how he like ripped up the whole England squad. Like, I got nightmares about that. I still have nightmares about that, Hammers that. Like, I was, well, I was, I was, I was a little nipper. And I remember like, my dad, he had one of his mates over, one of his best mates over from, um, uh, from 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 East London, man. And it's like, yo, they were in like tears, basically. Like, what the hell is going on? And I'll never forget that for the life of me, man. Hold on one second. Um, yes, okay. So, if you if you email me at West Ham Random, hold on. Oh, no, there's still an echo. If you email me at West Ham Random, uh, it's westhamrandom at gmail.com. Give me your email, and I will email you the link for this show. And then close down the YouTube, close down this, and then just open the web browser like Google or Internet Explorer, whatever you have, and you'll be able to, like, press the link and get – you won't even have to open Google or – or it, it'll ask you to open up them things at the end, but just go on the email. You'll get an email from me with the link in and close down your YouTube, close down your, your web browsers, close down all of them things. And just, just press the link on your uh, uh, email. We shouldn't have any problem. Honest. Fuck up, you just have complicated and fucking piss, man. No, just email me your email. Email me your email. That's it. And I will send you the link. Oh, it's too late for that piece. You're going to bed. Simple as. What's the email? Westhamrandom at gmail.com. All right, but yeah, take your time in the bed now. Simple as. Here, watch. Hold on. I'll show you, Doc. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Was it at? Hold on. There you go, right at the bottom there. Just email me your email, and then I will email you the link for this show. Close down your like YouTube, your web browsers, your fucking everything, and we're good.
Uh, Peter, I, I don't have time for it. It's late at night, buddy. Okay, it's simple as it's like not rocket science, dog. So if you can find the time to do that, run it. And because no, I want to talk to you, man. I want to talk to you still, man. You're a legend, dog. I want to talk to you still, dog. Like, yo, we got things to talk about, man. How do you mean? No, Peter, I, I, I'm dead as fuck on the computer, but. Yeah, yo, you do your thing. You do your thing. You do your thing, thing. But we have to get rid of this, like, freaking echo shit because it's just, like, rah, straight up. But anyways, listen, all the best for you and yours in, in, in 2022. Real talk, man. Like, yo, 100, and thank you for, like, you know, coming on at least, man, and showing love. It's it's, it's much appreciated, man, straight up. I know, I know PG, buddy. Yeah, man, I got you, man. 100%. Big yourself up, yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, what sir. Right yeah, you too. You too. You too, my G. You too. 100%, man. Honestly. Take your time, buddy. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, you too. You too, my G. Take your time, Peach. Okay. Cheers, cheers. Uh, when I'm sober, I'll talk to you uh, uh, properly. Yeah, no, sounds good. Any, yo, sober, no sober. I don't care. Like, yo. Straight up, I didn't even give her two things about these echo things, dog. Like, yo, we can run two things, man. Like, yo, but like, yo, you're a legend. Sober, no sober. Like, like, green leaf, red October. Straight up, man. We're good. All of that, Peach, here we go. Legend, how you mean? Legend things died. Legend status. Real talk, man. Yo, what a man from the valleys. From the valleys, the valleys are the valleys are there. The valleys are there. I know I don't I don't business. I don't care. The valleys got some like nice looking gals up in the place, dog. Straight up. Cause I done seen there was a show called The Valleys, dog. And it was like in and around the valleys. Like, you know what I mean? And and and, and in Wales, and it was like, yo, it was madness. Like, some of those girls, like, yo, they are gagging for a shag duck. And it's like, yo, nice little, like, trucker girls and, like, yo, no business, like, real talk, man. Like, big up the valleys, man. Straight up. Any, any, if any gal, if any gals are watching from the valleys just now, come check your boy out, dog. Straight up. I'm here. Crystal clear, how you mean, like real things, like yo, yo, Valley's gals. I like Valley's gals, dog. Like yo, I got, I got a brethren who like yo, he does like, I, I done some rap tunes with him still. Charlie Royal, not Charlie Walsh, not Charlie Boy, Charlie Royal. Big up Charlie Boy and big up Charlie Walsh. He done that, but it's like yo, I did, I did two tunes with this, this you, Charlie Royal, dog. And like you saw in Birmingham, you know what I mean? Birmingham, you know? But like, yo, he talked about like two, two gals that like he done met like from the valleys and from like Cardiff, Swansea, like in Wales, basically. Yeah, you get me? And he's like, yo, I can't stand like when they talk, they're just like high pitch and this and that pitch. I'm like, yo, oh, differently. You got some cute gals from the valleys, dog, like real talk from Cardiff. Swansea, Neath, all them places, dog. Like, yo. And yeah, you just didn't like that accent. But it's like, yo, I ain't listening to how a girl talk. I'm watching how a girl walk. You know what I'm saying? Real things, man. Real things, man. But not to West Ham United, because that's what we're here for. That's what we came for. Big up Hammer's dad. You don't know. Rise is like disappeared. We're trying to find Rise right now, but Rise has disappeared. We we're lucky enough to have like Duke on the channel today. Big up Duke. Like that was so beautiful. So beautiful. Like Duke, what a man, what a legend. Yo, what what a bridge. Like, yo, it was so live, man. We had him up in the place. We had Rise up in the place. We had Charlie Doe in the place. 
Yo, if anybody wants to talk food right now, I know that's my main man right there, Charlito. If you show up, you know I got time for you to, to talk to food things. Straight up. I ain't talking no like next things, dog. When you come up in the mix, yo, we're playing a wheel game where you go. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I seen I seen people like bite that wheel idea straight up. I was watching like two YouTube things and like people are biting that wheel idea, Doc, but they don't got the flavor you got. They don't got like the five guys burgers and fries and like Italianos and like Chinese and like all them things. They don't got that, Doc. They got like the lame ideas on the little wheel thing. Yo, yeah, you can't you mess around with like, yo, two Spanish, one hammer wheel, like wheel thing, Doc. No way. No way. Not a chance. Not a chance, though. So, yo, if you want to come to talk to food things, I'm down. I'm down, man. Like, I had a nice pork tenderloin tonight. It was beautiful, dog. It was beautiful. It, it was like, you know, a, a mustard kind of teriyaki marinade. Mwah. It was beautiful, man. Straight up, man. It was beautiful, man. Like, I'm talking so much, I'm losing my voice. Do I give two shits? Because I'm still rocking first choice. Do I rock two things? Because I'm rocking on point. And this is how we rock when we get to the guy ghost. Because he's just trying to rock with y'all. No who's the host. We got the hostesses. We got the most of this. We got MC trying to step up, but they ghost with this. I mean, they ghost gone. Like they Patrick Swayze and song. Like making some clay. How we rock it on a plate for you and yours. Yo, we just deliver for you when you are us, yo. We make you shiver for you when you are us. We rock the prom lines, Ella, for you when you are us. It's like the General Liv Levy when he says, like, e, e. I can't even do the E, E, because my, my voice can't even go high like that right now, because I've done last it, dog. E, E. See, not, don't even come out right. Don't even come out right. Yo, West Ham United, though. Yo, I'm selling you, dog. I'm selling you, man. Different, different things at a different speed. Warp speed, buying speed is all I need. Like, yo, there was good points made tonight, man. There was good points made tonight, man. Like, about why I support this club, about, like, you know what I mean? Like, the passionate, these current players are showing on the pitch right now, like, yo, a lot of good points made, man. And, like, in the next, like, how many games, how many points we can pick up, like, it all made sense. It all made sense, man. It all made sense, man. Straight up, it all made sense about these men right here. It all made sense, dog. Real talk. It all made sense, dog. And, you got to respect that. 100%. Big, big plays, large plays. Got that Danny DeVito cutout. Yo, awesome. It's always sunny in C Dub's world. Yo, don't change ways. Trust me. Trust me, dog. Yo, my voice is like, my voice is done. Fired, cracker tired. Yo, Hammer's dad is saying the best looking girls are from the North Wales. See what I'm saying? I don't doubt that, dog. I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that. Like, yo, when I'm thinking about that, like I'm thinking about like some nice, you know, brunette things with like some nice, like tidy, like fit toned bodies up in the place, dog. Going to the tan, like salon every other day, dog. Just making themselves look orange, but beautiful at the same time, dog. Like, yo, brownie, brownie, tiny, tiny. No, brownie, no, I, I take back those words. But, like, brown, because, yo, I ain't, even getting in, I ain't even getting into that. But, like, brown, brown, so tan, so tan, so tone, so tone. Orange with a bit of Kahlua, you know? Trust me. But, yeah, man, yo, Welsh girls are dope, man. I mean, business, Welsh girls are dope, straight up. Yo, and they're fun too, man. They like to have a little piss up. You know what I mean? They, 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 they enjoy themselves. Like, yeah, man. I'm down for a Welsh girl, dog. Straight up. I'm down for that, dog. 
100%. Like, how do you mean? Like, yo, I'd run that. I'd run that. Like, not as, like, what, what do you call it? When, when, when they're like, yo, high maintenance. Not as high maintenance as, like, a London girl, dog. Straight up. Just, like, down to earth. You know what I mean? Down to earth, dog. Valley girls be them girls that are down to earth, dog. Straight up, man. Hold up. Who we play next? Thanks for his games in hand. Also, Brighton, Burnley away. Not easy. No, next we play. Who is it? Who is it? Norwich? And then Leeds in the cup? No. Leeds in the cup, Norwich, and then Leeds again. And then like, we got the next six running games. We went over, and it's like, it includes like Newcastle. It includes who else, Doc? It, it, it includes winnable games, man. Newcastle, Man United. Um, there's a bunch of them. Uh, who else, Doc? I don't know. If you go back on the stream, you'll see it. But it's like me, Karen, and Lucas are talking about that. And it was like, yeah, I know it was like, I think it's Leeds in the FA Cup, then Norwich in the league, and then Leeds in the league. And then there's a bunch of them. Like, and, and the, Brentford was one. Uh, Newcastle was one. Manchester United was one. I think Spurs might have been one, maybe. I don't know. And then who else? There were some next teams up in there. Who like are beatable. So like, yo. I know it's looking all good. It's looking all good for us, man. Like, oh my days, another, another spanner dog. How do you mean get off? Get off. Um, one thing is playing next. Yeah. Yo. What's up for grabs, dog? Like, yo, 34 points. January first. Everybody in this chat would have signed up for that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, man. Like, honestly, that's beautiful, man. 34 points. January? Come on, man. Normally, like, it, it, like, like it, back in the day things, or back in the day things, we would have been looking at, like, what, 16, 17, 18 points January 1st. We have 31, 34 points, sorry, because we won today. And it was... Uh, yeah, kind of win. Like, it should have been like 5 6 nil, but it was 3 2 when it was 3 nil. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know who to put that down to, but yeah, it's like, I think we just get ahead of ourselves when we go three up, like, we already won it, and then they just relax, take the, take, 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 take the foot off the gas, and it's like, no, you can't take the foot off the gas. And 3 0, 2 0, 1 0. You have to treat it like it's nil nil. Honestly, you treat it, you treat it like it's nil nil. You're not gonna like get overzealous on, on how you play. You're gonna be playing like you still need to score a goal. When we go three nil up, it's like we're playing like we don't need to score a goal. Hell yeah, we need to score a goal. And that's what makes our like game from here to there. Because we're playing like, oh, we don't we don't need to score a goal. We're fine playing like up here with the mentality of playing up here, but really in the way we're playing, we're playing like there. So, yo, they score one. They score two. It's lucky they didn't score three, dog. But it's like, yo, we need to play with like, we need to play like it's nil-nil. Honest. It's, it's simple as to see. Play like it's nil-nil. Like, you got to score next one. When we score four, job done. Just it's so easy. It's so easy. Don't feel like you've already won it when like we're three 0 up. Like look for that next goal. And then look for the next goal after that. And then look for the next goal after that. Like simple as like come on. Come on. Like don't have that mentality like, oh, I'm two 0 up, I'm three 0 up, I'm four 0 up. Oh, I can just relax now. Pull out the deck chairs. Let's just like sit on the pitch, not even play football, because that's basically what you're doing. 
You can't do that. You you have to keep playing. You have to keep playing like it's nil nil. Man. Like so, if the game ended in the next minute, you're gonna draw because you ain't scored a goal. That's why you have to play like it's now now nil nil. You know what I mean? Yo, it, I, I I don't I don't get the mentality, man. I don't get it. I don't get it. Like I don't give two things if I was up ten nil. If, if if I was managing a team and my team was up ten nil, I'd be like treated like we're two nil down. You get what I'm saying? Treat it like we're 2-0 down. They don't do that. They treat it 3-0 like a 10-0. Can't do that. Treat it 3-0 like you're 2-0 down. Treat it 3-0 like you're like nil nil. You need to score to win. We don't run them things though, dog. Why not? I don't know. But we should. Uh we'll get back up to fourth. Hopefully we will. We're tied for fifth right now. We're tied for fifth right now, Hammer's dad. Um on points with Arsenal. We're tied for fifth right now. Fourth spot is not out of our grasp. That's like a win away. Real talk. That is a win away. We're going to do it. We're going to run that. Like, don't be surprised if we win the Europa League. Don't be surprised if we finish fourth. Don't be surprised if we go on a nice little cup run. Like, you know, we, th- th- this January window is so important to us, though. We have to do two things in this January transfer window. And that's by the right players for the right amount. And yeah, I want to see Newman, Rob Newman, step up to the plate. I want to see uh, Kraczynski, Mr. 27%, step up to the plate. I want to see the back room, well, not back room staff, because they've been brilliant. Uh, the boardroom, I want to see them stick to their like, you know. Hands in their pockets, pull out two, 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 two quid, dog. Like, pull out two quid to spend on this man and that man, because we need it. This is when everybody has to unify, because this is probably the most important transfer, January transfer window we've had in years. They have to get it right. They have to get it right. If they don't, they've missed a step, dog. They've missed a step. Because this is, we've never been in this position. And we can make it all, we can make it all beautiful if they get this right. But they need to get it right. If they don't, it's egg on their face, man. Straight up. Egg on their face. 100%. It has to go on. It has to go on, man. Honestly, Hammer's dad saying Suchek wasn't getting forward uh, like we hope. No, he wasn't. We need his. We need his gas. Yes, we do. Declan Rice has to play that much more deeper. I like the fact that Lanzini's playing that much more deeper, but Declan Rice does too. Unless we bring in like Crawl and like have him play deeper, and then say to like Rice and Suchek. Have your turn up front, like who goes forward and who doesn't. But like, if 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 Crawl was there in defense, he could be manning the defensive line. So it's like you could have like Suchek and Rice going forward at like any time. But that hasn't been the case. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a football manager. I don't even play football manager. You know what I mean? But it's like I know football. I know football guy, and I know the way we play. And I know our four up front. I know our two in the middle. I know our back four. But if you got two in the middle, right, and they're all wanting to go up forward, go left, go right, this, that, and the third, they're canceling one another out because you need somebody to, like, hold on to that defensive line, which Noble was doing last match. Now, people say, yeah, Noble still has his football brain, but he doesn't have the legs on him no more. But that might have been a blind blessing for us. That might have been a blessing in disguise because his legs are not as fruitful as they were, you know, a few years back. He still has that football brain. So he knows, yeah, my legs ain't working as good as they were. I need to kind of like man the back. I need to like keep on the defensive line, let Suchet go for it when he needs to go for it. Done. I'll supply him. And what a beautiful pass to. Who was it? Uh, uh, Bo- like uh, um, Noble started it off. I think he passed to Bowen. Bowen passed to so- like Lanzini or Ben Rama or something. 
And then Noble came in with the next pass, like, yo, yo, I'm telling you, Noble has that brain about him that is like, yo, it's not something like Bobby Moore brain thing. It's like how he sees football, man, and how he reads the game. And you seen his legs run up to it, but he held that defensive role. We need Rice to do that. And I understand, like, Rice can do anything. So Rice wants to do this, that, and the third and be that all around, like, brilliant player. I get that. And he is, and he does. But sometimes just like, yo, just chill out. Just like, man, the defensive line, you know, stay like center half, like get uh, Southgate told you to do for England, and let Suche go for it. Or adapt to three. Where it's like, yo, you could even put Noble in the mix, star. Suchek, Rice and Noble. Suchek, Rice and Crow. You know what I mean? Like, even like, yo, Suchek, Rice and like, 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 like Ashby. Like, maybe mix it up like that. Like, you know, I know Ashby's right-sided, but it's like, yo, let him come in, play in a three with them, and let him kind of like, you know, hold the defensive line, dog. Like, there's many ways of going about it. So Suchek and Rice can still get the most out of, like, what they want to get out of in the match. But with just both of them, they're leaving a hole open in the middle of the park when, like, yo, they'll both be up doing two things. One will be on the left. One will be up to the right. One will be central, maybe. But they'll get that ball in, 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 in the center of the midfield and have a heyday. Like, that's what Crystal Palace are doing today. Counterattacked us like nobody's business, man. Like we were lucky. They could have had like three, four, five goals. Like one, two, it, it, it would work. You know what I mean? They got one, they got two. That's four right there. All we got was three. They could easily be just like four or three today. Real things, man. I ain't playing, man. Um, don't know why he bought Amatsuak, who didn't play too bad, though. I agree with that. He did not play too bad. Don't know why I brought him on if I'm telling you the truth. But I do know why I brought him on, because of Johnson's yellow card. So I understand that. I get that. But why Matt Swaku? Why couldn't it have been, like, noble? Why couldn't it, and just, like, reshuffle the system a bit? Why couldn't it have been Crawl? Reshuffle the system a bit. Why couldn't it have been, like, Langello? Younger, better defender, then Matsuaku, why couldn't that happen? You know what I mean? It's like things that make you go, hmm, and, yo. Know, there's a lot of things about Moyes that makes me go, hmm. But he's got a lot of things right that makes me go, hmm. So I'm not going to get on his back because, like, he's got two things right when everybody was kind of like, what are you dealing with? Dithering Dave. But Dithering Dave's kind of like, got two things right. So it's like, I get it. I get it. Who am I to say two things different? I get that. I do get that. But I think it's a simple situation that he needs to address. And either he's making it difficult for himself to address or he doesn't have the answer. And I can see the answer. Hammer's dad, you can see the answer. All of us can see the answer. Like, we saw the answer when Noble and Suchet played. We saw the answer. If you need three men to do that, or Rice to just lay back a bit, it's one or the other. The answer is, like, right in front of you, flashing. Like, and, 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 like, and, like, and like the brightest color in the world. Like, the answer is there on the building. How come we can see it and he can? Or what does he know that we don't? Like, I don't get it. It seems so simple. It seems so straightforward. But why aren't we running it? Like, I don't know, man. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, stupid. Yo, another spanner dog. Are you joking me? You guys have fun with this, huh? Straight up, hammers that. With our depleted defense, we need rise holding. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Um, leave Suchet. Let Suchet go, basically. Massive uh, getting the three goals. Yes, we've not been getting many lately. Agreed. 
Antonio would back in time for him. Um, Lanzini, what, what, what a legend. Lanzini was like, yo, Lanzini was on like some ham and cheese panini. Wow. Wow. Vlasic didn't look too bad when he came on. Honest. Um, who else, man? I would have loved to see narco sex today, but that didn't happen. Um, yeah, Ben Rama looked good. Everybody kind of like held their own. It was just I found like Diata Matsuak kind of like the weak links. Just saying. Don't know why. They were the weak links because they're both good players on the day. More so Diop than Matsuaku. But Diop has time on his side. Like he's still learning. He's still the student. Matsuaku's like veteran. So he knows that he can't defend. So it's like, yo, let, 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 let um Diop cover that role for you. You know what I mean? Like, let, let, um, Dawson kind of like come in from the middle to the left and, you know, have, have, have the up, like kind of like stay central right. There's all ways of doing this. It's simple. Football is an easy game. Football is an easy game. It's the players that are on the pitch to make it difficult, man. That's real talk. That is real talk. Football is an easy game. It is the players on the pitch to make it difficult. Simple as, man. Simple as. Like, the players make it difficult, man. Matsuak makes it difficult for himself. Diop makes it difficult for himself. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. I don't get it. I do not get it, man. It's so simple. You got 11 men on the pitch. Do your thing. Get on with it. But then they make it difficult for themselves, which makes it difficult for the team which makes it difficult to get a result, which makes it difficult to do anything properly, like proper in a match. Because you're already making it difficult for yourself. If you're making it difficult for yourself, you're going to be making it difficult for the player on the right and left to playing with you. Because how are they supposed to know what you're going to be doing? You don't even know what you're going to be doing, man. Like, football is so easy. It's, it's Listen, you need skill, you need awareness, you need to... You need to think like two steps ahead of the game, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps ahead of the game. I get that. But you can do it simple. You don't have to do no like Rabina, like no like, you know, not make two, three people to like make people be like, whoa. No, you just have to play the game easy. Play the way you face. When in doubt, kick it out. Like, simple as you play the way you face and on turn, you already like saved yourself like two, three, four, five seconds there done. When in doubt, kick it out, yeah, you don't get to, get to keep the whole line to possession, but the ball will be coming back to you if you defend the uh, um, uh, throwing line effectively. Done. Like, it's, it's ah, it does me in, man. It does me in. It does me in. Uh, Hammer's dad, yes, Lanzini's techniques to world class. A few more Games like that, and he'll be a superstar. Listen, Hammer's dad, he already is a superstar. Honest, he already is a superstar. Um, he had, he had a rough patch from the injury that he got when training for um, Argentina. When you rupture Achilles, you always second guess yourself from like taking off, right? When you rupture your Achilles, you always second guess yourself from like you know just like. You're standing still and you just want to break, go fast, start sprinting. You second guess yourself about that because it can snap like that again. That's what he's been living with for like the past two, three years. But it sounds like they've been able to get the strength of his Achilles to a point where he's not thinking about that no more. And he's able to just like be in standing position and go run. It seems like that. It really does. And you can see that. Like, before he kind of looked a bit like Ginger. Not like Ginger Pele, but like Ginger, like, 
it was still fragile. You know what I mean? Like he didn't know if it would go like snap back or pop. And you could tell him, you could tell that he was like a bit suspect of that. And like he wasn't sure if he did kind of, you don't jump off the mark too quick. It would just snap. You didn't know that. So you have to respect that, relate to that, and understand where his mind was at at that time. But I think the physios that David Morris has put in a position at Rush Green, training ground, like whatever, is, I think that or at West End United, I think they've done a great job. I think they've done a great job with Michael Antonio's diet. Still, we're like, what? August, September, October, November, December, January, we're six months into it. He still ain't like really gone out injured, like injured, like Michael Antonio injured. You know what I mean? The worst thing that like gets me is that celebration he did. I thought he could injure himself trying to like dive into grass. You don't dive into grass. You dive into water, dog. You dive into a pool. You dive into a pond. You dive into a, you don't even dive into a pond. And he was diving into grass. You dive in the ocean. You know what I mean? Like, yo, that celebration made me worry more about him getting an injury. Real talk. Like, yo. I was mad. I was absolutely mad. But like you saw the 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 the, the, the what you call it, therapist or, or physios or sports scientists or whoever we have working at the club now, they've been able to put Mikel on a on a diet, which he's going and abiding by, and we haven't seen any like big injuries. I love that. I love that because like, you know, that's 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 that like, that's something we don't need is like uh, injured Antonio. I know Antonio was like unavailable for a couple of matches, but he ain't been injured like how we know he can get injured. And that's all down to his diet. So big up the physiotherapist, the sports scientist, whoever, like right now working with the players of West Ham United. Now, those people have also worked with Lanzini. So that's why you're seeing Lanzini kind of have a new lease on life. And that injury isn't hurting him as much as it was. Thank goodness to our medical staff, if you say. Um, you're looking a lot better. Was getting worried about you stay off the side of how, yo, I'm good. I'm good. Yo, I sided here, I sided there, I sided everywhere. Thank you for like saying that I'm looking good. Still look like an ugly mark. I got an ugly mark to look at, but I'm good, man. Much appreciated, honestly. And yeah, every everything's chill. Everything. Uh, I hope everything's good with you, Hammerstad. And I hope that you have a, a beautiful 2022. Um, I hope it's a successful one. I hope that you know you you, you, you get the most out of everything. Um, Wish you nothing but love. Um, yeah, it's like love, success, and happiness in it. That's it. So that's what I'm wishing you, Hammer's dad. Luck, no, not luck, because luck is like luck comes to hoes, those, good luck comes to hoes. Wow. No, luck comes to those who don't see nothing about luck. You just do good things, and luck finds you. You, you do bad things, luck stays away from you like a bad rash. But like, yeah, I wish you nothing but love, success, and happiness. Honest to goodness. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, man. Real talk. Real talk. Big up, Hammerstad. Love, success, and happiness. You get what I'm saying? Those are three beautiful words right there, man. Love, success, and happiness. I wish you nothing more than that. I wish you nothing less than that. Go on, my son. And y'all, what do we got next? Norwich? Let's have them. Let's do them in. The top line, oh my days. The top mark, oh my days. Yo, 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 yo. See, yo, you done did it. I'm talking like I spit it, but I forgot that WWE shit. Like I just done shit it. Yo, I got to go to my man's thing to check it out right now. The top mark is the real talk. How you mean? How we rock two styles. So I'm going to a top mark, my G. You get me? To watch some WWE. I'm going to a 
top mark, my G. So I can watch some WWE. I'm going to a top mark, my G. So I can watch some WWE. It's a top mark on U-T-U-B-E. So check that out, because that's my G. A top mark, trust me. Yo, we'll all be there. Watching WWE from the night, like, yo, to the sun sets hair. Straight up. Yo, my G, you don't know. How do you mean? Health is wealth. Wealth is health. And yo, everybody watching this stream, there's eight of you. Go over to a top mark on YouTube. We're, we are going to get down for some WWE. You get me? Some WWE. Yo, it's your boy, Charlie Walsh from Hammer's Chat. He got his own channel called A Top Mark, where he follows the wrestling. We're going to watch some WWE just now. I will see all of you over there. Thank you for reminding me. That was like a light went off in my head when Top Mark come just done said that. Bomba Red, these lyrics that come out on me head. Bomba Red, these lyrics that come out on me head. Trust me. Yo, WWE, yo, all we can see. Big up, Charlie Walsh, who's in the place to be. Yo. It's a top mark. It's a top mark, my G. It's a top mark. It's a top mark. And see, it's a top mark. It's a top mark. General Lee V goes, <laughs> trust me. Yo, I got you, homeboy. Yo, top mark, YouTube. We're all going there. We're all going there. If you don't go there, you square. Straight up. We're all going there just now. Yo, top mark. Trust me. WWE. Trust me. I'm going to run through things right now. Trust me. Big up, my G. You don't know.